everybody. How is it going? Happy Tuesday. Y'all are enjoying your week so far? Because it's, uh, for most of you, it's probably summer break, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like, for me, around my birthday, like this kind of week, this time in July, that's when I feel like everyone's normally on vacation, just disappearing, living their life, you know? You hugged your past self. There you go. No, it's always Tuesday. It's just the, 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 the first Tuesday. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I was like, hmm, we don't have Paragons live. They probably won't be live this week, next week, or the week after that. I'm guessing. But, uh, we kind of stopped on, like, we stopped on Ravine. And then I never tried to go past that. And I thought, you know, what if we just did, like, bloody puddles? Maybe it's really bad and I shouldn't even try it, but I don't know. I'm curious. I'm, I'm kind of curious about learning the start to the map. Well, actually, I do know one start, and it's Quincy's start, but I don't want to do that. I don't like Psyducks anymore. Yeah, the weird thing of, like, different, like, runs in Pokemon can make you love or hate certain Pokemon. Like, my new hatred of Psychic types, because, man, they're just allergic to things. Update is always after the Odyssey ends, so probably tomorrow. I don't... Okay. Here's what I think. I think the event ends tomorrow. I don't think Paragons are live tomorrow. Just a guess. What's up there, Jeff? So, hey, Fuyuki. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I, I don't really see the update going live tomorrow. Th that seems a little soon. I mean, I, I know, like, previously, NK has often announced things and then sent them out the next week. But usually they say, like, coming soon or something like that. Whereas Paragons, they're like, here's a teaser. I, I feel like they're not coming that soon, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. More Celeste, right? No. Wrong. Um... Tomorrow's not going to be Celeste. We're taking a little, We're still taking a break from Celeste. How's my grandmother doing? She's actually doing better. Thanks for asking, Jeff. I think she's out of the hospital. She's on some medication. She's she's doing all right now. Celeste, no, we're, we're taking a break. Yeah, it is pretty good. Like a surprise anyone in chat thought to actually ask. But thank you, Jeff. Missed the notification, 9-volt? What do I pay you for anyways? Oh, wait. <laughs> What's, what's in the AC today? I forgot to check. Uh, impossible challenge. Haha. <laughs> okay, uh, stupid regrow, 70%, 70%. We got druid, 45k, one life, no tower limit. Okay. Uh, two moabs. Do we have any maulers? No. Jitsu alk. And then, are they all regrow? No. Hmm. So we just need like a regrow village, or maybe like a lightning druid? Okay. RuneScape has changed you. RuneScape's the kind of game I don't play because I love myself too much. <laughs> I feel like RuneScape's uh, not a great decision all the time. I still find it really weird. They didn't ban anything like... What's so hard about this? Oh, it's deflation. So it's boring mode. I, I still don't see what's so bad about that. So we got Sada here. We're not going to be able to kill 63 with Sada. So I believe either Ring of Fire plus blue, or maybe just artillery battery probably does it. Um, maybe Jitsu Elk. Seems pretty easy. I'll probably mess up somewhere, but... Eh. I'm not sure what the problem round is here. Like, the regrow rate is the only scary thing, but everything else is, like, slow speed, and I just don't see what's so bad about that, you know? Oh well, oh well. Let's just make sure this is always attacking under uh, Village Red. I know this is a bit jank placement, I just want to make sure we don't start a regrow farm. It's like our only game plan around this. Uh, we can have both these elk buffed, I'm pretty sure. It's in village rad. Just go like a 401. Expertise for what? Oh, expertise to Thanos snap the... That's not a bad idea. I think I'm just shy of that now, aren't I? I definitely can't afford that anymore. Hmm. Actually, that's not a bad idea, but I don't even think the regrow balloons are that bad. I'm pretty sure having Grow Blocker means we're basically good enough. Um, I think we just throw in, like, Artillery Battery in there as well. But, it, like, over top of Sada kind of deal. Or maybe maybe just, like, Big One. We're not going to afford Biggest One. What's a better 63 killer? Hmm, I feel like both of them are actually decent here. Papana. I mean, Papana could probably put in some work. We're just going to... We're just going to buy... Uh, we're just going to buy an Artillery Battery right over there... Maybe we just spam them. We'd be, like, super lazy today. Look at this. Full-on Ungabunga, right? I, I see no flaws with the strat. 
literally could never fail, right? Perfect. Uh, maybe some AMD on some stuff. I don't know. Not like it should matter, but who cares? Uh, I'm probably called Pepe in RuneScape. Oh. Why would you do that? I'm curious. Alright, so now we just AFK, right? Uh, you said if it's not tomorrow, it'll probably be after the next Odyssey or... S I... I just have a feeling that Paragons aren't going to be in the game quite as soon as I think a lot of people are guessing they will be. You know? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Oh, uh, I think we get through that. Yeah, yeah. See, see, Grow Blocker. Working as intended. Uh, if there's Camel Regrow Balloons, that could actually be a bit of a problem, but I'm pretty sure Jitsu Alec wins anyways. Let's play Celts for the culture. When is P-Dub? 17? You ever think, like... If you want to, like, remember all these things, like, it's hard to remember, like, every Pokemon's, like, evolution level. Stuff like that. 21. Hmm. You didn't change the name? Well, you just always had it? Okay. Frogheaden, they just call you Pepe? Well, of course, of course. Sometimes you just gotta live out your, your inner, uh, frog. You know, you just gotta be your inner frog that you always wanted to be. And, and no one's gonna stop you. Also, I like how this keeps sniping, like, these, uh, Sarams at the back of the map. Which, if those were regrowth Serams, would be terrifying, but they're not, so... Oh, well. Oh, uh, round 18, Camo Balloons. I think I think we win this. Pretty sure between Sada... Yeah, Sada Jutsu Alk beats that. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. I, I was like, if I say that subtly, will anyone catch it? Maybe. The Engineer Paragon. I know, it's like the meme. The Paragon Paragon. Howdy, Barber. How's she going there? How's it going there, left handed? Good to see you, homie. I mean, it's hard to say if every tower is even going to get a Paragon. I mean, they probably will eventually. I'm just excited because, again, I I'm still predicting, and Rohan seems to also, like, he was he already sounded like he was working on this, or someone at NK is working on this. Like, it sounds like they want to add a new hard mode, which is, like, pretty exciting, because it might be harder than Chimps, a little more post-game oriented, and that sounds like a lot of fun to me personally. A Paragon Paragon, I know. That's what we all keep saying. The Paragon Paragon. Super Monkey Paragon might be the only thing that doesn't happen. You know why I think that? Because realistically, isn't that kind of what a Vengeful Temple already is? And then then after that, okay, let's see if a Paragon for Super Monkey. Is it stronger or is it weaker than a Vengeful? And then after that, it's like, unless you have like a Vengeful Paragon, but that doesn't really make sense. That's the only one. I feel like the Super Monkey thing was, like, kind of the basis. And honestly, I think they got a little inspiration from people that made mods. Unironically, I think they took inspiration from modded content. That's kind of cool. But then they're like, no, 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 we'll, we'll do it official. We'll do it better, I promise. And that they're going to do, a mastery mode. Um, I don't know how that would work. There was some kind of mastery mode before, wasn't there? Oh, 63. Oh, no. Anyways. <laughs> You from future NG is going to be soon. No, I don't think... I, I mean, I, I, it's, it's presumable that, like, they might do every form of uh, tower. I, it's hard to say whether they do all of them or they stop. It might only be primary towers. It might be all towers. Who knows? Who knows? I think there's a lot of cool stuff they can do, right? Well, from BTD5. Uh, remind me what Mastery Mode in BTD5 is, because I've played very little of 5. Not enough to get to, like, the hard modes. The Vitinia speed boost? Do you have random abilities in that Shadow Knight? Or did you just happen to, uh... Just happen to get... Wait, I don't think... Victinia's not normally a speed boost, right? Oh, it is random, yeah? Okay, I'm like, that's not a default. That's not a default thing at all, as far as I'm aware. Reds or blues? What? Oh! Oh, Master Ramon B3-5, everything's up one tier. Oh, I see... How does that work for, like, Moabs and stuff? Does that mean round 40 you'd have to have a BFB? Because that sounds like a nightmare. Alright, well, there was an advanced challenge that wasn't worth playing. Anyways. I guess it's not a Friday stinger, so it's, like, I shouldn't be too surprised that it's kind of a joke. That's usually how it works. Is it Friday? Ah, suffer. Is it not Friday? Okay. Here's an advanced challenge that takes you five minutes of your life, I guess? Shadow Knight changed his name to be the same as, uh everywhere else. Consistency, which I get. I get. Mobs are BFPs in mastery mode? Youch. Okay. And we keep saying, like, 
assuming they're even allowed in chimps, there's some that are going to be... Some of the paragons will be usable, probably. Uh, some of them will be too expensive. Like, unless there's a new mode that, again, goes much further post-game. Uh, I see Dart Monkey being pretty... I mean, okay, 45k for Plasma is a little much, but, like, th these are pretty cheap, right? Like, that might be affordable. Uh, I think the big one people keep pointing to is Sniper. A Sniper Paragon sounds actually sick. So, okay, it almost sounds broken, though, but it's it'd be terrible against Moabs? Well, maybe it wouldn't be. Imagine a Sniper that's, like, elite defender attack speed with bouncing bullets that stun and make Moabs take more damage. How insane is that? Like, that sounds kind of wild to me. I don't know if maybe I'm the only one that's like, yo, that's that's kind of crazy, but, like, it just seems like a really sick combo. And it seems like something pretty affordable. Like, this has been this has been price reduced so many times now. I'm pretty sure this used to be, like, 45 or 50k. I can't remember if that was... These prices change, I think, in hard mode, but... Not good against BADs. True. Uh, and that's fine. That's fine. They're good against everything else. But, like, think, you still get the Cripple Moab attack bonus to uh, BADs, so... It, it's fair that not every tower is going to, like, be one-tapping BADs or anything like that. I mean, it's like if they had, like, a Wizard Paragon, it'd be a very, very expensive thing. Like, thing. I just had some, like, Southern Drawl in there. Very expensive thing. No, very expensive thing that, like, they're all meant to be, I'm pretty sure, more post-game oriented, right? For those people that want to see how far they can get without spamming Bottom Path Super Monkey, I don't know. You gotta catch it at full HP? Yeah, you just gotta get lucky. I don't know. Have a, have a Quick Ball or something. Uh, we enter the hard mode with the Furworthy Master Mode world, now everything one-shots the press. <laughs> so you just get one-shotted by everything? How do you enjoy playing that Terraria world? How is that fun, if you get one-tapped by everything? Oh well, oh well. Um, hmm, do we do some challenges now, chat, or should we just do... Go into, go into, I, I kind of want to learn the Muddy Start, or Bloody Start, rather. Since, again, Ravine may just never happen, and I don't know if we want to grind that today. Hydrate, let me do that. A Mortar Paragon. Ooh. That would be kind of insane. Like, a, a Mortar combo sounds kind of insane. The one thing I'm also thinking, though, assuming you have to pay more cash on top of what you already pay, right? You've given some streams, haven't you? <laughs> oh, that command got updated. That's funny. Blaze skin is good. Yeah, don't worry about it. But a Mortar Paragon... At base, just combining the towers, I feel like, isn't enough, right? They have to go, like, above and beyond. Because I was saying, if you mix all the snipers, that's kind of good, but it's like, you probably have to pay a lot of money on top of that. Maybe Paragons won't be something affordable. I, I don't know if it's so easy as, like, oh, just drop the axis of snipers and then combine them, or if you have to pay more cash. Destroyers 2... Uh, why would I need to know that? I'm not going to play it, Toto. I guess that's a fun fact. Sure. Alright, well, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just learn the bloody puddle start. I know you can do it with Quincy. After the geared stream? Ah, nice, nice. I never saw someone change it. I'm glad they did, though. I'm glad they did, though. Hmm. Who's, the, I mean, I guess conventional wisdom tells me Striker Jones is the hero to run this map with, right? And I know there's like a start that I think is double sub, or is it sub dart? Like most people when they beat maps like Bloody and Ravine on Chimps, either use a guide or they have like, they've been given some outward help. I, I, I think there's, I mean obviously at some point someone had to do this all on their own. Probably grinding it for hours, knowing this community, someone probably sat there for like an eternity and figured out how to do this. Uh, you're saying a Sniper Paragon would slow down BADs. That would be cool! If, like, a Sniper Paragon could actually, like, maybe not stun, or, like, have a very, very tiny stun on a BAD. That would be kind of cool. And since it's hyper post-game, I'm like, is it really that broken? I don't think so. Okay, so I know there's, like, a start with two sub, I think. The problem is placement. See, if they have, like, a sub, I believe that shoots and curves around to hit the other path. The problem is figuring that out. I don't know. <laughs> Unless there's a spot from here. No, maybe it's not that. 
change to gold border when, but Toto changed at the same time to what it is now. Well, makes sense. Makes sense. It's just, I, I think it's like sub into another sub, bottom path, isn't it? Or maybe it's top side. But yeah, see, that doesn't work because we're always sniping that. Um, hmm. Unless you start at the bottom and then snipe around the top. No, see, that doesn't really help us. That doesn't really help us either way. Okay. Uh, would sub Paragon give global camo detect? That's a good question. That would be cool, but, like, I don't know if they would do that. Considering, you know, that's kind of like the same shtick as Etienne. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Okay, maybe maybe I shouldn't learn that. Maybe I should just look up, like, the, the start, the placement. Because otherwise, I don't think I'm going to stumble across it. I, I just know you have to have two subs and somehow snipe all the greens. The problem is that I just don't know how to do it. Strong targeting. I don't know if targeting matters here. Ah, see, the subs also die and don't shoot that. Ace Paragon is just UCAV? Wait a minute. No, well... Okay, you might be right. Just never miss, like... Yeah. I, I feel like some Paragons, though, they're s they'd be so expensive that it's not even worth thinking about. Like, this is definitely one of them. I mean, I feel like most Paragons, again, they're going to be hyper late game. That's why Rohan keeps saying, like, if they make a new mode, he doesn't think they should have farming, but he doesn't want it to be one life, which is fair, because that lets you use Azili more effectively late game, and I think also, uh... There's some, I mean, there's all the towers we meme on, like, super mines, which you can never afford. But I'm saying, yo, if this super, like, late game let you have, like, maybe... I was thinking, like, one farm, but that's a bit obscure, isn't it? Oh well, oh well. They're gonna do something, I'm sure, and it'll be a cool new mode. Uh, there's a community of tryhards to race each other, beat chimps on new expert maps, and the map is hard enough, they'll spend days. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. That That's no, that's pretty accurate, yeah. I wonder if it's like here or something like that. But you'd have to buy longer range, so I, don't, I feel like this wouldn't work. Because you'd have to still snipe the top, which this clearly doesn't do. I just know there's only two ways to do this. Well, two ways that I know of, which are sub with jank placement, which is probably pixel perfect, and then Quincy start with a lot of micro. Hmm. Unless you can do it sniper dart, but I feel like sniper dart dies very quickly, right? Maybe maybe you can do sniper dart. The problem is how? How do you get away with sniper dart? Oh well, let's just let's just try microing this a little bit. So does I don't think sniper beats the whole left side, right? Yeah, no, we definitely lose to that. Ooh, and then dart cancel. Okay, so sniper dart probably doesn't work ever. So then, how do you do this for the striker strat? Maybe like maybe like Amp Amphiel or Jacob will pop up and be like, "Hey, here's how you do the here's how you do the sub start. You just gotta know that it's exactly on like X pixel here." Continues good move set. You've randomized move sets as well. There Shadow Knight or no? Maybe you try like last targeting. Weird, like weird spacing. Maybe maybe it needs to like curve back down, and then the auto targeting says, "Oh, you know what? We're actually gonna go around." Nah, that's definitely not it. It's just a matter of figuring it out, right? I'm probably never going to figure this out on my own, am I? Oh, see, there's one. Ah, oh, and it died before it got there. It was closer. It was closer. But you'd have to have every single shot go to the left and never go to the right. We're doing bloodles. I was curious about the start, and I know there's a Quincy start. Maybe I'll just go grab Quincy for a second. I just don't know how... I, I, I've been told Quincy is doable here, but just very frustrating. And I don't expect to actually beat this today, but... I'm like, since we never really finished Ravine, maybe we learned the Bloody Puddle start. You know? Sub somewhere in the middle of the pool and dart on the left? Mmm, gotcha. Oh, sub dart makes... I thought it was like double sub for some reason. Maybe it is sub dart. And again, I know there's like a way to do this with Quincy. I can't remember the placement for it either. 
but there's some like micro jank targeting that lets you do this. Oh no, I'm thinking I'm doing this wrong. There might be placement that lets. I'm thinking of. It's not Quincy start, or is it Quincy start? Is there like a placement that lets you hit both sides? I don't think there is. I don't think there's a way Quincy snipes the other side. Uh, okay, so sub attacks down. What are we doing today? We're, we're gonna do some challenges. I also kind of just want to learn the. Uh, I, I want to try and like do the start of bloody puddles, since ravine is just far off. Sub attacks curve downwards, come back up. Um, middle of which pool? Which pool though? He said, okay, yeah. So shooting downwards and coming back up. How do we get away with that? Like on this pool? This pool? Pool 1, 2, 3. Boomerang for round 10 sounds about right. Especially buffed Boomerang. A very good round 10 killer, I suppose. Striker Maulers? Yeah. Like I said, I, I just was doing Quincy. For some reason, I thought someone said you could do a Quincy start here, but I'm like, that doesn't space out well. Actually, doesn't space out at all. Can't do it. Can't do it. Back to Striker Mauler. Yeah, we probably won't beat it today. Seems very unlikely. If Ravine taught me anything, it's that this game suddenly hits a point where it is impossible. <laughs> Someone as dumb as me. You can do Quincy? But uh, you don't start Quincy, though. But I just know you can use Quincy, right? But you can't actually start Quincy, right? What do you name a Victini? Um... Male or female Victini? Churchill Strand also works? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Churchill very common on this map? Right. Psy time. You know, I'm pretty sure Psy is viable here. I feel like this wouldn't be a bad Psy map at all. You can do Quincy, it's harder later. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. You didn't check? Huh. You just give it like some lazy name that starts with like a V. Just name it Victor or Victoria. Easy clap. Challenges? Yeah, we'll do some challenges today there, gamer. Gamer Z. Absolutely. Best setting any sub spots are actually bad airbursts. Of course they are. Of course they are. What's good to start is never good for later, right? Never have it both ways. Okay, so you said, like, we'll just try in the middle, shooting down, and then our dart over here. Sub dart, a classic. So I'm guessing, with this, you probably only need to snipe the first green. That's... well, that never sniped the first green. Uh, I'm guessing something like that. There's no damn the ace command. Imagine if there was, though. Hmm. Let's see if we can ever stumble across the, uh... Mm, see so if we hit that. Now that still leaves us dead, but. Uh, what? I mean, does wall size shoot though? What? Huh? Hell, after experience of catching it. Ah, uh, yes. Just name it H E Double Hockey Stick. Imagine if there was a Dandy Ace video. What, what's Dandy Ace? I've never heard of that game. Uh, you, you should play it and make a video of it. <laughs> Maybe you should play with the chat too. <laughs> Oh, sick. Well, I guess I found it by accident. I think that's the start. We did it. Eh, I lied. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's like a mid-round quick shots or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and get ripped. You get it. You understand. Get ripped by your chat. Exactly. Where did I just place this? Was it? Shoot. Where did I even put this? I thought it was like there, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Dark Knight, Subcom, or Mauler spam is met on this map. Uh, one of those faded. There was two darts there, chat. And one of them just died, like, immediately before it hit it. But, uh, Sub has to pump the wounds be uh, behind... What? Before it, wait, before it gets... Or, so you're saying the, the Sub has to go down here to shoot off screen? To force it to go back to target the other ones? That actually makes sense. I'm guessing that's what you mean, right? I, of course, don't know the dart placement for after, but... Eh, not quite. Unless you have to go even lower or something stupid like that. 
Oh, does shine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scythe can shoot through walls. Absolutely. That sub doesn't seem good here. I feel like it's not... Unless we have to go like there and then actually curve it back. Because I feel like it's not curving. That's the problem. We need it to curve. I'll, I'll worry about the dart placement after. Because right now, this sub doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot. No matter how much I shoot it off screen, it's never... The, the darts are just kind of like despawning and then they're gone. Uh, sub range kind of lines up with the G plates. Okay, I can, I can play around that. Is it center... Uh, we'll try just kind of sort of lining up with the jeep lights. Let's just go with that. Yeah, why not? Why not? Dart placement we're going to worry about later. But yeah, side literally doesn't care about walls. Side doesn't have any concept of walls. There there are no borders. All Sai knows is uh, there are balloons, and they must suddenly not be balloons. Which round? Hold on, I missed the, the thing before there. Pokey. That's still not right. Hmm. Hmm. Worked better the other way around. You got the dart placement? Yeah, I know, Jacob. I'm well aware. I'm not even sure which side the sub and the dart goes on. That's the that's the crazy part. It worked better when I had this side, but... I don't really know the strat. That's why we're just kind of working through it. But, you know, you, you can always tell me. Instead of saying you got it wrong. Oh, we know that. We know that. <laughs> uh, sub range on top left Jeep light is slightly above. Okay. The left Jeep light, it's slightly above. And then right side's like at the very top. Wait. The little red on the wheel. It's like deciphering a very obscure puzzle right here. Hold on. Top left Jeep light is slightly above. Right light is perfectly touching the top. And then there's a little red, red on the wheel, which there is a little red on the wheel, but I don't know if that's right. I'm just gonna... Oh. Haven't played balloons in a hot while, only races. Ah, I see. Tiny bit up from that. We'll just try this. Let's see how it is. Where's the dart go then? To the bottom left wheel is supposed to have less red on it. Dies round seven probably. Wait, we'll see if we can beat round six first and foremost. Then we'll worry about round seven. Uh, the red lines up with the gray black color barrier of the wheel. Screenshot? Yeah, him with a screenshot in like Discord or something like that. A nice reference. He's Gord. Yeah, go into BT6 channels, look at it. That's probably the easiest way to find it, right? I feel like nothing else is going to quite work out. <laughs> Alright. I mean, there was the time I kind of chat said, like, the, the, the perma spike on the Sanctuary. We figured that one out. We did figure that one out. There's, like, four pixels that work. Hey, that is twice as many as the dart spot and muddy puddles, and, you know, like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, he's Gucci. Yeah, bloody time. We're probably not going to beat it today, but I was like, you know what? We kind of just stopped the chimps grind after Ravine kind of just beat us up and took our lunch money for like three or four or five, maybe six weeks. So I'm like, let's just go learn the bloody puddle start. Where does that work? Wait, okay. Get that image for me. Ah, oh, beautiful. And that one you said you're targeting, that's probably the first one, I'm guessing. So my sub is probably close to right, but probably not actually right. This looks like it goes right about here, but a little more to the left, maybe. That looks about right. Anyways, uh, the dart spot left top. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, using Striker Satch. Yeah, like, maps like this, I feel like they're no fun allowed. You kind of have to use Striker, for the most part. The dark spot left, top 45 range? What? That's not super descriptive. I'm just going to look at the image. Let's see if we beat it. I wonder if there's targeting. Oh, that's last targeting. Okay. 
I assume Sub is just first then. You're gonna use Psy, because you need to do this in co-op soon. Starting with Psy kinda free. Yeah, you're not wrong. Starting with Psy literally just kinda free. I feel like that was oh. Never mind. I was gonna say I feel like that was supposed to be sniped, but no no it, it was. <laughs> okay. If it works, it works, I suppose, chat. Uh, I'm about to die here, aren't I? Nope. Wrong. Right, we did we did die. I take uh mm, mm, never mind. I did look at the Discord. I was looking at that placement and I probably still got it wrong. Dark goes a little more left. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can line this sub up. <laughs> Otherwise our placement will be <clears throat> suboptimal. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, sh I shouldn't. <laughs> that one was too far. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Uh, dart last starting works best, but don't need it? Really? Okay. The sub is perfect. There. Oh, I've just been, I just kind of hovered my mouse there. Oh, nice. Uh, calculated, by the way. Yep, I meant to do that. Mm hmm. And to do it. Alright, a little more left. Um, how are we looking? still don't really have a good thing to line up with. Kind of like looking at the rock, the green mossy rock below. Nice pun. Oh, thank you, thank you. I should just end stream right there. I Every time I make a bad pun or dad joke, there's a part of me in the back of my mind that's just like, just click the end stream button. Take them out. We go with a white name, because it's like snow. Don't worry about it. That was a pun for the ages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Sure was. Not left enough for 45. A little more left? Maybe a little more up? A little more left? How's that? How's that look? Who acres? Who even acres? <laughs> Who cares? Higher? A little higher? How about that? How about that? No? Not higher. Back down. How about there? How's that looking? Yes, yeah, snow, maybe? Use Churchill and not worry about 45. You don't anchor, but you do care. I see. <laughs> Higher. Yeah, let's go like two pixels up. Hold there. Acre. <laughs> yep, acre. Uh, the range lines with the water change? What does that mean? What do you mean the water change? I don't know what... Are we supposed to line up with like, oh, you mean like the... Are we supposed to line up with one end of the pool or something like that? We'll let him try this. We'll just place it there. Put it, whoops, put it in last and see how that goes. Bottom range should be in the indent in that little rock. You mean like in between these two parts of the rock here, like right on this line? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's correct. Bloody is too hard for your brain to, yeah. You like that. So we never get that last snipe, which seems wrong. I, in fact, Acre. <laughs> seems like a new inside joke. Just Acre. Uh, big water spot above the tiny one has a little indent. Um, uh, Which... Pond. Let's just go from left to right, say one, two, three, and four. Whenever we talk about a pond. One, two, three, and four. In three? In here. Okay. What are we talking, guys? Acre isn't funny. No, 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 that's the funny word now. Sub goes three. No, I know that. I'm just saying, uh, which one we were talking. Wait, carpet of spikes on as an ability? The auto part? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. 1.5 small puddle, bruh. You can't place any water tower in there. Come on. It's just a little puddle. A little standing puddle. Put a sniper in there. Make him sad because his feet are wet. The one I call a rock. I guess you're right. It is a tiny puddle. Well, all right. Fair enough. So the indent, you're talking about like with a little split in the middle, right? You say indent? You give up. <laughs> Lurk. All right. Not the split? Oh, do you mean like the little the little, the little nipple on it? The little nub? Indent in the bigger part of the puddle. The, the little 
full nipple, right? We lining up with that? Hold on. On the left side. Yeah, this little spot right here. God, I hate <laughs> this is what this is why Jim starts to suck. Like you start have to talk, you start have to like look for like the little tiniest things on the map, and line things up with that. <laughs> this game does not allow fun after a certain point. It's not a nipple. That's that's not. It's a nipple, not an indent. Yeah, you're right. I was about to say wrong, but no, you're right. <laughs> One monkey, I get wet this year. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. That's how it's gonna go today, hey. <laughs> Pick the song. Alright, what's your song request? You Pepe laughed at me. Do I want to know? Is this going to be DMCA? Mm, I don't see anything. Looks good. Run it. Isn't DMCA? Ah, poggers. That is <clears throat> very poggers. Thank you. Do I still think Ravine is harder than Bloody? Ah. I don't know, Ravine had a really stupid, obscure setup as well, to be fair. Okay, so we'll try and do our sub again. Um, I think we were doing it like that, or maybe lower, I don't know. Uh, the curve in the puddle that makes it crooked a little, the curve in the puddle makes it a little crooked on the left. Yeah, this the little nipple at the top, right? This one up here. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Back down to 42k. Unlucky. Well, you got to get your song request in there. Wait, so that's the corner curve but between the two puddles and the top part? Is he glad? <laughs> Stop spinning your points. No. Okay, hold on. Are you saying the sub needs to be lower? We'll just, we'll just play it until one day we figure it out and try and do it again. I still can't figure out what I'm lining this side up with. Yo, what's up there, Tim? Good to see you, homie. Hello, hello. Look at the bigger part of the puddle and do halfway down. You know this song? I don't recognize it. Maybe someone does. I don't know. Yeah, how's this dark placement look, chat? What are we thinking? Higher dark? Higher. Well, higher? Okay. Perfect. That's the indent. I don't see the indent, though. That's the thing. I don't really see what you guys are talking about, to be honest. All I see is, like, the... the the circle, and then the nipple, and then like the little thing on the other, the tiny secondary puddle. <laughs> Chimps is another beast. <laughs> you that, when you start talking about the nipple on a puddle, and you're like, that's the placement. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jalapeno pretzels? Ooh, they have cheese on them as well. Oh, that sounds good. Oh. Yo, you want to get me on a tangent about food? It'll happen. It'll happen. Is there any mid round? It's loud? Oh, sorry. It, it's whenever I play a song in Chrome, the volume's a little inconsistent. That's on me? Yeah, kinda. Kind of on me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! 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 Beautiful! Mmm! Delicious! I felt that. That, 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 that pop, you know? Mmm, delicious. It's like when you bite into, like... No, what's the food? What, what, what's my, what's my reference here. Hmm. You need to take a nice big bite into a burger, you know? A good, like a homemade burger that you barbecued yourself. That's what that pop, that, that, hmm, that snipe feels like that. Alright, uh, play round seven. Should this still be on first or should I change it? No sub RNG seven for you ever. Press play. First first, press play. No upgrades, run it. I. Send it. I guess it's sub snipe, so it's kind of like it shouldn't be RNG, but eh, it could be. Uh, 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 um, <laughs> there's a red bloom there. No! <laughs> Round 7 restart. That's unfortunate. Died to sub placement. Alright. We run it back. 
Okay, sub, higher, lower, pixel up, pixel down, pixel right, pixel left. What am I lining this one up with? Aside from, like, trying to do... I'm sure it happens a million times. Well, it's like, Ravine having three darts that are all very particular took me, like, forever to get it right. Hard to explain. That is fair and reasonable. One day, I'll get it right, and I'll just look at the exact placement, alright? I'll just do the exact placement, but do it again. How does that sound? The one day I finally find it, we just, just use the same. Always work with your lineup? Yeah. You want the sub spot now? Do I have the sub spot now? Wait, sub is weak t seeking targeting. Uh, that's not related to manual targeting. Right. right. Easiest way? Yeah, the, the, I'm sure you have a way. The problem is getting it, explaining it to me in a way that I understand is the hard part. <laughs> You'll never get it right. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Imagine beating on mobile. I I would I would be very impressed if someone beat this on mobile. I would say, you know what, you earned it. You did good, kid. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that on last and see how we do. Okay. You did? That's <laughs> you actually beat wait, you actually beat bloody chimps on mobile? That's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, press play, send it, send it! we die again. Alright, so sub placement. Still not right. Dart placement is looking aight. I feel like I've got a spot for that. Okay. This is Flooded Valley all over again. It kind of is, but it's not two subs, so it's not quite the same. Good with Churchill. Right. Uh, the big grass patch on the right should barely touch the range of the sub if you exclude the little grass parts that poke out. So you're saying like this green little circle here. I'm trying to line up with that. Wait. The big grass patch or the small grass patch? Oh, this is the con this is where it gets jank. I don't know if you mean the bottom one or the top one. Big grass at the bottom. Okay. Okay, okay. Barely touch the range of the sub. How's that look? What, what do you think about this placement? Yes, no, maybe so. Your thing about early game, all it is is like lining up circles with shapes and things. Uh, the blood solver. Ah, uh, yes, the blood solver, everyone's favorite tower. <laughs> it's not the first time I've seen that typo, is it? Alright, I'm just gonna place it there. So we're lined up just barely with the grass. We're kind of on the lights here, and let's see how that goes. Probably won't work. Let's just die to like round six this time. Blood solver OP. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's one. Press play. Get unlucky. Die again. <laughs> okay. Sure. Still wrong. Still wrong. Any word on new? No, I don't think. I don't think the new update's coming out soon. I don't think. Die in a different way. That's true. We did die in a different way. I honestly have a feeling the Paragons won't be out for a little while. Uh, it's possible they literally come out, like, tomorrow, but it seems unlikely. Uh, left part range, line up the dead center with the thick part of the only thick notch in the track. Only thick notch in the track on the left? Uh, what does that mean? Bloody Puddles Chimps, indeed there, here, Brian, indeed. The update comes out when I beat Ravine and tell Rohan it's a good map. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never. <laughs> three months out? I don't know about three months. I feel like it's probably like a month or two if I had to guess. Uh, look at the things in the track that are different. You mean like the little, the little tire track marks? Yeah. Which one thicker than the rest? What's up there, monkey? How's it going, homie? Good to see ya. What's Paragon Scruff? Okay, so there's a recent update... Well, not an update, sorry. Announcement. Uh, NK's putting things called Paragons in the game. Not to be confused with Sentry Paragon, which we already have. But, uh... Hold up the game. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. There's gonna be, like, Paragons, which are borderline, like, T6 Towers. 
We have to merge the other three. That's not a joke. That's a legit thing. Tire tracks. The problem is I don't know which one you want me to line up with. You said one's thicker than the rest. The problem is I'm, like, dumb, so... You got excited about beating uh, Muddy Puddles and I'm working in Bloody Puddles. Yo, Monkey, to be fair though, like, I get carried by my chat a little bit on the start. <laughs> I'll just be real with you. Starts before beating Ravine. Yo, Ravine's like, Ravine's like that boss that's not the final boss, but like, sometimes they're just harder than the actual final boss, you know? Perfectly parallel line with the only thick boy tire track on bottom left of sub range. What am I lining up now? Uh, this, this, I'm not sure anymore. Bloody Black Border beginning is the same for all heroes up until 27, you're pretty sure? That sounds about right. Every single streamer gets carried by chat. True. You're not wrong. I was like, I was... <laughs> You, you were merely adopted by the chimps. I was born in it. Molded by it. I think at some point every streamer was a little carried by their chat to some extent. That's the way it be. I'm just gonna try it right there. I'm just gonna hit the play button. One day I'll get it right, chat. Today probably won't be that day, but one day, one day. Bloody Pearls and Ravine are basically the king and queen of BTD6 maps. True. You play all the other like expert maps and you're like, yo, these are kind of difficult. You go to you go to like Ravine and you're like, whoa, hold on. This is way harder than everything else. Sanch. Never lucky chat. Is don't die. Yeah, that's fair. Logs, yeah, logs is the hardest map in the game. Y you require like at least a degree in physics to understand how to complete logs successfully on chimps, not gonna lie. Ouch and quarter pr I don't think ouch and quarter close at all. Anything special planned for my stream tomorrow? For my birthday? I don't really know. I, th I said we were gonna do more than Nuzlocke tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I I'll play whatever I feel are the most like playing tomorrow, which probably will be the Pokemon Nuzlocke, or maybe Smash, or maybe both. I think stream might also be a little different. We might start early. Because I gotta still go do stuff with my family in the evening, you know? I should probably do that on my birthday. I don't know. <laughs> so, maybe we'll have like an early stream. Uh, in your opinion, Ouch Quad and Ravine are still similar. Bloody is another level. I don't see how Ravine is compared to Ouch and Quad. Like, if you're doing Striker Strat, which I could not commit to. Quad is actually pretty easy. Ouch wasn't too bad. I mean, there's a lot of very specific art placement stuff, but... Uh, Q for custom challenges. There is! There is! Uh, that's the one. There you go. Like, I feel like... I don't know, Panny. Tomorrow's stream might not actually be anything that special. It'll just be a shorter stream. It'll be chill. It'll be fun. You guys can't bully me tomorrow. It's the only day you don't get to bully me, chat. That means you guys are going to bully me more, but anyways. <laughs> Long is unfair difficult. Seems like it would make 100%ing it impossible. I know. Like, I don't know who, what kind of insane idiot put logs in this game. Like, it's honestly too difficult. It's, like, not even fair. Logs isn't even fair. <laughs> Double bully today, then. Oh, no. <laughs> Monka is. You'll do it even more honestly. I know you guys chat. I No, I expect that from you. You have to get the bullying done today. <laughs> To get it all, of it, get it all out of your system today, chat. Come on. You did subcom Prince. Oh, and Pod was broken. Pod's still kind of broken. Pod is low key kind of still broken. Bullying speed run. True. Uh, one tower Tim's resort. Yeah, I do know about that. Sada finally one TC. After all these years, well months. It was Sada. Sada one TC. The only one that could ever do that. Ravine doesn't have an LCC yet, because no one's bothered to beat it for under 120k. Y yeah, no, honestly, that makes sense. Who would want to do LCC? Like, low-cost chimps? Nah. Who would want to do that? Ravine. Alright, I'm going to press play and probably lose again, chat. Wish me luck. Wait, was it about Oban? But you did Oban for yours? Do I snipe that blue? No, I don't snipe the red. And now we're back at square one. Yeah. 
then we die. Again. Okay. I thought we can hit all tracks. I thought it was also bad. <laughs> so say it like it is. Gotta keep the insults per minute above two. <laughs> uh, my one ravine game worked when I saved up. Oh yeah, that was a gold border run. That was before the uh, that was before the spike ball Etienne nerf though. To be fair, I did save like a stupid amount of cash and then I accidentally threw. Like we had way 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 too much money in that. That was funny. Uh, out of pixel play. F uh, sorry. What is needed for the beginning of this out of pixel perfect placement RNG micro etc? I don't know. You, th you wish they were on a random path? I don't think anyone wants that. Yo, I don't think anyone wants that. that I mean, maybe you could cheese it by eventually getting the right path, but like, that'd be terrifying. This map would just be straight up unwinnable if that was the case. How does that look for sub placement chat? What do we think about this one? Global damage, a lot of stall. Sounds about right. Put one more pixel that way. How does these look for sub placement? Ah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it. I forgot to do last targeting, but I don't think it actually matters here. Maybe it does. It definitely does. Okay, it, or definitely can matter. All right, well, sub, but again. Don't try that. Put that on last this time, though. Um, without stall, bloody is basically impossible. Yeah, probably. Probably right. Stall in this game is insanely good. I just hope Rohan never thinks like, hmm, I should nerf this. That's that's what we need to not happen, right? As long as, like, all the stall towers that are very cheap don't get nerfed, this game remains in a good place. Ooh, we leaked one more... Oh, that's weird. Uh, you want to guess an upgrade that lacks a 2 DC period because the ones you... Wait. You're saying because you can't afford it with a whole budget? You're, you're saying an upgrade for a tower that just doesn't have a 2 DC. Um... Well, there's a few of them, isn't there? Sun God has nothing. I don't even know. If, I think Sun Temple might have one. Uh, and Smines. There's no Smines. Unless you mean outside of those ones. Bloody Puddles, Chimps. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sai, PMFC is a bloody strat. I don't think Sai is in top tier. Uh, okay, maybe Sai is good. I still want Sai on a faster XP curve, though. Just saying. Why is Sai on the Benton curve? I'll never get it. Let you click, <laughs> click the pop balloons. Blue Gunner exists and it's great. Paragon is coming very soon because they're releasing many more. You might be right. Maybe the fact that they've already put it this far means they probably have it far in the works. Maybe you're right, Fortified. Maybe the first Paragon does come out soon. So when you use level 20 door on quad, crackheads can do anything in this game. People with like major crackhead injury, they, they they can just do things differently, all right? They they can basically just do whatever they want. People that grind, people that have this game, in, like you could have a heroin addiction or you could have a balloons addiction. And for some people that play this game, I'm not even sure which is worse for them. <laughs> Blood solver, <laughs> pog chimp. I feel like my placement on this sub is still wrong, and I I hate that. I hate that. Balloons is cheaper. True. <laughs> uh, they just get a log, backlog the other Paragons, but not releasing it immediately. You heard glue. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I agree, Fortified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they if they design a bunch of Paragons, but they don't ship them out right away, then they've got a bunch basically ready to go, and then they can steadily add them into the game. Yeah, you're right. That's probably a good way to do it. That's probably what they're going to do. People addicted to helium. <laughs> we're just a bunch of apes, and we're fighting helium. Oh wait, this isn't an FPS. Hey, what are the chances I lose again? Cool, love it. <laughs> uh, why do I feel like my sub needs to be like a little more to the left by a few pixels, maybe? Let's try there. Let's try there. 
Like I said, chat, one day we will get it. One day we'll get lucky. Okay. Uh, Sun, Tem Sun Temple Ultra Boost are the only non-hero upgrades that you can afford in gyms that have no 2TCs. Oh! Ultra Boost doesn't have one. That makes sense, actually. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. One day we'll die in round 8. I know, and it'll be a great day when we finally die round 8. Absolutely. That's the goal, is die not to round... 7, or even 6, but we die to round 8. We call it a day. Alright, do it again, do it again. The monkeys may be helium addicts. Ooh, lore. Lore alert. Okay, there's our snipe. Are you sure it's not just buy, like, longer range and no one told me? Like, we're certain we don't buy longer range or anything like that? Die to a ceramic? No, 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 no. Knowing my luck, I would die to a blue balloon on this map. Like I did on, uh, Pet's Pond. I would die to a blue in round 100. Uh, I believe in 2TC's actually sacking towers like with a door or temples not allowed. From my knowledge, those are not considered a 2TC. I think. I think. Uh, Azor's a really good hero for expert maps. Say we died again. Uh, they have a lot of paths because they're seeking bolts in huge range. Yeah, but like, but Adora's also kind of just bad. That's the problem. Like, in theory, yes, but like, also don't forget that Adora's not good. Adora's fun. I like using Adora, but not good, not good. 92 Yellow Bloom in 95, four different times? <laughs> oh no, it's gonna happen to me though. QTC is quite literal. Yeah, you can only place two towers. In theory, if you had an Adora uh, 2TC, like, say you did Energizer Adora, you're allowed to sack that Energizer, but you're not allowed to buy it back, I don't think. Hello, Mr. Streamer, what game is this? This is Balloon's Tower Defense 6. Unless you mean which mode this is. This is, uh, this is Muddy Chimps. Bloody Chimps. Wrong map, wrong map. Similar name. Wrong map. Uh, limitations of 2TC is you can place two towers. And you gotta be chimps, that's it, that's it. Uh... What? What? Uh, wanna try one again? I don't know what you're saying there, Taz. Taz? Taz? Adora Arc Wizard is fun? Does that... No, that doesn't work. You died the purples. That does not work. Wait. Wait, I read a comment said the game accepted it from Sax. But do you have to play this the same tower after, or no? Don't lose. Oh, thank you, Rohan. Alright, uh, no, we'll just win now. Rohan said so. We just gotta not lose, chat. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Glue. <laughs> okay, we didn't die there. Do we die round 7 again? Most likely. Why is round 7, like, the hardest round in this game, on this map? Ugh, we can never hit that last shot. You guys are telling me, like, you don't do any mic. Can you do micro to fix that round? Can you use micro to get around it? Is that an option that we can have? Like, can we just micro our way out of things? Level 3 Adora Pops, purple. Oh, that's true! Uh, but how are you gonna beat Camo Purples? I literally see no way you're beating Camo Purples, unless you want to tell me that you're gonna Fireball Splash with an 022 Wizard. Unless you, you're going to tell me you can hit every single one of those, because I don't think you can. New balloons lower the monkeys made balloons to ship their helium. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. <laughs> they have a helium addiction. That's why they ship balloons out. Oh boy. No shimmer by 45 unless the door necro. Exactly. Which would mean you're running bottom path anyways, and you'd have pod. And I don't think it's possible to use Fireball Splash on every single purple on 45. If someone did that, I'd be impressed. But that honestly sounds impossible. If you do a 1TC with Sada, does it give you the 2TC achievement? That's actually a really good question. Does it do that? Oh, yo, that round 6 was really free. I bet round seven is going to be impossible now. You did the top fin of the sub aligned with the right of the license plate. Oh, I could try that. I could try that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try that. 
because I'm probably going to die again. <laughs> yeah, okay. You already know. Okay. You said you lined up the fin with the top of the license plate. That seems a lot higher than I had it before, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Like that. Unless you mean just lining it up on the same line. I'm going to try that. I'm curious. I'm curious. Yo, Rohan, when can we have the option to, like, make monkeys not have idle animations when we're placing them? Man, drives me nuts. Can that be, like, an option? Like, when you're placing a monkey, they just stand still? <laughs> can we have that? Can we please have this? That's all I want. That's all I want. Just make it so we have an option to toggle, like, their animations while we're placing them. You're not sure how hard it- You literally just have to make, like, it's like three lines of code, like, while monkey- held, whatever command that is, like, their animation doesn't play. <laughs> that's all I need. That's all I need. All I need in this game. That's that's my only ask ever. Alright, well that sub-placement sucked. <laughs> uh, not that high. Range on the right. Wait. Uh, Range on the rightmost dot of the wheel. The fin's lined up in this... Okay, that's just lining up the... Uh, the vertical line is with the right of the license plate. Got it. Um, you mean the dot? Oh, the dot of the wheel on the left. Oh, I think I can use that. The bottom, the very bottom dot. We put the range on like that. And then we line up this with about the... I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Wait, the rightmost one? So this probably doesn't cut it then. Too low. Okay, here. Lined up on the dot and then the fin. Is it the very left of the fin or the very right of the fin? I'm gonna try the left of the fin with the right of the plate on the rightmost dot. Like that. Run mobile. Gotta go. Well, thanks for popping in, Jacob. <laughs> I'll catch you later. You had an option to disable specific heroes and using monkey money to level up heroes and challenges. Oh, yeah! That's a thing that we still have. I've definitely done that a few times, where I'm like, ah, you know what, we'll just level up our hero to 10, call it a day. That's the thing that should probably be taken out. Or be an option to make it so people can't level up heroes like that. Uh, do you say this is too low? Uh, you were clicking the Jeep lights? Or the other one was too low? Wait. Well, ah, who cares, who cares? Round 7, away we go. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead? We're dead. Alright. Oh, yo, Paragon skins would be cool. It'd be cool if we get a, like, Paragon skins. Like, I feel like they're almost at the same level as having a hero, but maybe that's a lot of work to add skins for every Paragon. I don't know. Okay, last targeting. Do it again. Do it again. Let's just try that. Wait, what was that? Uh, the 1-2 DC with Sana is a perfect example of how she's good on her, too good on her own. Sana's like the best hero to play logs and easy maps with though, but I mean Sada clear- oh I'm dead here. I think it's very clear that Sada falls off heavily on harder maps, but I don't know. I don't know. A no map should a hero 1 DC- you're not wrong. But like, you just gotta think about like the map by design. I don't think Sada needs a nerf. I still don't think Sada's busted. I feel like the argument of like, oh, Sada can one TC the game, doesn't make Sada broken, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Resort needs a nerf, not Sada. I feel like, yeah, the Sada one TC is like a testament to just how easy that map is being borderline easier than logs. It's kind of just like logs, but it's brighter looking and has more farm placement. Uh, extra map Sada too good. Too good half cash expert. Mm, okay. That's a good point. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Sada's fine. I don't think Sada's broken. But <laughs> resort. I, I, I like resort. I swear resort's just meant to have more 2TCs, but like, again. In the same, it's like as easy or easier than Lux, but it's just even better for a hero like Sada. 
You don't really care about uh, too many Paragon skins since the teaser looks awesome. It takes a lot of work. That's fair. That's fair. Resort easier than logs unless you're going to sniper start. Oh, that is true. That is true. That would probably be the one exception. A sniper start would be worse on resort, but every other tower in the game would be better. Uh, I'm dead here. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm gonna get, oh, I'll still get the snipe. Never mind. For some reason, I thought we weren't going to land that one. Ooh, that was a borderline very bad snipe. Uh, has more track length for non-global towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For non-global. Global towers, it is shorter. Resort having four loops in an alternate timeline is so cursed. Uh, Vacation Monkey surprisingly starts better on logs. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Start with ice on logs. Whoa, I never knew that. Which path? Oh, wait. Yes, all of the paths work. Hmm. I really want to try and like do some strong micro here, but I feel like it's not worth I just whiffed the dart, so I die. There was one shot where my dart disappeared off into the aether, and that's that's how I know I've died. That's how I know we've lost. All right. Sniper's like off one balloon. Can sniper hold on? Are you telling me sniper can't solo round six in resort? Are you sure? Are you sure that's the case? Nope. Really? Really? Huh. I'm, I just gotta know now. Does it actually not do it? It's really one balloon off. That's wild. It, the targeting doesn't matter. You're actually... What is Striker for? Uh, Striker was for... Smaller Strat. For Bloody Puddles. I can't believe Sniper doesn't solo that here. That's wild. Sonic uses small drop in early game, but they become identical in reaching mid to late game. Early power is the only thing overpowered. I guess they could, like, lower her attack speed by, like, 10% and give it to her later. <laughs> With Striker. Listen, listen, you just have to use Striker sometimes, alright? I wonder if there's, like, some weird jank that, like, lets you... Like, I'm assuming placing a sniper, like, frame 1 doesn't, like... You should be slower, right? There's no, like, weird jank around that. I don't think pause spamming is gonna, like, impact... The game's coded well enough that fast forward shouldn't break. Normal speed shouldn't matter. Strong first. I feel like it doesn't matter, though. That's the thing. Like, either way, the same thing should happen, right? You got the exact same time to kill overall, and you've got exactly the same amount of balloons you gotta shoot, so you're always gonna be exactly... You're never gonna get that last shot in time. You're always gonna die there. Yeah, there's no way to pop one red in time. That's actually kind of wild. Targeting doesn't actually matter at all, right? Like, targeting basically does nothing for you. I think. Just, like, leave it on last for a little bit. <laughs> I, I mean, there, there should be no- there should be no targeting that ever works, right? Because you need an exact amount of shots which you're never gonna reach, right? You'll just never have enough shots. It doesn't matter if you space things out. You're always going to die by exactly one shot. Yeah. Uh, there's only weird jank if there's multiple snipers. Right. You can do Churchill and Bloody. It works pretty well. Yeah, I've, I've been told Churchill's pretty good and Bloody as well. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Paragon skin. Wizard Lord would be a great callback to the first 4-4 tower from... Wait, B B85? What? B85? Oh, yeah, 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 that, from that one mission. Yeah, that would be cool, that would be cool. You should do Engineer whatever 2TC that you couldn't do on logs on this map. Uh, someone else did that, actually. The one 2TC I couldn't do was Overclock. Someone did do it eventually. That 2TC's been done. Where do you put Spectre on this map? Um, probably just, like, right here. And then put it on 8. Not figure eight, uh, infinite. 
Yeah, no, the 2TC did get done. I'm pretty sure someone did Cleansing Foam later, actually. I was probably mauled. Eh, I wasn't so worried about it. People are too sweaty about the 2TC. I think it's just a fun challenge. It's fun to get your name on there. There's a lot of people that care way too much about the 2TC index, and they need to, like, they need to calm down and get a life. That one's directed at Lombre, but also other people. <laughs> oh, hey, Effie. What's up? Are Paragons here yet? No, that's why my title is Paragons When. Paragons are not here yet. But maybe someday. Maybe soon, probably not. AC was... Yeah, it was a pretty boring AC. I mean, if it's not a Friday AC, it's usually 1DC Index Mod Check. There'll never be an index for that. Update is coming soon? <laughs> Wait, is that your is that your logic? If the AC is just kind of garbo, that means the update's coming? Good reason, good reason. <laughs> nerf Paragons. No, don't, don't nerf Sentry Paragon. Hold on. Potadora? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, like, here's the realistic thing. Almost every 2TC has been done or someone's currently working on it, but is sweatier than you'll ever be. But, like, there's a lot of alt maps. People really care. There's alt maps out there. Ooh, you need half cash and you'll black border muddles? Ooh, nice. Grant some beating chimps muddles. That is no small feat. Uh, you, you should be on last, not that. There we go. Uh, the 1TC guy surpassed Lombre with Association. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Hmm, okay. Placement looks wrong. Looks very wrong, actually. Too high? Okay, let's lower it a little bit. How's about there? How's that look? What do we think of this placement? Here comes Bloodles. Yikes. Yeah, you just want to get one 2TC. Yeah, the best way to get a 2TC, realistically, is wait for a new hero to come out. Unless they were Psy, get memed. Too low? A little bit? A little bit up? Okay, two pixels up. How we looking now? I moved two pixels up. How we looking? How we looking? Is there any other way to start Bloodles? As far as I'm aware, Literally, there is no option. There are no other options. There is no other start other than sub dart, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, you guys are all, all saying the new update's coming right before the next Odyssey. I don't think it's coming. Oh, I just moved it. I don't think it's coming out that soon. Let's just try here. The height is right. Now, is it left or right from here, though? Your friend signed into your account and spent all your monkey money on him. <laughs> they made you 69, I know. Not even 420 of some of them. Oh, SMH. I appreciate their grind, though. Can you really blame them, Evie? They were doing you a favor. Looks good. All right. Well, here goes literally nothing again. Like, the ravine start on paper looks worse, but I guess eventually you can get it just through practice alone. You refuse to believe there's only one start? It's... Probably true, but you refuse. That's called being foolish. Don't worry, that's me too. I feel that. Uh, resort was added in the later update. Sonic 2T shouldn't stay. Or should stay, shouldn't they? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, snap. Did we just actually do it? Oh, wait. Hold on, I never thought we'd get here, chat. <laughs> I never thought we'd get this far. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, we gotta we gotta ingrain this one into our brain here. That line literally touching that like a pixel above that. This line here just barely is like halfway through the dot on the wheel, and then just barely touches this grass. We're gonna memorize this one. Round eight, what's the play? I never thought we'd get this far. What do we do now? Hold on. I didn't think we'd get here today. <laughs> Look at the sub bottom left range. On the bottom left? By the bottom left. I guess we could line it up. It's between these two blades of grass. Um, try restarting. Good plan, good plan. <laughs> uh, you're testing if you could beat one. Wait, 100 in sandbox? Oh, you, you chose to check right in case someone else did it. Let's see. Yeah, now Pot of Door has definitely been done. Pot a minute ago. 
Are you asking if I've beaten chimps on this map? No, definitely not. Unless you're asking someone else. It's halfway... Cr Wait, you said it cut the... Take a tire track, very easy to line up. I mean, like, right there? I, I don't quite get that part, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what you mean on that one. Oh, well, like I said, it's good enough. It's good enough. It worked. Okay. Um, Dart Monkey for leftmost two tracks. Okay. Got it. How's, uh, how's this look for placement, chat? Is that good enough? Maybe a little lower. How's that look? How's that look? Trying to do Pod Temple. Oh, you died to 100? Oh, that sucks. Uh, this one is 45 dependent. Actually pretty close. This might be worse for like the round 8, but it should be better later, right? What about right side? Don't worry about right side. We got a sub there. Subs win. They're broken. It's fine. It's fine. You think it's perfect? Alright, I'm going to place it. Uh, are we placing another dart or just like, just the... Just the two. I mean, we're obviously not worried about black water right now. This is about a science run as it gets. So, like, I'm just going to press play. Hmm. Okay, that does do it. Uh, your dart is barely touching the water right pool. Mine is, like, a pixel off, so we're probably fine. Sub in puddle four. All right, sub to puddle four. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> uh, checkmate. Lower. How's that look? Experimentation of chimpsation. Yeah. You got it. You got it. How precise is this one? I had it first time. I had what first time? Subspot? Here. I'm going to intercept off the screen in the top right of path four. So you're saying, like, on the top, the right side of path four, we're hitting the very top like that? I think that's what you're saying. You want to have off screen in the top right of path four. Yeah? That's good. All right. Uh, targeting relevant here or no? You don't know. Fortify is agree. Fortified agrees. It's like we're good. All right. When fortified plus one agree, we we've got it right. We've got it right. That's usually the rules here. Okay. I'm just gonna assume press play. Targeting is probably irrelevant. I'm just gonna watch again. We're gold border right now, so eh, we got chances to redo things. Okay. Very nice. Uh, grass is a little extra covered, but it shouldn't matter if the spot works regardless. Gotcha. Gotcha. Just fine, then. Cool. Uh, this is... A, I thought I heard something about Boom around 10, but we don't have cash for that. I'm just going to press play and see what happens round 10. I feel like we lose due to Pierce. Unless it's mid-round boomer here. Again, it's gold border right now. It's science run. Who cares? You're scared. It's science run. We can pause. These aren't like pink balloons that'll make us like lose. Ah, yeah. Okay. No boomer for muddy? Or for bloody? You were thinking muddy. Okay. Gotcha. Sniper. Uh, Strong targeting or last targeting? And position, I assume, is probably just somewhere high and out of the way. Strong targeting uh, position. Like, is there probably a good... Yeah, boomerang attack speed buff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boomerang attack speed buff is actually a pretty good 10 killer now. It's Because it's got, what, three pierce at base? That or other side of this side of the track? Okay, I just figured we're trying to get as much range as possible in the sniper, right? Maybe the best. It might be with the attack speed buff on Boomer. Oh, it just might be. 
Ooh, a little close for comfort, but there we go. Round 10. Nice. Uh, he's blind. <laughs> what? 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 He didn't shoot that? Uh, hello? Nani? What's four pure space? I thought it was three. It might be four. We might have to go science this later, because I actually don't remember. Man, what is that sniper doing? 100 though? Yeah. That's tr You can get such a cheap, cheap pierce upgrade. Blind snipers roll and explain. I bet it'll work now, gold border, because of the sniper thing, chat. I think I know exactly what this is. Uh, it'll work now. It'll literally just work now. It'll literally just work now. And I know why it does that now. I understand that garbage. So we just got, like, gimmicked by the fact that... Hmm... Okay, so chat. Some of you know this. I learned this eventually. Uh, snipers, like, have their, like, cooldown when they shoot. Whoa, hold on. I'm actually gonna die here. Sometimes I have to set it to first. I just realized that. Place the dart above the rocks? Okay. Uh, the sniper gimmick garbage thing is the fact that when you menu out and restart, that sniper cooldown, which I don't know why that stays between rounds. I never understood that. When a sniper fires and has, like, no attack speed buffs, it has to, like, wait, like, a second before it fires again. If we menu out, that attack speed is reset, and it fires frame one again. If we don't, the sniper is still in cooldown and has to wait a second before shooting. So does Et. That's true. Et also has... Yeah. We're saying... Wait. Oh, yeah. Sanctuary's actually not that bad. Once I got the perma spike placement, Sanctuary wasn't too bad at all. Our, just center above the rocks? What's our placement on that? Like there? What's our placement? What's our placement? There or no? A little more to the right. Okay. From with mid round, uh. That's Ravine. Sorry. Force of habit. Force of habit. Mid round drops like that, I feel like are inconsistent. So you're always dealing with stuff like this. Okay. How about here ish? They're good. Yeah, snow, maybe? How does that look? I don't know if that's good or not. Sure. Let's just, why not? Let's just run with it. Sure, good enough, good enough. Who cares? Wait, stop. Stop. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, we might already be dead for that dart placement, who cares? Does it hit the other path? Uh, I thought it did. It's gonna ruin me later? Oh, probably. Most likely. Uh, oh, it has to hit that path, too. Well, hmm. That might be bad. I'm assuming in this strat you can't afford long-range darts ever. Think it hit the other path? Let's just wait for it. Let's watch it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So we're good now. Right? Hey, 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 this dart hits. This uh, Calculated. Some paths don't actually line up. Some tracks like this go further to the right. It's like how in logs, uh, th things hug the right, not the left. And that's some obscure knowledge that'll never matter unless you're trying to do an ice start or like saw to toothy see your jank like that. They get optimal placement. <laughs> Use an insta monkey SMH. No smile. Longer age is thrown. Two more snipers for 15. I assume we're kind of continuing up top, right? Just, like, doing the same thing once again, maybe? here -ish. Wrong target. I assume strong in all of these. To two more snipers, mid-round. Uh, right of the first path at top? Oh. Okay, sure. Stop. We've stopped. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Sniper 14, 15, you do approve. I mean, snipers are good. They put in a lot of work. Ravine taught me that, more so than any other map. Oh, you need intel for so with that sniper. That's a, that's cultured. All right, I like that. Uh, so right side of per first path, got it. Gotcha. I'm just going to assume strong targeting like always, because it is a sniper. And putting it on first is not something you should do unless you have to micro in a panic. The song's getting in your head, this one? I mean... You know, it's got a good reason. 
What's up, Giovanni, the gym leader? Yo, what a good name. What's up there, homie? How's today treat me? It's doing all right. I feel like I slept in like a degenerate today. And it's my bad, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's, it's doing well. How are you doing there? You see the thing about Coffin Dance song? Weird, but all right, sure, sure. We'll place another sniper. Uh, is placement on the last sniper important or no? You can only get one side, you can get 20 snipers. True. Means more stream, right? All oh, stream will be a full six hours. Don't you worry. We're only an hour and a half in here. Uh, you want to purposely cock block the right side so it cleans it left. Gotcha. Let me find it. Uh, like somewhere like there. Near the three trees on the bottom left. Close to the track. On path one, like here. Like that or nah? A bit further up and you're good. Like uh, there. Where the dart is blind. Look at dart range first. Oh, because we're using this for sub intel later, aren't we? Probably right about there should be good. Right? Sniper is based off sniper range. Intel and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. That looks pretty good to me, right? What mode is this? This is chimps. This is pain and suffering mode. Don't you worry. Alright, 15. I did not put you in strong. That is important. We'll probably have to micro something to first. I feel... Eh, I just have a bad feeling. That's all. Oh, no micro required. Wow. Alright. Everything that can hit 15 on strong, chain sub and dart to first halfway through. Or just win, okay. <laughs> hey, you don't understand. Me in a gold border run, I have dumb luck. Me in a black border run, literally never lucky. That's just the way it is. Uh, I have just dumb luck in gold borders. People are like, that shouldn't work, and then it does. Like, the time I greeted like 45,000 cash or whatever it was. Was it 50k? It was way too much money on uh, that I greeted. On Ravine and the Gold Border Run a long time ago. That was before the nerfs, of course. Now you can't do that anymore, but it was funny. I feel like I should be upgrading something soon, but I'm just gonna press play and see if I die and then pause. Luck or just skill? Intel time. Uh, which sub is more important for Intel? Top sub, bottom sub. It was 49k. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low cast chimps, Ravine, Pog. I was being a bit too. I was being a little bit greedy, and then I did die for it to like 90. I don't think I died 98, I think I died 96, or maybe it was 95, I don't remember. 15, 23, sniper placement timing, base. Wait, sniper placement base, or er, placement timing based and targeting of off tower. Of, I don't quite get, sorry, my, my words need some commas in that sentence. <laughs> Hold on. Top right one gets the intel, all right. Oh. Imagine being short of cash. SMH. Ah, regro balloons. Snipers are not exactly great at those. When they're yellow. Okay. Uh, I assume we're rushing twin guns next, or nah? I'm just gonna say nah for now. I'm just gonna hold off. Yep, okay. Oh, I knew. It's almost like I've done that three million times. Twin guns time! Uh, if you change one targeting of towers at different times, it throws all the towers into different attack times. Ah, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I get you. Which has actually screwed me over so many times on a Ravine. Twin guns funk you. Yo, imagine getting like a 201 sub. Who's ever seen that one before? The first time in the history of Dota this has been done before. Uh, everything must be identical to avoid any RNG. C. Well, hmm. <laughs> I'll just have to take my chances on the RNG, probably. Time to give it more intel. Hold on, that's not how intel works. I'm gonna die here. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. I need to do an upgrade here, probably. Science run, don't worry about it. 
Oh, you, you just mean place more stuff for intel. Two darts bottom right to give sub intel. How's that look? Is that a good intel spot? Maybe a little more right. Just above 4.5's puddle? Gotcha. Uh, straight above or like a little to the left? So it hits, I guess the sub hits there. So more like there maybe. Just above the puddle. Alright, so that should be good. And the other one, I see we're just kind of spacing our way up a little bit. Maybe like thereabouts. How does that look? Is that a little too low? Maybe there. Bit to the right. There. Maybe up a little more. How's that look? How's that look? That looks pretty good to me. I do say so myself. And I do. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I should put those in first, just strong. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's probably not a big deal. And we're just going to press play and see how this goes. Yes. Yeah, it looks like we're okay. A little close, but eh, it's all these... Any map that has multiple paths at the same time, I feel like you're always going to be a bit of a panic mode looking back and forth. And, uh, on my blackboard run, I'll get to 100 and first strike the pads on the 20 40 things. <laughs> Is that possible? No. <laughs> uh, I would I would manage. Not wrong. 10,000 blues. Uh, you accidentally change targeting or something for one second, and it uh, spins the dice 15, 23. It really do be like that. 20,000 reds. That would, just, that would just be impressive. I don't know what to tell you. That would just be straight up impressive. Alright, uh, 22. White free after 21. Your What was your first 100 fail in bloody? Do tell. Do tell. Yowza. We are not winning this round. There are three reds that need to be popped, and there's only one sub at the bottom that ain't ready to pop them. Uh, good sniper to 100. I assume you, when you say good, I assume you mean this sniper here? Or unless it's that one. No, I assume this is the good sniper. Alright. And a dart monkey? Oh, another dart monkey. Okay. Where's the dart monkey going? What the dart doing? This one probably here. Let's try to puddle too. Oh, yeah, I guess I was right. Okay. How's that look? Is that okay? Uh, higher? How does that look then? Still it's track 2 unless it's a little more to the right? I don't know. Hmm. How does that look? Barely hits track 2. Uh, there? A little less even? A little higher? How does that look? Barely. Barely, barely. Okay. That barely hits track 2, but I'm pretty sure it does. In the wedge. Of water. Yeah, but if I go in that, I don't even know if that hits track two anymore. I don't know if that does, and I'm kind of worried about it. You think you think this dart hits track two here still? With the dog doing used to be one of your favorite vines, you're happy when it became a meme. I get you, I get you. Forget the other track. All right, all right. I'm just gonna hope that does anything at all, and maybe just maybe. Strong as well. Okay. Strong targeting, sure. 23's big boy. Yeah, 23, like, I feel like on most maps, after 21 and 22 is, like, an absolute joke of a map. But, or a round, rather. But, like, sometimes this one just messes you up. The game kind of lagged for, like, a frame, and the sniper shot, and I, I just felt like I was shot. Oh, well. Alright, 24. <laughs> Imagine having camo detect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to do that. I, had, I couldn't help it. Gold borders, I have to do the funny sometimes, you know? Just use Psy. Good meme, good meme, but no. Alright, uh, camo sniper. I feel like you're gonna say, please don't. What camo? You're right, I didn't see anything. Which dart? Probably this one. Or maybe this one actually gets more impact. The round 8 dart. Uh, that is the round 8 dart, yeah. Okay. Looks good to me. I assume this is our other camo dart for 33. 
That's my best guess here. Okay. Man, you know, like, you know you're playing, like, a hard map in Chimps. The more dart monkeys and subs you have to have on a map, the more you know this map's a problem, you know? <laughs> it's just like, oh, man, this is looking like Ravine when you spam darts everywhere. And snipe. Yeah, the more sniper, dart, and subs you have, the more, like, early game carry towers, like, the more of a problem you know you've got. Like, this is just, you just know. Hero after airbursts. I assume airbursts were rushing next. I'm just gonna hold cash and pause if we need to for now. Uh, I guess I've got lead covered. So you said don't buy hero now. Hero after airburst. Uh, you only know until 27 for striker. Gotcha. 27 should be airburst. Okay. And striker after that. No biker bones. Yes, biker bones. <laughs> It's his time. That's, so that's why we never wanted to use Striker, because it wasn't his time yet. There's a blue balloon there. The red balloon there. My living. Airburst mid-round would be a good option. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, that'd be smart, wouldn't it? Hold on. You think the monkeys ever get scared of the disembodied hand that's strong enough to lift them? Nah, I feel like it's just like a warm embrace. Don't worry too much about that part. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I guess we get this before even greens are here. Yeah, which makes this... I feel like that's doable without airburst, but it's probably a terrible idea and not one you should ever do. Okay. Lead balloons! Oh no! Anyways. Okay. Scary talk. <laughs> Alright, uh, striker where? Now get another sniper to one oh, another camo dart, and then get church. <laughs> Homie, I don't... I don't think you... I think you're missing a little, <laughs> a little something. <laughs> we seem to be lacking in Churchill here just a little bit. Striker under rocks. Uh, the rocks. Uh, he, hold on. I want to buy that mid round 29, not 30. Because that XP could screw us over later, right? The buttons are the special tower. Yeah. Okay. No tank is present. No tank. Nope, just just raw macho striker bones, man. Alright. Churchill enthusiast. I, I feel like Churchill will be more fun, but not necessarily better. Alright, how's this placement look? How's that placement look? What do we think of that? Is that good? Right of rocks? Well, I assume under rocks, that's what we're looking for here. Is that the placement we want, or is that bad? I don't. I just don't know. I don't know. More micro, but less RNG. Yeah, between micro and RNG. Uh, lowest striker might be better. Is there a lower spot you can get than that? Because that's that's like as low as I could find. More bomb spots. Uh, I see. I'll try and get him as low as possible there then. While we're you know sciencing it up in this. as low as I could really get it, to be honest. I'm just gonna assume that's probably fine. Gotta go. Well, thanks for the assistance there, Scucha. You take care, homie. <laughs> you hope I lose and switch to Churchill. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Boomerang the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Did not know that. Ah, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep holding cash for a little bit. Until all of a sudden I'm like, huh, we gotta we gotta stop this. Oh, striker whiffing shots. Ooh. Alright, looking like Quincy right now. Okay. Looking like <laughs> looking like a 100 bomb tower on firing range right now. Alright. Um so 33. This is probably our camo dart, because that makes the most sense. Is the most map coverage. Now which wait, where's 33 on? Hold on. Actually forget. I wasn't paying attention to the pattern of the map. Let me just hold off a second before I do anything. 33, I'm pretty sure is... Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do that. We're just going to do that. 203 bomb after camo? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Imagine if we leaked 33 somehow. Like, the, the sub said, nah, we're not going to hit that. 
Uh, where's the placement on bomb? Like a low bomb? Is it a higher bomb? Straight cross? So much to the Churchill strat. I feel like once you get Mauler spam going, that's the easy part, but... I, I also assume we're buying a Mauler for 40, right? Is that, that only seems logical. For striker strat. Bomb spread is hard. Is it like mid rock spot or something like that? Or is it below? Where is it? Are we talking like this space here or what do we need to where do we need to cram that thing? Try and describe it. I'll, I'll see if I can do it. You just tell me the best description you can give it. And I will. Bottom of range lines up with the feature of mold, and rock looks like the mirror of Florida. That's the problem. What's Florida look like? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait. That's not going to help me. That's not going to help me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, bottom range lines up the feature of mold. Mold? What? Mold? What? Oh, let's mean on the rocks. Wait, the bottom of the range lines up the rock. Uh. Hold on, let me Google Florida real quick. Chat, I'm Canadian. I don't know what states they look like. I just know it's a tiny place in the southeast. It's a little. It's a little dip. Okay. I don't see how any of these look like Florida. Um, okay. Hold on. The middle left rock pile? This one? Hold on. Um, I'm still confused here. Is Florida the rocks or the open space? I don't know. Where's Florida? Where's Florida? <laughs> Balloons callouts are wild. <laughs> when you're trying to when you're trying to have your bomb on Florida? Oh wait. Whoop, put it on a list. Whoops. Okay, so the middle left rock in the rock pile. You said the bomb, the bottom lines up with that? Florida's Florida. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. Lefter, lefter, left, okay. Yes, here? Okay, up, down, left, right. Center, back, left. More left, okay, more left. Let's go all the way left. Touch the track, okay, got it. We're touching the track. Now where? Lower, okay. Isn't stream delay a beautiful thing, chat? <laughs> uh, until it touches the tip of Florida. I still don't know what this means. <laughs> I still don't know what this means. Where's the part that looks like Florida? Two pixels lower. I'm <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> what's Florida look like? Flow Rida, thank you, Rohan. That's what you, we're we do be talking about Flow Rida here. One more, a little more like that. Pixel, how does that look? The mold on the top of the rock. I think we're talking about the middle left rock. One more up, one pixel up, or do I need to go left as well? And perfect, like there. I moved a pixel up, but I do I have to move a pixel to the left as well, or no? Is this a black border? Oh, no, not even close. It's a gold border. Science run. Yes. All right. All right. Rush clusters into bigger, I assume. That's the way bombs do. This message is a test. This message is a test. All right. <laughs> okay. How is anything on the screen a mirror... I don't know. Oh, do you mean... Okay. So, you mean it's like upside down? Flo I still don't know what it... F Florida's like the little nib on the bottom of the southeast, right? The mold part of the rock. I guess we're just like... 
I, I bought range now. We were like lining up in here, I think, or something like that. Biker Bones is from Florida? In what canon? No, explain. You can't just... You, you gotta explain that one, Chief. You can't just drop that and say nothing. <laughs> explain that one. I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. What do you mean he's from Florida? Mold has all types of wacky shapes. I guess it does. The gray spots of the mold? Isn't it not mold? Wouldn't it be moss? Florida and rock, but not really. You know what? If you have enough to drink, I'm sure anything will look like Florida, right? Probably. Moss. That's the one. I'm liking this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to all two of you who got that joke. You're welcome. Alright. 203 bomb. There we go. I think Jacob got it. <laughs> This is a gold border, very much so. This border is about to go cardboard at this point. Maybe even bronze. I like how my tier is cardboard and then bronze, but please end stream. Oh, I, I got you, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, 36 should be free, I assume. Um, Airbursts, I'm pretty sure, beats 36 here with camo. 35 would be hard with bad bomb spot. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, why heavy bombs? Uh, it's not a mauler, it is a cluster bomb. Why would you not buy heavy bomb on a cluster bomb? Trip guns? Well, what if I buy trip guns now? Am I supposed to buy it? <laughs> Jacob, this is why you can't leave. You're legally not allowed to leave. You're under house arrest. <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought you said 203 bomb. Did you say 203 sub? Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna buy trip guns now. <laughs> what? How am I alive? Jacob, I, I think you underestimate how lucky I get in a gold border run. I feel like you just don't understand at this point. You do know how every time it's a gold border, I have dumb luck and I get through things I never should, right? And then I go to black border and the game's impossible again? On July 22nd, 1982, Biker Bones was born in Miami, Florida after going to high school and graduating top of his class with the Lord of the Lord of the gun. Okay. Just mumble words. 2-3 bomb, then 2-3 sub, 2-3 is optimization. Oh! Strats. Lucky here. Oh, why do I feel like I'm gonna leak? Can't. I press the striker ability. I don't think I was supposed to press that button. You get 023 bomb for bomb blitz. Uh, why do I doubt that? Why do I highly doubt that? 37 rip. Should I not be using that striker ability at all? I feel like I shouldn't do that at all. Oh, we did 30. Well, we're through 37 now because we abilityed. It's okay to use ability? Okay. Ooh. We're dead. No, we're, we're dead here. Camo sniper. Yeah, it seems like we're going to need one of those. Is that our middle top sniper is going to be a 110? Where's Etienne when you need him? I need two lens sniper. Uh, okay. I was going to assume this one also full metal then. We're going to put camo on that lad. Uh, one, one, oh, and two of these. Okay. Alright, let's see how that goes, and then we buy trip guns? When do we buy trip guns? We buy them when we can, I guess. Alright. Not leaking on the bottom? Not leaking on the bottom. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Wait, too much money? What? What do you mean, too much money? What? X. Hold on. No. Wait. Oh. Oh. Is there a problem there? <laughs> too many upgrades? I thought you said two... I thought you said two, uh... Lead snipers. Too many snipers? Too many upgrades and stuff. I thought you said to upgrade a second one and get one one oh one. Etienne's getting nerfed again? No. I refuse. No. 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 There's no way. Okay. Is that right? One one oh one. This. I thought you should get a second full metal sniper. There's no way Ed gets nerfed again. It's still okay, but like I don't think Ed's broken anymore. Perma you can't being removed. No, perma you can is not even that good. Except for when you ability. I don't think they're taking that out of the game. There's no way. There's no way they're gonna take that out. No, it's a rumor. I'm like, there's no way that's true. He's already dead. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's... There's no way. I'm like, that just couldn't happen. 
Okay, so am I good now, or do I need to upgrade anything else? Just our 1-1-0 sniper. We're going to ability that. Get rid of the lead, and I think we're good on there. Now, camos. Do we beat camo now? Nope. We sure don't. Is he lying? I don't think so. Usually, if he can't tell us, he just says nothing. He's doing damage control. Interesting. Nerfing Rohan? No, no, nah, no. Nah. Rohan needs more buffs. What do you mean? Kind of underpowered, not gonna lie. Can we truly trust him? I think so, chat. Oh, then again, I don't know if we can trust the guy that put Ravine in the game. <laughs> I'm not sure. Hmm, <laughs> hold on. Rohan's balanced. Yeah, Rohan's pretty balanced, exactly. Okay, how do I get through all that? I, I feel like the, the camo is killing me here. Well, it, oh yeah, does ABR have more fortified than free play for the sapper achievement? That's a good question. I'm kind of curious about that myself. Needs lead popping. <laughs> Getting jealous of the other towers. Get our 203 sub. It has not been winning versus camo. And our 110 sniper. 110 then 110? We already have that. Unless you mean another one. Unless you mean this stays 110 and I do another 110 sniper. I thought you said not to do that. I'm so confused now. Am I upgrading another sniper or no? You don't lie when you say something isn't. You only lie when you say something is. Etienne's drones are being turned into you, Cap. Hmm. He clearly said that. It's clearly not a lie. Did I do two 110s at first? Um. No. I had a 110 and a 100. Did I do two 110s? Oh. Okay. Am I also buying another full metal jacket? Because that doesn't seem to be the problem. The problem is not the lead. The problem is the camo. I'm dying to camo because I don't seem to have enough camo detect here. I should have one sniper. I have one sniper that's 1-1-0. Is that a problem? I have trip guns and 1-1-0 sniper, right? I've got two camo darts, but I still died to camo right now. You're saying I should only have one sniper 1-0-0. Is it fine that it's 1-1-0, though? I already did that. I have an extra sniper upgrade? I have this one. I just bought Night Fizz. Because I thought you said buy... Camo and Sniper, which I did. Because already have Trip Gun. I'm confused. Also, it's to die. But mostly I'm confused. That's all. Night Viz early is big rip? What? Okay. Well, before we keep dying to the camo... So what do I change then? We can't beat the camos here. We're, we're dying to 37 camo. I don't know how I'm supposed to beat that part, then. Lead on sniper? You mean a second one? Okay, are you saying a second full metal sniper? Is that what you're telling me here? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not dying to the lead, I'm dying to the camo. <laughs> like, oh, you're saying, okay, buy another full metal and then night viz. I was getting through this without the second full metal. The problem was always the camo, but oh well. Okay, we'll buy a night viz goggles on this one then. Or does it should be on the other one? I don't know if it's better to have it on this one maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Put on that. Because I'm basically exclusively losing to uh, camos at the end of 37 here. Uh, full metal and camo so it does more to camo. Well, yeah, I do have that. I have a 1 1 0. Which insta kills a white. But the problem is I'm still leaking because sub says, oh, no, you can't lair skip. No, not while I'm here. Then I die here. Like so. Does nerfing a map mean it gets easier or harder? That's a good question. I never know. When people are like, nerf the map, I'm like, to me that means make it easier, not harder, but... I, I, I don't know how this... Unless I'm doing close targeting sniper instead. I don't know. This seems weird. It seems very weird. 
something's popping the white with one damage. Yeah, the dart monkey. There's a dart monkey there. Nerfing a map would be making it easier. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Some people get it backwards, and then we're all just sitting there very confused, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why this doesn't work. I it's This dart is doing damage. I'm almost level 3. I know, I'm almost level 3, guys. Pretty hype, it's pretty hype. Close targeting. Maybe just first. Uh, I should leave you in strong. I, I don't know if any micro is going to change this. Okay, maybe don't micro. Maybe don't micro there. Hold on. But yeah, the dart monkey is literally always hitting that white balloon and we die to that. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that. Because that is also my camo detect for 24. So I can't change anything about that. Like that, that part I can't mess with. Right? I could try doing this one full metal instead of this one. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's worth a shot, I suppose. The Seeking doesn't do the funny thing. Not in time. Not in time. Definitely not soon enough to matter. Let's try doing this one so it's blind on the bottom side, which means it never shoots there. Maybe, maybe that's the part we're missing here. Uh, my bottom two left darts are way off. Ah, so that was too... Sub on close. Ah, yeah. Sub on close sounds good. Almost. Do it faster. Yeah, that's the plan. My O2 dart right side is what's killing me? Really? Uh, is it supposed to be camo on this one instead of that one, so it's this sub doesn't shoot that at all? Because that would make sense. Ah, uh, gotcha. I think we can we can work our way out of this, though. It's not spawn killing the white right side and not letting seeking hit left side. Right. This was a battle... battle? battle, 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 battle better full metal than the other side. I don't know if this on close is actually good or not, to be honest. All I know is this sniper specifically can't shoot the bottom right versus this one, which means it's going to focus the white balloons here. Yeah, no, the sub's already on close. I just left it on close already. It's fine. We don't live that. We don't live that. That, that doesn't snipe that. That doesn't connect. If it did, that'd be cool, but that doesn't... That definitely leaves us dead. I know the speed of a dart in a yellow balloon. We don't live that. We don't live that. Sub firing early will keep whites away from bottom left dart so it doesn't have time to throw. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, earlier I said, hey, where's Camel go? Probably mid, right? And so no one said anything, so I was like, okay. Uh, close was reserved for bomb towers. No. Sometimes you need close on other towers, but... Not always, I guess. Okay, well, let's do it again, see if we can make a change to it. Probably won't get any luck, but... Well, leave sub on first for one shot and then uh, on camos and close. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. You didn't notice the dart play. Yeah, no one said anything about that earlier. No one said a peep about that one. Just gonna wait here. Wait here. Okay. There is one more dart that comes out of nowhere, and I don't think we snipe that in time. We definitely still. It's always one yellow. <laughs> Tag and spack. Hold on. Targeting. Beard champ. I mean, okay, actually, close spack. No, that's true. When the sub spawns, uh, spawn kills the force to seek into the other track. But it's not doing that. Uh, ooh, daily chest. Oh, chat, I'm getting, I'm so close. I'm getting there. We're almost at that 365. It's almost one achievement down. It's taking a year, but we're getting there. Maybe there is no way to micro this at all? I don't know. Let's just try. Maybe we'll put it in last. I don't know if that'll change much, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Let's leave it on strong for now. 
until cryo. I mean, you can't say, oh, it uses this targeting if it literally can't choose targeting, to be fair. Like, that doesn't really count, right? Let me just leave this on last. Oh, no, last is... Mm, leave it on strong. That's what happens if you micro that. Okay, never mind. No saving, but it's worth a shot. It's always possible. Last time I was online was three weeks ago. Am I offline on Steam right now? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I didn't realize. I probably am, aren't I? Huh. Wild. Later, it probably kills for 45. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, we'll leave you on strong. I guess we can always use the Striker Jones ability if we have to, which we shouldn't need to, but... I don't know, this game janks sometimes. A last targeting, by the way. Ooh, last ditch effort. Mmm, last targeting. Mmm, last snipers. I knew that would work. I was like, why did I not try that before? Alright, there we go. There we go. No saving. Ah, last sniper's too good. Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to press play on 38, because I think we're actually fine here. I hope. I don't know if it's a problem with this sniper over this one. This is more camo for here. I don't know if we need camo here or here later, because we use that for intel. And I just realized we have no camo mid-path currently. And I don't know if that's a problem. Like, do we normally use this for camo off the sniper? I don't know. That's the problem. I actually have zero clue if that's relevant at all or not. All right, 39. I think we're fine. I'm just going to press play. No. Oh. What? It's not bad or it's not fine? Hold on. I'm just going to play 39, and then I, I assume we're buying, like, a Mauler for 40. Or we just alk buffing trip darts. Okay. There we go. Uh, mid path only has camels for 47. 3 0 alk. Ah, classic alk buff trip dart. Alright. Unless we're <laughs> alk buffing this one. But I assume it's trip darts alk buff, eh? If it was anything else, I'd be like, wait, what? Uh, are, is this going to be targeting bombs later, or is this exclusively, like, don't target anything else with the sub? Late Striker on Pops Rams. Okay. Is Alk just only hitting this, right? Or is Alk trying to hit bombs later? Because that could be important. That could be important. I'm just not sure if it is. We need this to hit Maulers later, or is this just, like, exclusively for the sub? Alk only subs. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to put it up here then. Maybe, like, get a little bit of range off of it? Yeah, we can always play around that. Right side of track. Uh, how about this? Does that, that looks fine. I don't think... We're not placing anything here, right? Unless it really needs to be on the right side. That spot won't work. Oh, okay. Are we placing more... Oh, Maulers are going that far out. Okay, got it. Okay, then in that case, uh, like here? Even higher. What up there? Is that a good good spot for Elk? Village spot too. Right. Lower? Like straight across? Parallel with the sub? Like even further. Uh, till the range lines with the green thing popping out. And this piece of shrubbery there. Bottom grass patch. Burning town. Oh, you caught the song. Nice. Like there? How's that, how's that for a spot there, Fortified? What does that look like? Is it good? Higher? Okay. Like there? Just below the sub, right? Higher. Even higher. So so parallel with the sub. Like, lined up with it. Even higher? Oh, how, how high does it have to go? There or even higher? A little lower? Okay. 
Okay, it's like literally like basically parallel with I think where the center of mass on that sub is. Based on where feet are in this game, because that's center of mass, I guess. Perfect. Alright, nice. 301 or just 300? It's 301. Okay, I'm just gonna press play. There we go. Clean 40. Aight. Uh, so 45, I guess, is what I've been told is our next problem round? Are we rushing clusters? It lines up with the green thing that sticks out. You mean the this, this branch here? Whoa! 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 How did that get over there? Hold on. This is why we're... Pause chan. Full border. It's fine. Just gonna press play again. So we're fine. Ability 41 uh, into 40 alk. Okay. We'll just watch it. We'll just watch it slowly. It's the only thing about having a top right sub. There's always travel time to worry about, which isn't like a big factor, but it definitely could it could impact the game quite severely. Okay, uh, through the power of RNG resets, we don't have the ability here uh, because this game dumb like that sometimes. I think we just cheese the sniper uh, a sniper shot reset. We need like a quick term for that. Ultimate sniper shot reset USSR. Wait. <laughs> okay. Um. Tower setup looks so strange with the dark monk. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. It's like why is there so much spam going on? It's one of those kind of maps that just has so much spam happening that it looks like so cursed. Like I, I agree with that. It does look strange. You're like, there's too many, there's too many towers on the map for this to be chimps. Uh, used the billion forty one. The striker projectile flew around for an entire minute. Oh yeah, is there one challenge someone made where you had to like use your ability at the very end of a round as something died, and you had to have it like snipe the next round or something like that? Oh hold on, for you chat, I got you. What's our next buy? Uh, AP? Or recursive? Or something else entirely? 45! That's so cursed. Oh. 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 Another sub? Alright. Oh wait, no? I'll just wait. I'll just beat 45. Because apparently this is the sketch round. Yo, bombs within all those shots. Oh, camos. Yikes. Yikes. We don't win that. Village 45? Uh, I'm guessing that's around our sub, or is that around Striker Mauler? The range? Where's our village? What's our village targeting here? This is like top side village, or... Bomb these... Oh, it's a village bomb. Uh, is this placement fine? Or maybe not? So my brain's just thinking about brain power right now, underneath the bomb. Uh, I'm missing on the left side then. That's not gonna... Unless there's a spot right there that's good. I thought I saw a pixel, but... Hmm. In the spot. Right there. Should be about one pixel. It seems like it. I'm not going to get Striker in there, I don't think. I mean, I'm buying range anyways later, so it's probably fine, right? How's that spot look there? I, it doesn't actually hit Striker, but... It will after a range upgrade. Okay. So what are we buying here, then? I, I feel like, conventionally, if I'm doing Mauler spam, I want Commerce, but I feel like I don't actually buy Commerce here, and I buy, like, a 320 or something like that. Do I have to rush camel for this round in particular, then? What's the, what's the layer? If it barely fits, you know it's right. That's fair. That is fair. So, then what is the game plan here? Are we villaging for camel, or what? 
It, this whole money strategy is so convoluted, you know? You have to rethink. Okay, alright. Well, maybe we'll talk about a story or something like that. I feel like my work stories are just like, wow, my work week sucked. I hated it. How was your week? <laughs> it's like, we gotta talk about work. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, chat, do you ever like just let the YouTube algorithm take you away? And like, you just end up somewhere you never expected to end up? And you're like, how did I get here? But like, I'm not mad about it. That was me yesterday. I got hit by one of those like random uh, YouTube recommended things. It was really short. And I don't remember why I clicked it. It just had like that kind of Vine short video kind of energy. And I was like, Yo, I like this. All right. And then I, I click it and it was like some compilation of some person. I guess they're like a, hmm, what's the right, like a theater group or something like that. And this one guy just has like mad chaotic energy. It's great. And then I ended up watching this thing that was like... <laughs> What's the name of it? It was like a theater production called The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals. Actually hilarious. Actually hilarious. I'm like, I don't know how I got here. I watched... It was like two hours long. And I was like, you know what? I've got nothing better to do today. Just play it through? Are you sure? But I have no camo for left side. I was dying to camo verbals. Recursive. How do I beat camo purples? I was not winning that before. I definitely did not win that. I'll see, I'll see. I just feel like I don't win here, that's all, without camera detect. Like, I can buy recursive, but I can't beat purple wounds. Oh, now I can- what? Excuse me? Wait, why did that work the last time that was looking bad? What? Does this have something to do with bomb hitting one shot sooner? Therefore, sub doesn't hit it. Sub keeps Alk buff at a certain particular time. Gets more shots off on. Per but the, but the problem was the camo balloons, which this doesn't. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't get it. I don't understand. Keeps regular balloons back and oh now it's whipping shots. But because of that, oh, it's so weird. Okay, am I just buying recursive with this cash, or am I getting like an 002 village first? You know what? Ignore what I just said. Ignore everything I just said. We're not going to talk about it. I think it had something to do with like the balloons coming back, being kept back in Alk buff timing. I guess. A very weird interaction, though. A very weird interaction. O two O village for camo. But do I buy recursive after that or before that? This can be a mid round cluster bomb. Then recursive or nah? I just realized this isn't in Striker Bones range, but maybe it is after I buy Village. Big rad. I'm just gonna press play until like we hit a point where I'm like, oh, we're gonna die. Did I say O2 instead of O2O? No, 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 no. I was saying, well, like, it's okay. Sometimes. Ooh. Ouch. There's a green down there. We're actually dead. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, when, when you're doing, like, stuff like that, I feel like Maulers and Double Village with, uh, discount are very good, but maybe on Bloody you can't afford that. Look, well, welcome back there, Scoochie. Welcome back. I'm just gonna try buying Recursive under my radar. And I think I have to buy... Or maybe all I need to buy is bigger rad. Maybe I shouldn't be buying recursive yet. Eh, so we need bigger rad because Striker doesn't have camo until I do that. And I think that's the important play there. Maybe we're just fine now. I don't know. I don't know. It looks right, but it might not be. And that's the scary thing. Well, if it's wrong, uh, unfortunate. If it's wrong, it's very unfortunate. I don't know if I want Jungarums next, that seems like a logical play, but maybe it's not. Where's the- oh, 50 is wide, isn't it? Which means 50... Uh, I feel like we have to ability the right side Moab. Probably. Just a guess. This is supposed to be double vill? That's why I was- <laughs> They said he was crazy for asking what 002 Village. 
crank the tunes. We probably lost this run. Just crank the tunes. No, not. It's not. It is. So many Waller's need disc. That's what I was saying before, and I was confused when. Uh, all right. Whatever. Let me just do it now. It's like gain nothing from that. <sighs> One discount is still better than nothing, right? Can you even get away with that? I don't think you can hit this here. Maybe that's wrong. I mean, this run's probably dead then, right? Or is it? Or is it? Get away with it? With no discount? Really? Or do we spy a second village now for discount to have one? Just need an O2? Okay. Where's the placement on that? I guess it doesn't need to be in range of the first village. That's kind of irrelevant now, I feel like. Where do we want to place that second village then? Enjoy the trip towards Throwtown. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. We just embrace the, the, the first train to, to throw town. Touching the farm. Well, that's not a farm. Hold on. You need village for sub. Um, okay. Forget your order. C. Uh, if it's hitting sub, is this getting range or no? Is this going to be an 022? Or is this going to be like... Villages on Alk? Oh, I see, like here. Yeah, this is very convoluted. I, I feel like it's the opposite of uh, Ravine. Ravine is like a bit of complex early game, a very like set, consistent, not too confusing mid late game. It's just difficult to pull it off and not get rolled. Whereas this one's like, if you do it right, it's not hard, but. It's just so much to remember. Top left is pot. Oh, top left. What? I thought you said on Alk. That is okay. Uh, this is the only part that confuses you unless you're playing. Got it. Changed a lot. No, I'm so. Good. You said top left. Not under unless it's not under. What? You mean by this top left from here is possible? But in regards to Alk buff, still getting hit. On sub and Alk. Okay. Okay, okay. See, dash. This is why it stops being fun playing muddy, bloody puddles. I regret this immediately. Like, there. Let's turn this music bank down. Top left is possible. Like that. That's what you're saying, right? Still hit. It, it hits sub and Alk. Yeah? Yeah. We buy that to 02 for Maulers. So I assume we need for 50. Okay. Let's go to press play here. Uh, 49 shouldn't be too bad. I assume with recursive on one side. Oh, it's whiffing shots again. Uh, it shouldn't whiff Cerams though, right? I paused the game and it unpaused on me. Uh, you know what? All right. It's halfway there. That's We're going to call it there for bloody. We'll run that again next week. I don't know why the game unpauses. I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, bloody and Ravine are just no fun. They're just not fun. Let's play some challenges, chat. Let's get that Q running. My room is hot and I want to die. It's so hot in here. Why is the AC off? I don't know. This sucks. Chat, I'm sweating. Uncomfortable. Major discomfort. Why is this house so messed up? Actually, just molding IRL right now. He's this stupid building. I don't know why it just gets so hot in here. It's like the AC just doesn't work in certain places. Oh well. Uh, you need to run your starting strat, find your exact order. Yeah, yeah. That's always what I call the grocery list. Where at a certain point, Chimps is just reading like the list, of, the order of operations of every thing you have to do. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see, let's see. We got in the queue. Okay, looks like someone cleared all the things I've already done from the queue. So, uh... Let's just start at the top. I might have played some of these and left. Maybe not. Uh, you don't know why they get Junkrams before faster throwing the 4 0 elk? I... Mm, I don't know. I mean, the argument for Junkrams versus, like, faster throw... Wait. Oh, you're saying they buy Junkrams before they buy a 4 0 elk? Really? Yeah, I don't know why I don't know why anyone would rush that. That just doesn't make sense, but 25% versus 17.6%. Yeah, it's yeah. True. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe it's Yeah, I, I got nothing for you. I don't know why. Alright, uh sorry, this content browser is so weird to me. I don't like this. It just looks not right. Content browser. Small balloon. I thought I played this already. Could have sworn I played this. And now I'm confused. Didn't I play this chat? Did I not play this last week? When I ran challenges? Oh, I did do this last week. Okay. Why did it not say played? Weird. Oh well, whatever. Uh, I think I already skipped that. Let's skip it again. And see what else is in the queue that I haven't played yet. Let's see the new ones. See the new ones. Village. I've also played this it appears. Hmm. Weird. So maybe I didn't mark some in the queue. This will be easy, but it looks like I haven't done this one. Ah, 63 chat. Oh, we know these. Funny numbers are plenty. Hmm, whatever could this be? 400 to 401 is better than 40 with Jungrums. It's math. Yeah, you're not wrong. Pretty good bloody run for the first time. Yeah, I mean, I, gold border, right? Things become e oops, things become easier as long as you don't mess your placement up. So what do we have for good 63 killers? No easy glaze. We have Brit and like more glaives, and I'm pretty sure that just wins. At least I think it wins, chat. I don't think we need a third tower here. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and that's fair, but pretty sure that's just all you need to kill 63. Does this beat the third wave, though? I forgot it's a buffed 63. Uh, you know what? It's still not even a problem. I don't care if it's a buffed 60. Yeah, no, it still beats it. Nice. All right. An easy, chill, definitely chill 63 challenge. It was chilly. That was, I guess, the hint about ice, probably. Yeah. Quelm challenge? Probably won't beat. Probably won't beat it. Quelm has... Yeah, I uh, I think I know this one. I think I skipped it for a reason. And we got an Amphi challenge that I haven't played yet. Interesting. What? Amphi gave me a code that apparently doesn't work? What? Okay, that's not right. Okay, that one works. Day 95. Left into your challenge? Someone remove it? Uh, it probably got removed if I played it, I think. The ones that I got finished last week, I think were... I don't know if they got cleared. Or th I think there was another dock that had clear challenges. Maybe they got moved. So, yeah. If it's gone, that means I played it. And actually probably did beat it. Maybe? I, I can't remember. I must have. Alright, 95... Bottom path, super micro. Yeah. Yeah. I I think I know what's going on here. We obviously can't buy Legend of the Night. Um, Dark Champ, I think, does... Yeah, it does pop lead, but I think we buy Plasma Blast anyways. And micro almost certainly required here. I don't think you can get away with just placement on this. Oh, it's reverse. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, it's reverse. Sure. Hmm, I'm dead here. Alrighty then, now that I know that... 
Uh, you said your first time doing Mauler Spam, 35 would kill you? Really? 35, huh. Interesting. I guess I just got lucky, probably. That's probably it. Okay, so we're gonna have this one front and center here. Start 204. Probably targeting strong. And then maybe we'll just, like, have two more Dark Knights kind of in the back-ish. Targeting first. That's... I wonder... If, mm, that might not be the better option. I don't know the best way to divvy this out. I feel like just put Laser Blast on both, if not Plasma on one. 35 at perfect bomb spot. It just Oh, it attacks at just the right pattern. Gotcha, gotcha. I forgot to check one thing. Uh, so speed was down. Okay, I couldn't remember if a regrow rate was buffed or not. It appears that is a big no. It was not buffed. I messed up already. Uh, this map, I swear, has like the weirdest targeting of any map in the game. And I never know what to do about it. It's always complete jank every single time. Every single time. That on last might be better here. I'm gonna try the double uh, laser over plasma again. This should be on strong instead of first. And maybe hitting this cross section a little more is better. Eh, it's kind of letting me down right now. Kind of letting me down. DDTs are slipping through, and that's GG. Okay. A pair of 004 and a pair of 203. Hmm. I could try that, I guess. I, I feel like... I don't know if a pair of... I can't... Def wait. Ah, I feel like this isn't that... I feel like this is so much worse, you know? Like, I feel like, in general, an 004 versus a 204 is, should be a very, very noticeable difference. But, like, maybe in this case it's better, even though it really shouldn't be, like I said. Hmm, well, we'll see, we'll see, I guess. Strong targeting, by the way, not first. Switch you back there again. Eh. No, that's definitely worse. That's definitely worse. You need vengeful, duh. Good meme. Uh, for 45, when you're in sandbox, you remember how... Wait. Triple O Village for 45 in camos. Then another 203 sub mid-round 45? Oh, you buy a second sub. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well, let's do this one more time. I'm almost tempted for the meme to buy, like, a range champion. But there's no way it's a range champ, right? It's never range. The range is just, like, the last thing I feel like you want to buy on this. Uh, I can only afford Plasma on one, maybe mid-round on the other. Let's have you strong target again. Um, the only thing we really gain... I'm going to sell that, I just don't care. The only thing we really gain from this is Pierce and range, which I guess isn't great, per se. Yeah, it doesn't work, okay. Yeah, plus one Pierce. But I had two four sets strong before there, Ray, and it didn't quite work out for us. I don't really know... Unless, maybe the Dark Knight part isn't as important. Obviously, they need uh, Ultra Viz, but... I wonder if a Plasma Blast is more optimal than a Dark Knight. Like, it, it should matter. You'd think Dark Knight matters more here for... Ghost, maybe? The Grange. I, I just tried that one time. I was curious on the pricing on it. That's the only reason I did that. Like, what happens if you do 202s? They should be worse, right? They should be. Unless we're supposed to do the opposite here, use two Dark Knights to focus each side's pathing, and then have this Dark Champ on cleanup detail. But that seems kind of unlikely. No, that definitely doesn't work. Um, let's try this. Let's try this in a bit of a weird spot. Targeting strong. Uh, this one... We'll focus right... Oh, I'm trying to remember where, where, where does reverse go in this stupid map. Uh, this isn't much better, is it? Okay, you're going to be here then. Be up here. Once again, this one focusing strong. Uh, sorry, strong, not first. And then I could try like a dark champ cleanup here, I guess? 
Dark Knight that holds Rams. Yeah, but it doesn't do a good job of that because the Dark Champ, the Dark Champ can't seem to solve the DDTs and Moabs, which I would think it would, but it doesn't. Uh, did after two two or three subs you rush discounts? You didn't want to say put down another sub because discount, right? Two or three subs spam super easy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, you mean for this one? No, I have a, I have a three tower limit. Unless if you're saying two or three super spam, I've got three towers, so I can't do that. It's not something I have as an option. Let's try this backwards here then. That seems better so far, actually. It's not perfect, but it's definitely doing better. But, nah, it still doesn't work. Still doesn't work. Yeah, three towers. Otherwise, yeah, 203 spam would be more effective. The weird thing is that I can never quite afford... I can never get, like, a four... I can never get a 204 and 203s. I can have, like, one or the other, but not both. And that's the problem here. I don't know what to do with that information. It's also in reverse, which just makes this map super janky. And, like, th this map's targeting never feels like it works right, like, ever. But it just feels worse here. You know? I also feel like Dark Knights aren't actually that good if we're not... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make this one Plasma, and then I'm gonna try Micro more on the top side. Since that'll be our weaker pathing here. Dumb Knights, but good champion. I don't know if I like the Dumb Knight idea. Oh, you're on first. Oh, you're on strong. Hmm. I feel like I'm whiffing a lot more Pierce than I should be here. I leak that one. DDT. Okay. Okay. I could try Dumb Knights, but... I don't know. It's the most jank targeting uh, of any map. Yeah, no, I agree. This map's targeting is just frustrating because it doesn't work like 90% of the time. You like it. I wouldn't say I like it. I honestly really don't, but... It's a fun map. For challenges, though, like... Uh, the targeting never works. It never works. It never works. Alright, I'm going to sell that. Forget the Dark Knight upgrades. Just have some slightly stally Plasma Blasts because they can hit DDTs as well. Which I could not do before. There's got to be a better spot for this in strong targeting than what I was using before. I had strong targeting. Not for... Ah, uh, it doesn't have range. Uh, makes you think out of the box and use no aiming towers like tag zone. I don't know if I'd say using pat tag zones out of the box thinking, but <laughs> Mesa reverse. Oh yeah, Mesa is also kind of jank. You're not wrong. Mesa kind of weird and reverse. I agree. Okay, let's try you here on strong. I just don't know what I want for the cleanup there, unless I stack them all on top of each other, just like full idiot mode. Can't have these targeting strong, though. That'll never work. Because you can't pop DDTs. Unless, again, maybe if I have one of these strong, because then it hits DDTs again, you're also strong, and you're first. With our bad cross-pathing just on first, just buying us time. I guess. Which isn't great, but it adds a little extra DPS in there. That maybe will make a slight difference. I don't know. I forgot that I can't teleport map wide. Well, I know I need teleporting. The problem is I don't know what the teleporting really does to buy me time. What's better for gold one? I, uh, I don't think Impoppable has much for gold balloons. Honestly, I feel like it's, it depends on which type you're doing. If it's magic only, obviously you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be stuck doing it in hard mode, but. Three B indeed. As soon as you TP, you lose. Yeah, normally, that's how it does work. You're not wrong. Easy only has like two gold balloons, though. I thought it had more than two. Is it really only two? Huh. Okay, let's try something weird, like throwing down last on a dark champ here. Right? Never whiffing our pierce. Ever. Ever. Early, we're gonna have our laser dark knight targeting strong. 
Then this one is our kind of lazy panic cleanup, which is just going to be a Dark Knight that can't hit lead, but probably won't need to, I hope. I hope. Got our kind of car wash going on here, you know? And suddenly it doesn't work. Oh, you're targeting last. I forgot about that. Whoops. Hmm. In front of attacks earlier and then teleport back to give a little extra time. Yeah, the problem with teleporting is we can only teleport so far, right? And no matter what targeting I really did, it didn't seem to be like... There was no good spot for this, I feel like. I can try it again, but unless I really want, like, the... Maybe I do want the range on the other supers. Have them at the beginning by range on them so they can teleport further back. It seems not great, but it's possible. And so I don't play challenges. Yeah, that's honestly fair and reasonable. This is why I play less challenges than I used to. Well, we're going to sell that. You're going to be strong targeting. These are kind of on first, which doesn't really work for DDTs, obviously, but it technically gives me slightly faster Saran cleanup. To back that up now. Uh, I don't have enough range to TP all the way up there. I'm leaking DDTs anyways. Ah. 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 Super micro. It's it's not fun when there's three of them. Expert chimps with multiple heroes. Ooh. That is kind of interesting. Because they're all kind of weakened, but they all do something. You're not primed for the evil balloons mines out there. I feel that. I feel that. That's why I say most people that make challenges don't want people to have fun. They just want people to be like, yeah, your challenge is difficult, I hate it. That's what they look for. They they don't... Some people do make fun challenges. But usually not. Usually not. Okay. Um, difficulty is fun, though. I don't think it always is fun. I don't think every game you should play should be a grind. Like, maybe it's just the fact that like some of you guys don't have to... You've never had to work full-time. When work is your grind, you don't want the games you play in your free time to also be the grind all the time. Because that's... Then your brain's constantly going. You always feel like you're working at a certain point, right? You want to make challenges that are designed to be challenging but not impossible. And that's the good way to do it. But most people don't. Some people do. Amphi's challenge probably isn't that bad, but eh, whatever. Oh well. Yeah, I like challenges that teach you something interesting. Those are always wild. Okay, that's what we got here. Rouge Fax Machine has a challenge in here. Saram Killer, okay. Uh, the best Saram Killer. Um, there's some good options. Assuming this is, okay, 76. And 2,000% HP, which means it is village. It is certainly village. <laughs> I am 100% sir. Oh, wait a minute. No, Bloom Solver, sorry, I take it back. Is it Camo? Oh, it's solver, it's solver, it's solver. Oh, balloon speed. Bruh, I didn't catch that. Oh, so it's so it is village. I take it back. It's village, but placement does matter because reasons. I'm gonna do that for the meme. Wait. Oh, but I have to hold on, hold on. This only works if you space it right, I'm pretty sure. What? Wait, did they change that? I could have sworn this insta kill 2000 HP Serams. Oh, that's so weird. The quirky ones uh, like to use ice to speed up balloons into Dark Champ. Yeah, 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 Weird bug ones are fun, too. Reason you quit balloons while you're ahead. You got too grindy. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, well, uh, if we had pop and all, that would be it. But I don't think biggest one insta kills 2000. Oh, uh, this is definitely not Glaive Lord. Or you jug? Maybe Spirit of the Fall. I don't. Okay, no, this is probably a bad idea. I don't think Spirit wins here. Yeah, Spirit doesn't win. Um, I'm surprised Primary doesn't in the top left corner. If we had Pop and Awe, that would actually maybe win here if we could ability that. You have to grind so hard for top 50. Some people found a way to get Ben 
level four instantly through end round leveling luck? What does that do? Wait, what? Palm Blitz Solution. No. What else do we have here? I always find it funny. Solver just doesn't have cross pathing because I'm pretty sure that would win. But not at 500% speed. It can't physically hit everything. But if it did, it probably would win. But we don't quite hit everything. Or do we? We definitely don't. We definitely don't glue everything in time. And that's why we lose here. If we could get them sooner, or have, like, cross-pathing, then glue would win. Your magnum opus. I see. I almost want to refuse biggest one as a solution, because that just seems ludicrous to me. Maybe you can just, like, perma-stun everything if you place it right. I still don't think that's the case, though. Yeah, biggest one definitely doesn't work. Uh, I'm surprised the village doesn't. It's super weird. A few rounds that have to end right after placing Ben. Right. Uh, there's so much jank that race players abuse. Oh, okay, this tower's good before... This shouldn't work. Like, this thing loses to super... Yeah, I was like, there's no way that wins. And Glaive Lord also certainly does not work. I am... 100% certain Glaive Lord does not win here. Not even close. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Glue only wins if it hits everything. Unless there's a spot that, like, targets everything. Maybe I can get some snipes off of this. We missed one. Otherwise, that was it. Maybe we just gotta find the right spot. Hmm. Blood solver time. It always leaks one Ceram, and it can't hit it. Oh, two this time. If we can hit all the Cerams, then glue is definitely the right option. But if we can't find a spot that hits them all out the gates, and we do that again, we'll see that... No, oh, we're going to whiff again. Five times balloon speed is my least favorite thing in every challenge that it's in. It's just such an annoying mechanic. Uh, we leak one Ceram there. Ooh, but then they're not going to die in time. Once again, bank at square one. The sub loses to 101% Cerams. Sounds about right. Scooch should be a person's name. Bicycle and Fail. Yeah. I, I think those would win here. Probably would win. We don't have selling, right? Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Obviously, Energizer does not win in any world. Glaive Lord, same deal. Those are definitely cut. U Jug? There's no way U Jug wins here, right? Like, I refuse to believe that U Jug has any shot of winning here. That's what I thought. I was, like, pretty sure that one we could write off immediately. Solver, I think there might be a spot where Solver wins. Who says it isn't, bruh? I'm still surprised about Expertise not working, to be honest. That actually, I, I find that wild. It gets them exactly down to a rainbow. Which, I could have sworn it insta kill 2000% HP, but what, whatever, whatever. Biggest one, I'm pretty certain doesn't work. Eh. I wonder if, like, it'd be weird if, like, oh, I wonder if Bernie stuff, biggest one, is actually better here for once. Nah, I didn't think so. Okay, so it's back to Solver, but place it better. We're back at that game, I think. Put Radar on it. I don't know what that one, Chief. That glue spot is worse? Okay. Ah, one Ceram. Two Ceram. Three Ceram, four. Okay, bad spot. You have to name your first son Richard because, like, Richard 34th or whatever, but second son? <laughs> Scooch that is. <laughs> Jank Micro did not save me. Why is it always one? Why is it always one single one that we cannot seem to hit? If I do this, I'm also late. If we ever hit... Oh, he can't even hit there anymore. Okay. This is... I, I feel like this has to be the solution. But the problem is I always whiff, like, one or two Cerams. Glue might hit more in slow mode. You're not even wrong. We are playing in slow mode. Glue hits more in fast mode. Imagine a world... I didn't think so. It should be pretty consistent. There's very few towers that don't work consistently when you do that. Very few of them. 
I think we got two again, so we're dead once more, because these will not die in time. Anyone else tired of 63 challenges? Because I feel like I am. Unless Spirit of the Forest has a better placement that gets away with it. I like Range Path. I just don't think that's going to do enough here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Same spot you did. Learning doesn't matter, there's no micro in the spot you intended. Slow mode myth. I was told specifically with snipers that it does affect it, but maybe I'm wrong. Richard passed on from Uncle Hood, only daughter's parents can make it the first name. I <laughs> see. Yep. There you go, good one, Scucha. Proud of you. <laughs> Try 163. There's been very few 163 challenges, I will say, but the ones that have been there have been quite spicy. Ah, uh, I got one of the, the rebound there. But does that die in time? Oh, it doesn't. Really? Wow, okay. Maybe it's not Solver then. Huh. More of a showcase said the Blood Star was a very new niche, which is, uh... More of a show you also dislike. Yeah, I really hate 500% balloon speed 76 challenges. It's like every third challenge on Expert, though. That's like all people do anymore. Also, that does not win. It does not win. Squeeze in the entrance. I mean, maybe close targeting. There's some jank where it gets away with it. No, it always leaks like one. Always leaks one or two. Try right on the entrance starting first, but that seems unlikely. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Every challenge is going to be on 76 or 63 at a certain point. I just hate that I specifically leak like two or three Cerams. Hmm. He just whiffs a lot of shots, which is a pain. And when I did actually land all the shots, I died anyways because it wasn't close enough to the entrance. Uh. Such an obnoxious gimmick. Did I beat Bloodles? Uh, we got the 49 then died. Called it a day. Can I do it further away? More splash, more spread. It almost hit one on the rebound, but not quite. No Omega lol. It's always like three. It's always two or three, because it's always Pierce Limit. Michael attempted this like a thousand times. Yikes. Not sure what the point of Pixel Perfect challenges is. Uh, suffering. I don't know what to tell you. There is no point. <laughs> that is the point. Nothing. Literally nothing is the point in these challenges. Like, I, I get that you want to do a showcase. I just feel like this is a bad way. I don't know what you're trying to showcase here other than, like, uh, Solver Pierce Limit is bad without cross -pathing. You've proven your point. <laughs> Solver sucks without cross -pathing. Let me know I can give away a solution. Yeah, I just... I feel like if, you're if your challenge specifically needs the solution given to you, it sucks. It's a bad challenge. There's a few exceptions where it's like, oh, this is a bug, by the way, and you're like, huh, that's a cool bug. If it's not a bug and you just can't figure out the solution by playing it, it's not a good challenge. It's not a good challenge. I'm going to mold every time I play challenges. Because, like, I swear this is all people do anymore. It's pixel-perfect, frame-perfect, occasionally interesting ones, and just a lot of bad ones. Then you know the solution is just, oh, it needs to be pixel-perfect. Yeah, pretty much. Straight lines. I tried doing this last targeting, and it did not work. See? Did not work. Um, I could try last in a different spot, but I feel like it won't work anyways. So, yeah, unless I can get, like, on a weird... Last targeting's kind of shooting first, because balloon speed breaks the game. The 263. I think I know which one you're talking about here, Ryan. Close targeting? I could try it. Still always leaks one. And then even if we hit that on the way back, we die before then. Looks mad. Yeah. Uh... At least you didn't put too much bait in there, I guess. I mean, it was very apparent. I mean, I, I saw these three, and I'm like, these have literally zero shot. This had a shot, but I think it got nerfed at some point. 
closest met on curves. Uh, first starting chasing. Yeah, but I tried that. It didn't work out so well. I tried to like use the, the angle or whatever. Didn't work too hot. I got it one time, and guess what? We still died because we didn't shoot them on the first curve, so it didn't matter. He's grow blocker. Yeah. Who? Still, we can. Yep. Eh, Solver sucks. Solver can be cool. I mean, I feel like Solver is more of a challenge tower than a, a base game tower. It has clearly the best Saram cleanup in the game, but, you know. Well, actually, Pod might still be better. Points show that Solver is good enough to beat Max Everything 76. I don't think it is. I don't think it is, unless you have exactly like one pixel placement. I don't know. I mean, like, you, you could have just given it cross pathing as a showcase, because, like, I, I don't think there's a good point in showcasing a tower without cross pathing, because literally no one would. No one's gonna use a tower like that without cross pathing, right? Pod size kind of good. Yeah, except for you can't hit Moabs in time and stuff like that. That needs a lot of Moab damage as well. Pod size, like is a cool combo, but his problems be good compared to base one. That's fair, but like you're showca you're showcasing a tower by not giving it cross pathing, I guess. I don't know. Seems weird. Oh well, unlucky. The game is jank. I'm not fishing for a pixel anymore. I'm not saying it's a bad challenge. But like, yo, people need to stop with the pixel perfect garbage challenges. Unless it's like, an, if there's no bait, there's one tower and it's like, maybe then, but still. Yeah. Are these gut strats? And they heal before gym leaders? Wait. What? Which game? Playing it? Yeah. Sorry for complaining about it, but like, I don't know. It's what I'm here to do. I'm here to call out people for making bad challenges. Radical Red. Ah, I see. Still never... Chat, I, I, I'm I still never playing a modded Pokemon game except for maybe Rusty. Blood Solar Pixel Tweaking isn't for everyone? No. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I just generally do not like finding pixels in a challenge. Not for me. It's supposed to pull you not the other way around. Wrong! Wrong. The point of the streamer is I have the mic, and I can speak my mind and tell you you're bad, and uh, you should feel bad. <laughs> that's the one. All right, 46. Uh, that's uh, what is 46? I don't remember. Who cares? 45's camel purples, and 46 is the one who cares. Oh, it's ape. Never mind. Everything's irrelevant. Dreams are dead. It's ape pop. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? Ape pop 46. I assume as soon as that mob dies, everything is. Okay, where's the end of the 46 part? And why do I feel like I've already played this challenge before? For like 20 minutes. I... I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm just gonna die here. I've played this challenge before. And I'm confused. Because the challenge browser says, You've never played it? But I've played that before. He, he, why did it not say it was played? Is the browser broken right now? Because I have certainly played it. That's super weird. Hmm. Oh well. Can't afford much in this. That was the problem. Must be updated or a copy. Uh, I guess that could do it. That could definitely do it, right? Rohan left and he can't explain. Yeah, because I swear I played this exact one already. That's the weird thing. And I don't really want to play it again, to be honest. I just... Maybe it's because it's APOP. I hate APOP challenges. Because then you can't stop and think. You can't really figure out anything. You just kind of sit there and suffer. I 
I just like the tank speed buff this lad. Uh, that's a lot of Serams, and I do not win that. I guess I don't think I win that. No, I do not. Okay. Uh, ABR boons get more fortified. I feel like it should, but I don't know if... Okay, isn't free play and ABR still RNG? Let's just see how this does. Uh, do we have buffed Rigor? Oh, that's why this sucks. Okay, never mind. That's never gonna work. Okay. Uh, dummy sniper, maybe strong targeting, and then something for, like, cleanup. What is gonna get through double... Hmm, double Regal Rainbows at 150 speed. What wins versus that? Uh, their RNG after 40... Or 140? Wait, ABR's to 140 now? I did not know that change was made. Interesting. Can't buy trip guns on that. That's a problem. Hmm... Seems close, but still can't kill those regrow balloons. Unless we can just like a stall druid. The uh, D regrow lightning, maybe. And you go back to strong. Hmm. Uh, then we're gonna leak for that. Okay, so that doesn't do it. Three out two spec. Oh, you're seeing you smart targeting spec. That seems unlikely. I feel like smart targeting spec shouldn't be the right answer, to be honest. Uh, oh, balloon speed, by the way. Okay, alright, every tower sucks. You, you buff balloon speed by more than 10%. You hope they make almost a 140? I don't know if there's a real point in doing that. Alright, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move on. Challenges make me hate streaming a little bit every, every time, every time. Every time. I just don't know if they're worth playing anymore. I feel like I've done all the good challenges. There's a couple ones that are probably interesting in there. Okay, so we've got like a super thick Moab that takes five years to beat. Uh, we've Top Path Boomer and that's it. Place this back at front. So instead of Smart Spike, using Smart Targeting, but I don't think that's it. That's, wait, oh, I saw that wrong. We've Glaive Lord. And Permacharge. Super Brit. Uh, I could do this, but it would take me a year. We got a lot of good towers that kill this, but like, I don't want to do a challenge with like, oh, be like a 22 times HP Moab. Whoa, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. 90 and 91. So what, like, no cripple Moab? Okay. Preemptive. Uh, the spike balls, spike mines. I don't know if this works at this HP value, but... Oh, no Alk buff. Yep. Okay. I just don't have the metal fortitude to play a stupid challenge like that. It's a Thuian challenge. I should skip Thuian's challenges all the time. Anyone who knows, they know. 0% with part 9. What does that even mean? 94 challenge. Sure. Two monkeys, a very large amount of cash. Do I have selling? Okay, so I can't do GZ spam. I don't think. Hmm, maybe. Popano is actually pretty good. And... Pod. Nah. I don't know about Pod. Whatever Tech Terror and uh, GZ could do it. It's probably worth a shot. I forget the, oh, I don't know. No, no cripple. No cripple. Okay. Uh, I forgot to check boomerang. No T5s. Okay. U jug is not good here. No, that's good here. Uh, I don't think Smailstrom is good here either. Preemptive. I feel like. It, well, there's no water. Never mind. Even if I could place a pool, preemptive wouldn't be the right answer. Jeezy's good, but I don't know if it's enough. There's no selling either. And speed is up, isn't it? Yeah, so I don't think I don't think you can double GZ this. Because you can't sell, right? 
Otherwise, this would probably work, but it won't. I We can't lair skip everything here. Right? Like, we can lair skip the first part, but not the second part. So that's a problem. Glorious gold might be worse than Sapper. Yo, okay, the gold balloon farming achievements, I hate those. I don't know why that you have to do, like, that many of them. I assume Glorious is the 500 achievement. That's... I still think that's one of the dumbest achievements in the game. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Let's see how we... Well, I wonder if we can do Pop and Aw plus, uh... That's not the tower I meant to buy, but you know what? No, this won't work. I don't like this at all. I press play. Okay, awkward. Let's just do this plus, uh... I wonder if you can do that plus GZ to buy time for a second ability. Uh, you enjoyed Sapper more. <laughs> You're 47% and it's your last? Aw, oh, dang. I, I swear, NK just hates people getting close to doing all achievements. Uh, I think I popped that too early. So I wonder if you do that with everything on screen. Uh, we don't beat Moabs, though, and I don't think that buys us nearly enough time. No, it doesn't. Okay. Unless we do it in reverse order. It's still gonna leave... No, that's still gonna leave us dead. And it's definitely not gonna work, because if we do this... The ZOMGs are never gonna die here. In case you lower the difficulty of the Golden Balloons down... Yeah, 250 would be more reasonable. I don't even know why there's a... There should not be, like, five tiers for that. You know what I mean? That's the part I feel like I don't understand. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely not going to be it. 500 really is... I... Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know who decides those achievements, but it's so infuriating having to do, like, 500 stupid things like that. I have no idea why they're like, Oh yeah, people want to do this for, like, three years, right? Yeah, it's always ludicrous. I wonder if G-Sabo plus... No, we can't do the ability... Ooh, eh, hold on. Actually, a little curious about this. We have a lot of cash, which means I realistically should be using a super. Uh, I don't think we can... G yeah, we can't G-Sab one time for Zoom G's here. So I guess that's not going to do much for us, is it? And I don't think we're going to use that to uh, GZ twice. I think that you speed up long before we get there. Yeah. Okay, so back to like smart stuff like... Oh, Sun Temple, I guess. We can sack something to this temple too, right? Uh, the problem is, what's the best thing we can sack to it? Uh, what's our highest cost tower in our arsenal here? Is there anything over 50k? I feel like there's nothing over 50k here, right? Moglu. Uh, yeah, looks like nothing over 50k. So we'll just throw, like, a pod in there, I guess. Because we know it's definitely just a little over 25k. We can sack that, do that. The Sun Temple with magic, which I don't know what the best... Th I don't know what each thing does for Sun Temple. I feel like I never keep track anymore, to be honest. And then... What do we want on top of that? Hmm. Maybe GZ again? Wanted primary? Why primary? What does primary do? What does that do for us? Let's buy a GZ again, just see how that looks. Oh, it increases attack speed. Ah, I see, I see, I see. This tower is, uh... Uh... <laughs> well, it's something alright. Yeah, this was definitely a mistake. All right. Maybe temple is the right answer, but with what? With what? Uh, if you get seven golden balloons a game, you beat in 72 games? No, that is a lot of balloons. That's assuming you get every single one. Even knowing full well what they do, I don't think most people are going to get 72 games of in-pop. Specifically for one achievement, though. I know you can multitask. That's way too many. That's assuming you don't miss a single golden balloon. 
which it's definitely possible to miss one or two. Oh, there's 10 in the game? Okay. That's more reasonable then, I guess. I still think that achievement's absolute garbage. That's just like, it's literally like NK spitting on us and making fun of us for playing their game. That achievement is, I, I still hate it. Rohan said most of the achievements is like, oh yeah, you can crank these out in a weekend. You can't crank that one out in a weekend whatsoever. That is just not the truth. There's eight in Impop, that's assuming you miss one. Gotcha, which, hmm. This one said there's eight, not ten. Easy is the fastest, two guaranteed gold blooms in a very short time. Yeah, I just don't like achievements like that, that are... Ah, there's a few grindy achievements, but they keep adding more of them, and I don't like them. I'm like, achievement farming can be fun, sometimes grindy, but those are just like... Those are just too far. Those just like, go way too far. Let's just do a perma spike for the meme. Who cares? Who cares? Smart targeting perma... Yeah. For the culture, right? What are strong versus... I'm just gonna leave this in strong targeting for a second here. Definitely a huge, huge, huge difference here when you buy, uh... Do I have enough perma spikes in the back here? Okay, yeah, primary is insanely good compared to that. I might not live that. Okay, I did not live that. Sure. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's a noticeable difference right there with primary. Absolutely worth... Now we know. Magic Sack was bad compared to that. Primary was way better. Just want to make sure I don't have anything that's 25k plus. Uh, Maelstrom's the most I get, I think. Mm. 72 games with 70% success rate better, good, you think? You thought you get 10 from... No, someone said people are saying 8. People are saying you get 8 total. I still hate that achievement. I think 100 is already a lot for it, and... 500 is just ludicrous. It's just a waste of people's time. And I don't like that. I think Smailstrom... That's not passing that 25k threshold. Second temple in the bank. I don't think I can afford a second temple. No, I can't. I definitely cannot afford two temples. One in the 20s uh, to one in the 90s. Yeah, I guess you could leave frame one in the 90s, but like, even playing like through round 90-ish, mid-90s, like let's say to 95 of Impop, just for golden balloons, man, that's not fun. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's just do that one more time. What if I just buy range instead of knockback? Maybe place this better next time. Also, Perma Spike, probably not the best option here. This challenge. We got close. I just want to leave Cerams in particular. Maybe that's bad. Maybe just. I think the knockback might have been more effective here than the, uh, the range ever will be. I'm definitely very dead there. Okay. The knockback was better. Golden balloons, golden balloons need to at least pay for themselves versus a speedrunner. The point of golden balloons is that they add up in cash over time, but they're a small thing. I think teams are infinitely better than golden balloons. Uh, probably, like, whoever was behind that actually used a little bit of their brain. <laughs> Unlike whoever was responsible for golden balloons being the way they are in this game, but... I don't know. Teams are so much more fun. Yeah, I, I agree. I like teams. I think teams are kind of fun and interesting. Because if you want that extra cash, you have to play the game differently. As opposed to, oh, you need to play as ice and MIB and ice. That's all. That's your strat. That's your entire game plan for gold balloons. Nothing else really works, except for maybe Flash Bomb and a Ninja, if you're doing the magic only achievement, which is also dumb. So, yeah. Is Maelstrom worth here? Mm, eh, nah. Just stick with a dumb perma. I think idiot perma is a good plan. I don't think... Wait, do gold balloons give you less money than if you are just a speedrun? Rohan said they did the math and it was good. The way they did it, it seemed fair and balanced. I'm like, I still don't agree with that at all. I 
I still, yeah, I, I just feel like they're not well made. The Golden Bloons, I, I, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. Uh, they also take way longer than a normal game. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong, because you have to play around so much with it just to get it to work. Yeah. No, they're definitely super not worth it. Uh, I think I'm dead here again. I don't think I've got nearly enough for all these uh, Moabs coming out here. Oh, I'm big dead. I'm big dead. Close, but I don't think I get away with it. Yeah, closer. NK really isn't good at math. Again, the point is for new players to, like, earn a little bit of monkey money over time from Golden Bloons and, ex by extension, teams. But, again, I, I, I think teams are cool and Golden Bloons, yeah, they're silly. Exactly. They're not... For anyone that's played... I don't know why they put an achievement for grinding them, though. Because they're just not fun to grind. I'm like, again, teams, I think, are fun to maybe... Maybe a little more of a grind than I'd like for more achievements, but... They're cool. They're interesting. That's true. You have to wait... For, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally playing the game with Ice Stall when you're doing Golden Bloons. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea at all. Because it... Well, it isn't a good idea, first and foremost. It's not a good idea. Okay, let's just buy that real quick. Target strong. Maybe last year. The fact that you need to stall while grinding the achievement is so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the Pirate Lord spam one was kind of funny. Or the Pirate spam one. You can do that in one game. <laughs> you can do that in one single game if you want to. But, what if I just Alk buff this? Can't permabrew it, which seems kind of cursed, but... What if I just do that? I don't think Alk buff makes a huge difference on the temple, but it should be something. I feel like this does not win, though, and because I can't sell, I can't buy, like, a P-Spike after. So I'm almost certain I do not win here. <laughs> Single Saram. I would have leaked more. Oh, well. What does military give the temple? Um, good question. Good question. Let's try other temples here. The culture. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, you can be... Oh, is that 25k plus, though? No, I don't think that's over 25k. I guess I could do, like, Papana or Biggest... I guess Papana is over, over the 25k threshold. For military, but I don't... Does that give you the planes? I think that's the planes. It's projectile size? Oh, okay. Uh, something tells me that was not worth it in the slightest. But, like, you know what? Whatever. Uh, I can't afford Apache Dart Ship. Ah, uh, there goes my game plan there. Baker Balls of Light. That seems really bad. For some reason, that seems just really terrible. Hmm. Wonder why. Magic gives raw damage boost? I see. How does sacking a Peebrew work? That doesn't work, right? Can't afford that. Can I? You can't sack Peebrew and get away with it, right, chat? That would delete- that deletes Brew, doesn't it? I just feel- I feel like it's weird that the cost looks like it does here. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't work. Though, sacking P Brew, now that I realize, that is the only tower that's over 50k. But... then I can't buy knockback. Does delete Brew, so I think we still die here. Um, yeah, I feel like this does not win. The OMGs are going to roll me here. We're not going to win this. We're dead. Oh, we got a second Sabato. Oh, nah, 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 nah. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. It definitely doesn't cut it. There's a bug to keep brew last time you checked. Do you think it's bug reliant? Because that would make sense, right? Would make sense. Bug, bug, bug champ. Bug. The cost just looks too much like... Look at this, look at this, right? Don't you think it's kind of weird that we can exactly afford this? You think if I do it fast, you can trick the game? Got AMD, but not Brew. Maybe there is a bug, I don't know. That seems unlikely, but maybe plausible. I play challenges when you can play Golden Balloon. 
Yo, imagine if someone streamed just doing golden balloons. Maybe the worst stream ever. No one talks about they switch out. Oh, that's true. You can't even choose which one you're going to grind. <laughs> uh, there is none of them right now, I found. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you can bug uh, Brew to be kept there. Make a grinding achievement that you can't even grind. Yeah, it's the fact that there's both of them and they're like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only do it 50% of the time. Coding's in the milliseconds. Uh, when things change... Yeah, that's true. I don't think we're ever going to get Peeper on that. Maybe there's like placement for this that just works better, but... If we do Temple Peeper, then we can't afford anything. Um... We're just like a raw, bad temple. Maybe one weak sack would be better than that, actually. Can we Peebrew after? Wait. Wait, what if we do Temple Peebrew instead of Temple with Peebrew up? This seems cursed. Like, this can't be right. No, I refuse to believe this is it. Uh, if I remember correctly, Peebrew Temple su <laughs> Yeah, Peebrew Temple sucks. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm like, I'm pretty sure sacking a Peebrew is better on a temple than ever Peebrewing it. Like, temples, in, uh, they're just terrible without sacks. Uh, there's a way to get a Vengeful but buy a 205 before the game registers it. That would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. Unless we can have, like, a liquefier in the back clean up after that. That also, once again, seems kind of unlikely. So we can go back to, like, Maelstrom just for our, uh... A little bit of attack speed from that knockback, strong targeting, maybe. What if we do just have, like, a solver in the back? Or liquefier, rather, not solver. There's a bug to freeze the... Well, there's many bugs that do many crazy, wacky, wild things, I suppose, but... Uh, pierce limit goes burr. Never mind. 35k. The only thing that adds up exactly in this stupid challenge... Sorry, can't buy cross bathing on that. The only thing that even remotely adds up is this. For some reason, which I do not understand, this does add up. But then we die here because we can't buy any other tower. And I highly doubt it's, oh, Micro a super a Sun Temple Savvy or something dumb like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not its not that. It's definitely not that. Faster throwing on Pivro. The culture, right? For the meme. Just to show how, like, cost... Uh, not cost effective. How tight the cash was on it. Which is very tight. Pause doesn't freeze the game anymore. Just doesn't work. Mm. I also notice we have Paragon, but... Eh, it doesn't do a lot for us. Paragons are good, but... I don't think they're gonna outdo... Like, P-Spike is something we can do. I don't know why I bought that. Be funny if you could just raw like peace spike and uh <laughs> use alpha permabrew peace spike would just work. Wouldn't that be wild? But there's no shot that beats 94 without setup. Yeah, we're doing viewer challenges and complaining about how most of them are jank. This one I'm very curious. That's why I haven't mauled it over it yet. But uh, so we're very dead. Like I said, that doesn't work in any world. Don't have total transformation. We can permabrew any tower in the game, which is interesting, but. I don't think there's anything that good. There's no permacharge. There's nothing worth peebrowing here, I feel like. Except for, of course... Oh, what if we... Uh, you know... Mm, uh, okay, hold on. Last time I checked, this is unironically more damage than a Sun Temple. At least, Brute Sun Temple. I don't think it's enough, though. I don't think it's quite enough. But, like, it does more than it really should. Yeah. By 5-0 Druid? I don't think so. No, we got Spirit of the Meme Fest, but... <laughs> I don't think it's Spirit of the Forest here, to be honest with you. Unless we can do, like, something plus GM, but... Eh, it doesn't seem very likely. It doesn't seem likely. Peebrew Baz. We don't have Baz. We only get the Bads, and I don't think Bads with Peebrew just magically wins here. That'd be crazy if it did, but... I don't think so. Woo, we, we lose. <laughs> we, we very much lose, like I said. 
Sun Abbey's like 15% weaker than a Triplo Temple. P Brood, I'm pretty sure it's literally stronger than a P Brood Temple. Unironically, you can make a challenge, I'm pretty sure, where a Permabrew Sun Temple dies, but a Permabrew Savvy does win. Microing a 420 Dartling with 032 Ice is actually pretty good for Golden Bloom, but it requires Micro. Yeah, the amount of effort required for Golden Balloons, again, is just not worth the paltry amount of cash you get. And don't even get me ranting on that stupid achievement anymore. I hate that achievement. It's so dumb. It's so stupid. What a bad achievement. My least favorite thing in this game, straight up, is that one achievement. 500. Like, literally, why does that exist? Literally, no one thinks that's a good achievement. I don't know how it got past the NK, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, base Temple might be the most inefficient purchase ever. Uh, probably is. I would agree with that. Okay, let's try this plus uh, Elite Defender. Because I can't think of anything else. And uh, it would give me a little more cleanup, I guess. There's a shot it gets there. You forward Temple with Primary and GZ. Um, ooh, I'm dead here. Keep forgetting that sucks against Super Soul Rams. Um, Primary Temple and a GZ. I think I tried that. Gotta go again? Alright, we'll see you again, Scoochin. Take care. Let's see. I think we might be able to afford that. Unfortunately, once again, the best thing I think we can do is a Maelstrom for that. Sack that, unless there's something more exact. We can buy- I think I tried this, and we didn't have a lot of luck. So yeah, I could let this rip off cooldown. Or maybe just wait until, uh... Eh. It's strong now. Hmm, eh, this is actually worth a shot. Ah, uh, we're gonna die here. Because, yeah, we're, we're definitely dead here. Definitely dead here. <laughs> I, if we can hit all the ZOMGs, then maybe? According to Ron, he can do the entire achievement in one weekend. That would be a full... That would be like two 24-hour days. Hey, you know what? Maybe if you played the game non-stop for 48 hours, you probably could beat that achievement. Maybe. Last instead of Strong's worth a shot. Good idea. Okay. Uh, last instead of strong, and then oh, the only problem with that is we're gonna have to micro for cleanup, which doesn't sound particularly great because we will leak stuff out of that eventually. Maybe just not right away. Interesting. Maybe we just GZ off cooldown on the zoom. Geez, I don't know. Now we're definitely dead here. We do not win that. I don't think we win that. It's close. Oh, that's really close, but not quite. Closer to entrance. You're saying to like have it focused down last or something like that? Just straight down the back. Sure, 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 sure. Why not? Why not? On exit? You want it on exit? Uh, I don't know about that one, Chief. Zoom Jeeks can split up further from the rest of the group. Uh, okay, maybe. It's like saying you beat Sapper in one day. <laughs> There's no way anyone could beat Sapper in a day. That chance. That chance. That day would be at least three weeks long, I swear. That blade actually sniped that one Saram. That's kind of wild. Oh, it's got a boomerang that it throws. I forgot about that. That's a thing. That's straight. It throws like glaives out. We're about to die here, though. So, yeah. So you're saying Savvy... Entrance doing good, though. I could try and exit Savvy. I guess it's worth a shot. Okay. Uh, now our options are GZ, Funny Meme Perma Spike again. Um... And Mo Press. Imagine a world where that just wins. Uh, seems unlikely, though. Our Elite Defender wasn't really it. I mean, a MAME could actually put in some work. 
A main on a round like this is Loki kind of good, but this might work. This could potentially work with Peace Spike instead of a Mame. I'm just kind of curious about this one. Like I said, strong targeting on this would space things up a little bit better. Hmm. Need a little bit of micro. No, nah, we're definitely dead here. We're not going to kill Serams in time if we do this. Close starting, not nah, going to make a big difference here. I think we lose very shortly. We just stalled those ZMGs a little bit, but I don't think it's going to matter here. Hmm, well... Leave it on first here. It's worth a shot, I guess. Unless we ever... If we shoot one Seram, we definitely lose for that, but... 94 just also exceeds its pierce limit, so we're dead here again. Yeah. Let's try that one more time at the back with a uh, peace spike. I, it seems a little unlikely to work, but maybe a little bit higher here. Again, it's worth a shot, I guess. I still feel like peace spike's not the right answer, though. Who triple oak glues? <laughs> Never thought of it. Hmm. Wait, what if I used the Dart Monkey, but my placement was just better? Ooh, ooh, that could work. <laughs> I feel like this is uh, just going to make my Peace Spike chug so much faster than if I was targeting literally anything else here. Um. Yeah, I feel like this just doesn't work. That was really... I'm really dead here. That really does not work. Okay. This does suck. Yep. Very much so. I don't think I have any good enough stall that would let Peace Spike work. Like, forgetting Sun Temple for a bit. I don't think there's anything like that. What do you get out of support, Sack chat? I have, like, one other idea now, which is uh, maybe not the best idea. What if we sack, like, a GZ after we use it to get another GZ? Hmm. This is, I guess, worth a shot. Um, attack speed and cost drop for towers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're never going to get away with that. Okay, that's not it. Okay, so support, sack, probably not good. Uh, this is an interesting challenge, at least, but there's a lot of bait. There's a lot of bait. Unless it's impossible. There's a chance it's not even possible without a bug. Doesn't Savage do more damage in a one-sack temple? Not necessarily. I believe the temple has more pierce. The Savvy does more single target, I think. Could be wrong, but I think that's actually how it works. Now buff savvy. So where's the worst stack unless you want to buff a vengeful? Yep. That sounds about right. Imagine just Pibro Apache just worked here. That'd be wild. It's like one like stupid idiot lazy tower. I don't think that wins 94. I think Super Serams we just don't have the damage for. Last I checked. Before A Prime, Apache is a tower that very heavily falls off to Super Serams, right? Yeah. Okay. Didn't think so. Uh, I'm curious. Does it involve? Does it even involve like a Sun Temple at all, or no? Is Sun Temple like not part of the solution here? It's like my main question. Sun Temple is part of it. Okay. I'm like, it has to be. It has to be part of it. I think we need some hints. It, again, there's just so much bait in this challenge. Ugh. If they left more towers in, then, you know, it's winnable. Then they take out the towers that you think you need, meaning what you're left with is a lot of garbage. So much garbage. I wonder if P-Spike EA also is a shot. Probably not. 
a temple and also a bug. So there is a bug. Okay, I was right about that. There's always a bug. There's always a... This is the other thing. Like, people send challenges that have a bug, and if you don't know the bug, like, you're never gonna beat their stupid garbage challenge. Because how are... How am I supposed to know? Oh, yeah, there's a bug in this! Bugs! Bugs. When someone sends a challenge, they're like, oh, there's this bug. I'll, you want me to tell you the bug? And it's like, oh, that's cool. You can do that. But when people just send it, and then you kind of just have no idea, you know? Of course I'll never figure it out if it's a bug. I have no way of knowing what the challenge is about, right? I think PA over P-Spike is not enough. I'm pretty dead here, because I'm not going to ability twice. Set bad doesn't know bug. Yeah. And this is why I'm like so tired of people sending challenges. The ones that seem interesting or doable, it's like, oh, it's actually a bug. Oh, it's actually pixel perfect, by the way. Um, actually, you need to do this one little thing here, and if you don't do exactly that around this curve, it doesn't work. And so I'm like, challenges aren't fun at a certain point, because this is all they are anymore. You guys only send me like 1% clear rate challenges that revolve around bugs. You send me APOP because you know I hate it, and then... Oh, it's so garbage. It's so garbage. <laughs> Challenges suck. Oh. Let's just do Plasma and just win instantly because this tower is clearly the best thing since sliced bread. Ooh, Super Saran Scoper. Yeah, anyways. Okay, how do you pull off this bug? And is it is it Permabro on a temple like I thought it would be? I have to explain the bug here because we're not going to stumble across a bug, luckily. It's always bug challenges, chat. It's, it's always bug challenges. Every single time. There's nothing but bug challenges and, like, pixel. Any, I swear. Put Peeper far away from Temple. Okay. Like, how far? We're talking just outside of range or, like, further? Uh, Peeper in the air, frame perfect sacrifice. What? We're saying like the maximum range for a brew? But it still has to connect. Okay. We had it, we literally talked about this before. We're like, what if it's Peeper bug considering the pricing lined up too perfectly? Of course. Um, so that's why we're placing this as far away from max travel time. That's it. Unless it doesn't connect. Or if you can place it above or something dumb like that. Okay, so the, the sacrifice radius is bigger than... Place the people first so you can sell, uh, sell what's in range and... Tell what's in range and what isn't? Okay. Oh, so it can pee brew it first, but we just have it'll get reapplied when it gets sacked, right? Let's just do this for the test. Whether this is good placement or not, who cares? So we have to press play, then sack Sun Temple at a certain time. But now it's already too late, right? Between that time there, because now it's already too late and we get nothing, right? Hmm. So the Alk has to throw a shot mid-air. He throw potions in the air when it gets sacked, so it lands after it becomes a temple. Gotcha. Yep, sounds... We literally talked about this earlier. Like, I wonder if there's a bug where you can, like, Alk buff. Of course, of course. I hate that we're... I hate that we were right about this. It's honestly the worst part. Okay. I think we're a frame too early again. We got AMD, but not... We were so close. We're so close. Yep, bug. We got the AMD part, just not the rest of it. We just didn't get the Peeper, <laughs> so we died for that, probably. It's close, though. Close, though. Hey, Rohan. 
think this should be patched. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Don't patch it. Been no it's been known forever. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, well, let's do it one more time, but just get the timing down, I guess. I think we're a frame too early again. That's AMD, but not- yeah, we're halfway there. Very close. Now all we need is one Dart Monkey, and uh, there we go, better placement. That's it. That's it. Sip. Now let's, let's time that better. See, this one, if they were like, hey, there's a cool bug. If this was two towers, it was only Peebrew and that, maybe you could stump, you'd be like, oh, is there a bug? And maybe you figure it out. But again, the, the setup for this challenge is like, what's your other tower? Do you have to sag something? Do you not? It, there's so much bait to this. Ah. <sighs> Do I need the full Piru? I think I do. I don't think AMD's enough here. Did not apparently press the button at all. Whoops. I think this might be the right timing. We might lose AMD but gain Piru. Nope. Okay, if we ever see AMD, we're too early, I guess. Not nah, still AMD. Still not getting Peebrew here. Change the name to Permabrew Bug. I don't think this was Jeff's challenge. It was someone else's, wasn't it? Yeah, this is Dogecar's. Not really a big deal. That's true. You would really have to work for this one, I guess. And you really do have to work for it. I think we're still... Yeah, if you ever get... You have to get, like, a frame before that. No, Jeff just knows the solution, because it's Jeff. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Jeff just knows because yes. Cancel Bloons Days, play Power Blast Simulator. Protest. I might just start protesting these challenges. I agree. I agree. We're always getting AMD. We're never getting Brew. I, I feel like I can't hit the timing here. weird. As soon as you see AMD, I tried that and it did not work. So if we do it now before we're hit, we get AMD. If we do it right after we get AMD, then it didn't work for the other reason. That's too late again. Oh, we got it that time. Last time that didn't work, but I, I guess it works. And hold on, this is very important chat. There we go. <clears throat> You don't know that, it's unwinnable. Uh, I feel like we're going to lose based on placement now. Mm. We're barely holding on. Now we just need to get better placement, because we're still not good. We're still not good. I think further back is better. Yeah, we don't need AMD. You need good positioning in micro. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fun part. That's the fun part. Which just makes there so much to this challenge on top of a bug, but the fact that you have to even have the bug in the first place is why this challenge is like kind of one I want to throw in the dumpster and never talk about after this. Because it's just obnoxious. It was too early again, actually. Interesting. Can't do this in free play? Hmm. I don't know. I actually have to do that later. You have to do like a second after seeing AMD, which is what I'm messing up here. Okay, and we're going to put this Super Monkey on last, I think, here. Okay. Ah, it was close, it was close. Still a borderline of frame-perfect thing, I guess. Better for worse, but mostly for worse. Close. Ah ha So close. It's the pause timing, chat. It's the pause timing. It buffers like one frame of the game or something like that before it pauses. Ow. Oh, I could have sworn that... You no, know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. 
Legend of the Nightbug for free play. Easy clap. Bruh. I don't think Mapstrel Fast is a good name. I didn't want to say it before. But I feel like that's not a good... That's a very long overkill acronym. There we go. Now we got it. Now we're going to have to micro still. And we still need his son. There we go. That's important. This last, this first, and maybe we've got a better shot with that. Big bones make this easier. Imagine, imagine. I'm gonna leak a pink blue. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, maybe it's better further back, because then at least you get the you get the second savvy at some point, right? And you need that. You need that. Oh, this challenge is so stupid. This challenge is actually just dumb. It's an acronym. I know, I'm just saying it's not a not the greatest acronym. It's a little little over see chimps is a good pun, right? Is it you know, chimpanzees, they're like monkeys, but they're not. Unless you are dumb and think they are the same. They're not, I promise. But like, I don't know. Close. Ah. Another Legend of the Night bug? I don't know. There, there's always bugs with all... All, like, the very expensive towers people don't use in gyms always seem to have bugs, which I think is kind of funny. They're just, like, perpetually in a state of being bugged. I don't like the positioning on that little savvy minion there. It's kind of bad, actually. Okay, let's just leave this on strong targeting, maybe. And micro to first as needed here. Which is probably going to be very soon, actually. First here, we got a second little savvy minion up, so I th think that might be it. Finally, but maybe not. We'll see. If I get a third one up, then it's definitely GG, but... Mm, let's be a little close until then. Oh, that downdraft was kind of sick. I th think this... Oh, it's so close. There we go. Alright, alright. It's finally done. It's both... It's a cool challenge, but like... It's so buggy in particular. If they said super bug, I'd be like, okay, cool. Ugh. Bruh. We literally were saying, is there a bug around this? And then no one said anything. I was like, is there a bug where you can do that? I questioned that before Jeff told me about it. But that's when someone could have been like, yes, there is an there is a timing-based bug on this. Because I, I was like, maybe there is. That nothing else would make sense. Should have put Dart in the back. Imagine if the dart, like, sniped, like, the, the pink down to, like, a red. It would still die. Uh, I think anyone playing that without knowing the bug would be stuck there for weeks. Realistically. They predict zero... I like that this has 6% win rate. I mean, it went up because of me doing it, but still. Painful bug. I mean, at least we did it. That, that was painful. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, that took forever. Uh, bugged code. Code dead, sure. Next one. Last bloom won't die. Very low, 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 low percent. Interesting. Uh, 38 through 40. Six monkeys. And you want me to beat 40 with super serams. We can stall that with an 0 and 2 ice. How do we beat a Moab? Oh, it's reduced HP. Okay, hold on. Uh, if you just place the Alakas far to the right, is the super as possible? I was doing it too early. I realized you just literally need to, like, wait for AMD and then just do it right after that. As soon as you see AMD, click it. See agents? Wait. How, what do you mean agents? How would that work, game? Aren't, aren't you making this in B3-6? How are you going to add agents? you going to mod your own game to add it or something? I don't get it. Oh well. It's uh, easy to stumble on a bug and make an impossible challenge out of it. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. We did that. There was one bug that, like, you guys wanted me to put all the bait in the world in it, and I said no. And that was the, uh, that was the, the challenge we made based around, uh, it was like the 230 sub thing. The 230 sub on Spillway. That weird bug. 
Does Alec buff Tower slower if it's further away? I guess technically, yeah, but like by a, like a, a few frames. Throwing animations really fast. The Ravine Sword. Bruh. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's ABR 40. It's still 35% HP, but it's a 4... Bruh. Okay, so basically, we need to kill everything before that. We need to use Kelts and Wall of Fire to beat a Moab. Bruh. We get six towers, and we have lives to leak. Oh. See, that's an interesting part. Leaking lives makes this infinitely weirder. I think that's... No, it's not for camo, is it? Okay, we're just gonna try that. Uh, strong targeting. I don't like this wall of fire spot suddenly. Because we need to pick out all the purples, which is awkward. Okay. Wall of fire here then, and then we're gonna have a ninja here with a 102 targeting strong, I guess. Isn't Time Machine copyrighted? I don't think so. Regrow Cerams, probably? Mm. Can we... Oh, because they're super regrow. Uh, I don't think Ice Fire Cheese is that, does it? I know we need Ice for the Cerams, because we need Ice like over Wall of Fire somehow to kill that. Unless we just put Ice in the middle. What's our Ice Cross bad thing? No Metal Freeze, okay. I don't know if we can just get away with putting it like here. Okay. Uh, there's a good shot I will not beat this challenge whatsoever today. To be honest. I think I'm already dead to purples. Yeah, I'm already pretty much dead here. Yeah. I said did it recently? Ah, I see. So any clear rate on this is probably from people watching I said do it. The fact that it's a 4% and ISAP did is... No, it's got a two thumbs up. I feel like ISAP hasn't done this. Progressing challenge? Because, like, I don't want to do those anymore, and I don't do that many challenges, so that's probably why Toto hasn't done that recently at all. Okay, well, in this case, we're going to have to get corrosive with blobs on strong. Maybe better positioning than that. Because the wall of fire kind of gets rolled here. He didn't win, but he tried it on stream. Ah, this is one of those challenges where I'm like, I just don't know what the point is. It's one of those. It's one of those. It's literally just one of those challenges. I don't know if I want Wall of Fire here versus just a ninja. I have lead. Which only with, uh, I've only got glue for lead, and I've only got... Ninja for purple. I guess these all pop purple. It's not camo, but still. Let's buy that without buying intense magic, and then... I guess this one's strong again. Do it first now. Oh, but then I'm hitting, I'm hitting the wrong thing, because I'm not targeting purples. I'm hitting the wrong thing, and then we're going to lose for that. And then Wall of Fire gets broken by purples. I forgot how much garbage there is in 38 as a round. Uh, things are leaking through Wall of Fire, but like, you know what, I, I don't even care. We're just gonna get through the first round. Uh, this is a problem, because this Wall of Fire and Ice don't actually line up together, and we're actually probably gonna die for that, because we don't have selling. This challenge is pain. Yeah, so I feel like the only way you kill this is Wall of Fire on top of Ice, right? I'm gonna make an index for that. I, I, I'm just going to be real with you. People probably... Also, we're going to take forever to kill this with these two things. People probably aren't going to be super intent on that. I don't know. Maybe people do it. But, like, if literally no one goes into your index, don't say I didn't warn you. Confidence level is plummet. I have zero confidence playing this game ever because people hate me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. People don't want streamers to have fun. They want them to be, like, stuck on their challenge and be like, Oh, it was a difficult challenge. I can't beat it. It's all they live for. They don't want to see people succeed in anything. There's just, like, a, a subsection of human race that just... They just want to watch people suffer by their hands. Whether that's in challenges or not, chat. Yeah, we're... Look at Corrosive. Look at all the damage it's doing. And now we die. Yeah, that's the one. There we go. There we go. Alright. Nope. I'm gonna just delete that. 
Hey, what's the next one? Icicle challenge. Ooh, Icicle, if you're still in. Haven't played one of your challenges in a hot minute, have I? Make rounds last 10 minutes. Yeah, they really do like that. This one. Oh, I got so close on this one when I gave up. Kind of want to run it again, but I also don't because it's a stall challenge. But it's not a bad challenge. It's actually a good one. It's just a good one I don't want to play. <laughs> 1 to 100 on easy. What if we just crank up the achievement? We on that achievement grind have the most boring thing of all time. Oh, easy. All right, 28 through 30. Uh, we have Ben and we have one life. And we've got radar, so I was going to worry about camo, but I don't think I need to. What's the gimmick here? They're all regrow. That is the gimmick here. Okay, I see. Now I see. I'm trying to think how I want to play this. Uh, did I th try that chimps half cash? Uh, I, haven't, I did a few half cash chimps a long time ago, I th think. I think I tried one before. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, though. So, uh, some no-bait challenges are harder than bait challenges because there's no cheese. Yeah, and that's kind of fair. I feel like a challenge being difficult, but being clear in your instructions, you kind of know immediately. You're like, oh, this is going to be a nightmare, or oh, I can do this. The last challenge didn't really have bait, to be honest. I don't think anything was bait in there. It's still a nightmare. I level Ben with Intel. Got a lot of cash, which is definitely weird. Definitely weird. I don't have a tower limit. What gives you camity? Oh wait, I was gonna say what gives you camity detect on that. I don't think that matters. Um, I'm gonna try something here. I wonder if we have to do a super monkey here or not. It's probably gonna be the main gimmick. Or something like that. Oh, we don't have range on that. Okay, hold on. That's not going to do. That's not going to do. I was going to try and cheese... Uh... Is any other stat busted here? Balloon speed 150 is kind of sketch, but it's not the worst of them. Okay, so we're going to advance intel only the bottom of this, I think. Like that. That's going to go to the top, which is exactly what we don't want. Never mind. Hold on. Okay. In that case, we're going to sell that. I, I wonder if I can cheese this challenge, chat. They're all camo, right? They're all regrow. Yeah, okay. So we just drop our village. Get our radar and de regrow, and then space our super around that. I can make it a sun temple for the culture, but I feel like I don't want to do that. Is there something I'm missing here, though? There's no purples 29, right? You find bugs in the game, you're like, oh, weird, never do it again. I feel like I would say same, unless it's like a mobility kind of bug. Then I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that again. I just don't know what all the cash stuff is for here. I think I'm missing something on that, but like, whatever. Do we need a high-level Ben? I don't know. Maybe? Do we need to Trojan everything? Again, maybe? I'm not really sure. Because can't we just do this under village? Is that cheese? Am I insane? Doesn't that just kind of work? Because if we can only shoot whatever is decamo, then it's also not going to regrow. Am I insane, chat? Is that not all we have to do here? Farm lives? For what, though? What do I need to farm lives for? Did I cheese this challenge? Because I feel like... Oh, am I missing something? Uh, oh, okay. Chat, I missed something. Icicle said, Additional rule must end with Super Monkey having zero pops. Okay. But why put Super Monkey in there, then? Apparently, Icicle wants me to beat that without... Don't... Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen. Don't put a tower in my challenge and then say don't use it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys. Like, 
If you're like, extra rules, don't use this. If you say like, oh, it might be harder if you don't use this, but it's doable, sure. But you're gonna go be like, oh, just, you can't have any pops with that. Like, what? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, so we're gonna do advanced intel heat tip on top of a village plus Ben. Support temple, I guess? I don't even know. Maybe we do, but I'm like, why put super mo Ugh. Don't make it require that if it's gonna break your challenge, I guess, is what I'm gonna say. Uh, you said a tower stacking bug with flagship? Oh, that's weird. Oh. Interesting. Uh, the setup. The fact that there's a bug that's known that you did with a thing, like, people will recreate that over and over until they figure out the bug and do something with it, you know? That's usually how intense people are. Alright, so we get our, uh... That might reach by accident. So we have our village. And we give it right our scanner. Uh, do I need the temple buff to apply to my sub? Maybe I do? I don't know. I don't know what they want from me. Uh, this actually might be bad, having that range like that, to be honest. And I don't know if selling, so I guess we're probably buying Ben the 7 here. Yeah. Okay, well, is there anything else I'm missing here? I don't know what the point of the glue is necessarily, but I guess it buys me time. Sure. And we just buy a farm for the culture? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? Uh, and then you shouldn't be reaching there yet. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, got it. Uh, so what if we don't place the super at all? We put this right here specifically. Ah, uh, this... Mm, I don't like that. I like glue being under this as well, on strong. And then just bend to, like, whatever level we can get him to, which is, I think, 17. Yeah. And then, I don't want to do anything else with that, but I don't think this is the DPS. Good at predicting bugs, you understand how hard it is to make foolproof coding. It really do be like that. Why is this still sniping? Because you have camo and reach. I forgot. Okay. That does check out. He's using it. I'm doing advanced intel poorly, aren't I? Okay, so we'll do this here. There. This can be there, so it's got shorter range, because that's where I threw last time. We buy our sub again, I guess. With one. I don't think a 120 has the DPS or even close, unless we really just have Ben hit everything with Trojan, but that seems very unlikely. Uh, is the super relevant? Maybe. Maybe. We don't Trojan that in time. So maybe we have to glue something here. Have I spoken about the 1TC? Yeah, only about 20 times. Only... Sorry, everyone's brought it up. Don't worry. You know whose stream this is, right? I have to do something jank, probably using submerge and support to dodge damage for a second here. See, th this could be an interesting challenge if we just didn't have super to cheese it instantly. Uh, if you sell something before you get door gunner, you get, you, wait, you can't use Chinook anymore? Okay, that is a weird bug. Don't think I've heard of that one yet. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and then Ben, again, doing whatever he do. Don't care, put him at a high level. Why not? Why not? I still don't think. I don't think I can. F I guess I could farm lives. I just don't know if that's worth doing. I don't think we have knowledge on, right? Yeah, so you can't farm lives. Okay. Well, in this case, let's see how this goes. Do that on first intel off of that, because it won't intel anything else. Um... that very very wrong uh i think it's something to do with like dodging ah uh, eh eh i did it the cheese way and i don't want to do it the other way i'm just gonna say that is 
I don't know, don't give me extra rules and expect me to follow them. Give me a tower like a super monkey and I'll just use it. I don't know what people want from me. Because, like, people have done that before. They'll be like, oh, don't use this tower, and then someone said, yeah, that's, that's literally impossible without it. Challenge sucked. Is there a way to do that without Super Monkey doing any pops? Probably. Do I care? No. No, I don't. And I agree. I agree. Okay, round 90. Very weak in Moves and Cerams, and they're all regrow, which means we're starting a regrow farm. Cool, okay. I think I played this before. And I believe there was some jank I didn't know about. Discord's pretty chill. Discord's nice to have. I'm surprised you don't use Discord. Um Glaive Lord. What was the jank of Glaive Lord again? And Camoville, I think. Someone told me there's some weird gimmick around this. Uh I don't know why I gave Jung Rums instead. That's that's wrong, that's wrong. So they made a change recently to Glaive Lord, for those who don't know, where these spinnies don't have normal damage type anymore, which sucks. I bought the wrong thing one more time. But apparently, there's one thing I didn't know about this tower. First of all, I don't know how to place it. I'm just gonna put it here, who cares. Apparently there's another thing that happened to it, though, that I definitely didn't know about. No red hots. There's no red hot ranks, right? So, someone told me there was something that was a gimmick with Glaive Lord, and I just don't remember what it was. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, Jeff, you said something about it, but I don't remember what it was. There's something I didn't know about this. I tried using a bunch of stuff, I think. But yeah, nothing here at Camo led at all. Didn't have any assassin ability for DDTs. I think actually we did the camo lead and we we did the glue storm like sabo bug, but not really enough in regrow. The DOT effect is normal damage, right? Which I think you can utilize. I don't remember how you're expected to use that with two towers, but apparently it's a thing that's in the game. I guess. How do you land the DOT, though, if there's nothing to start it? Maybe I still don't understand. But how do you get the DOT off if you can never hit? 5-0... Did I do that? I just did exactly that and it did not work. Um, place in middle and strong? Why does this feel like a bug? Why does this feel like a, completely a bug? So, yeah, yeah, why does why does that work? Why does that work at all? Why does how does that do anything? It's not a bug, but it kind of is. Dot doesn't affect balloons, but it affects Moabs. I see. That's so weird. That's so, so weird. I'll put, like, faster throwing, I guess. I don't know. I have this actually clean up on this side. Yeah, it's such a weird thing. It's such a weird, weird, weird thing. But how do you get that to apply? But it's like, you're saying it's not a bug, but no, no, it really is a bug, because this isn't supposed to hit lead at all, right? Without buying red hots. That is a bug. Sounds strong. Oh yeah, it wasn't unstrong, I forgot. It's definitely a bug. I feel like saying it's not a bug, that's not quite true. No, it's a bug. Definitely is a bug. This is not supposed to do this at all. We have to swap the first maybe after that. But then we can't hit these after. It's intended? You specifically want this tower to do, like, chip damage to DDTs. With a damage type. Yeah, I'm just saying the fact that you can even apply it. I thought how it should work is you shouldn't even be able to hit a D... Like, you shouldn't hit a DDT at all, right? 
That's how it's supposed to work. You 501 lives. Ah, I missed that part. Missed that part. Gotcha. Yeah, you killed DDT's call of the day, right? Super weird thing. I don't think I would have ever stumbled across this one on my own, to be honest. Just have to do it again. But from the middle. Yeah, it's just super weird. Just super weird that that works at all. It is camo detect. Yeah, but like, I, f I feel like you shouldn't be able to apply a DOT at... Oh, I die there. I think I didn't pop enough. You shouldn't be allowed to apply that at all, I feel like. So we're going to leak by a little too much. Yeah. If you can't hit the balloon type, why does your DLT work? That's, that's all I'm saying. Because that just doesn't really make any sense. Whatever, whatever. It was intended for this challenge. No, I don't think so. I don't think it was. I'm gonna lose to one red. That's cool. Cool. Well, I guess it's a blue now. I don't. I'm not saying it should be nerfed. I'm just like, I don't understand exactly why this lost normal damage type when it wasn't a good tower, and then it still has it, but as a bug. That's all I'm saying. I don't know why it's partially removed, but only partially. I just don't get that. The only way it's intended is proactively making a challenge possible. NK doesn't balance things around making, like, challenges. I don't know what to tell you. It's, that's... I'm pretty sure Rohan can confirm. Balancing isn't strictly made for challenges. Some towers are just, like, left particularly good at challenges, but they're not balanced around that. 5015, it doesn't matter. Weird bug. Weird bug, I guess. It's from last week. It's not new. I just didn't know it. I almost cheesed it, though. I almost did cheese it last week. They do sometimes. The only tower you could argue they balance around challenges, all right, is Bloon Solver. <laughs> they, they mentioned patch notes once. I guess they did, which doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense, but oh well. Oh well. Wow, someone called you out. <laughs> really got called out. Well, that's a weird bug. That's a weird bug. Uh, I see 163 challenge. Oh, it's a whatever I use is removed. Okay. Part 5. Um, okay. So it's a 163, but reduced speed. Have I done GZ yet? Oh yeah, certainly. I've definitely done GZ already. Already then. I used Bez last time. I'm sure I probably used GZ first. Looks like I've already done Solver with Camo. Um, uh, alright. Hmm. Do I like Alec Buff and Elite Defender? Elite Sniper, rather? I wonder. It seems like a really bad idea for some reason, chat, but I think this insta kill. Oh, there's Super Serams. This does not insta kill anything. I love. This is. This is a. This is a terrible idea. This is. Oh, oh, that's even worse. This is a really bad idea. Yep, this is one of the worst ideas I've had in a while. It got further than I thought it would. 5-1 had dot? Yeah, I didn't know either! It, well, it seems like the worst dot tower, because it is the worst dot tower. Alright, I believe I tried Glaive Lord. Yep, that's gone. Uh, we still have Super Brit and some other stuff. If they one-shot, there's still a ton of... Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We would not get through all of that. That's very true. What do we have on this? Oh, we got poppin'. Ah, oh. and I th oh wait, I bought the wrong thing, but I think this should work too with buffs and stuff like that. Uh, I can't. Re I think they're camo. I don't really remember if they're camo to be honest. The Alc buff that. Might as well pebrew it, I guess, for the meme. I think that just wins. I don't know if you actually need Alc buff for that. Hold on. Do you need Alc buff for this chat? No, I don't know why I thought I did. All right, well, there we go. I don't even know if this needs... I can't tell if those are camo or not. Oh, they are camo, so we do need the camo bill. Or, like, a submerge or something like that. 
Uh, with free play scaling, they're back to normal speed. Gotcha. Also, I keep forgetting we have, uh, yeah, we have Saram health scaling. That's why, yeah, so they're basically just normal one. They're not really 163. It's just like a log of Sarams and, like, camo leads. Ugh, Amphi, I played Day95 earlier, and I don't want to play it again. But, <laughs> I guess you weren't here for it. All right. All right. Where is it? 95. Yeah, I, I played this for a little bit and then gave up on that challenge. Biggest one gets removed. Bloons are scaled up. Rounds reset. Night. The DLT does a lot in stacks, so 520 quite high. Wait. Really? Huh. That's never made apparent anywhere, but I shouldn't be surprised, because realistically, uh, Tier 5 Towers don't really tell you half the things they do, I guess. Five hundred two in general, yeah, I think we can all agree five hundred two is better in general. Five twenty better single target for a hundred, which I maybe not the greatest tower for killing a hundred, but yeah, true. Okay, so what we did before was something like this, I think. Oh, and strong, and then like the cleanup supers, which never really did anything at all. These guys never really mounted to much. Because I always thought the cache was kind of weird, because I could either have two laser blasts, or one plasma and one bad one. Which doesn't really work well. Which is why I never quite figured out the gimmick of this, other than I know I need to te teleport back at some point, but... Eh. You die either way. That's why I don't want to play this one anymore, because I just can't be bothered. Rake reversed... Rake is already jank, right? Like, this map is probably one of the jankiest for pathing and, like, targeting. Yeah, Rake reverse is just, like, very cursed. Very cursed. You know the exact stats on specific towers, totally in the dark on others. Sounds about right. 97's good. Uh, I don't think I beat 97 either. It was a 3% clear rate challenge. I don't know what you want from me. More than I'm willing to give, clearly. Oh yeah, your code didn't work. Your code's literally just bugged. And I, I don't know what's wrong with it. You do not have a, Your code doesn't work at all. So, uh... Yeah, I don't know what you want from me there. Only Jeff did it. Sounds about right. But I don't. There's your code doesn't work. I don't know if you're listening here, but this code doesn't work at all. Just search 97. I guess that's not gonna work. That's gonna work better. It's a V, not a W. How <laughs> did you even send it like that? Okay. You literally hit me with a ZMW. Okay. There we go. Fixed your code. What's up there, hamster guy? Okay, 97. Um, no GZ. That's infinitely scarier than I expected. Do I have a one per tower limit? No, I don't. Okay. I do have Mob Shove in there. He's Pirate Lord. Don't know what that one, Chief. Um, what is the point of having Brickel here? Doesn't Brickell Mega Mine like hit map wide at some point? I don't think that's for like a couple levels though. Is that the level 20 that does that? No, it doesn't. Okay. I'm very much wrong with that. Interesting. Alright. What a satisfying map to look at. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we can do Mob Shove. I don't know if two Mob Shoves is going to be better than just having one here. I don't know if you need two or if two does anything. We don't have Maim. I don't know why we have Supply Drop. Uh, Subcom would be okay with the stall. 
maybe Brickell subs. Hmm, I don't know if that's any good either. Pirate could be good to yoink stuff if we can do enough stalling, which I don't think we can actually. Shattering could also be important. Okay, hold on. Let's just try this. Let's just buy the level three, maybe. Uh, let's restart. Hold on, hold on. When does naval tactics get buffed? It's popping power, which is purest, which doesn't do anything for us at all. So, I think we just get the level three and call it a day. Because again, Mega Mines can't hit anything there. We could probably place like a heli here, use our range for sub off that. Oh, never mind. Alrighty, I take it back. I will do nothing of this sort. I guess I'll just get that. And maybe another one? Why do I feel like shattering shells is going to be relevant here at some point? Hmm. I meant to leave that on pursuit, and I guess I didn't. But, uh, that is not going to do a good job of stalling, too, right? It buys me time for first strike, which I don't think we have otherwise. How many first strikes does it take to take two, four, five? I feel like it should only be four, right? But I'm guessing we die before those come without mob shove. Okay. We're going to get mob shove and maybe four of these, which I don't... St I still don't know if that... I don't know why I bought an extra sub, we're not going to talk about it. If we do that, we buy Mob Shove. And how far does that get us? I bought Downdraft. Never mind. Uh, like better 025 and 205 spec? You certainly know 025 is 30.5% better. That sounds about right. That sounds about right to me. Okay, so we get our subs. We get that. Why do I feel like somehow, like, Brickell's relevant here, for some reason? Ah. Oh well, oh well. Maybe not, maybe not. We're not gonna afford Shattering, we've got, like, no other forms of stall. I feel like Bomb Race, Nevamis, obviously Subcom, dead. Uh, Pirates? Do we need Pirate for cleanup out of that? I wonder if we do. It's a good shot, we actually require that. We definitely die here. How many Moabs did we leave, though? BFBs, rather. Is there only four, or is there more than that? Hmm. Unless you can... Wait, hold on. I still never quite knew for a fact. Uh, if you buy mid-path cross-pathing a Moab shove... Someone told me it pushes more, and I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe we just have to, like, buy time doing this. We only kill the first one, and then we just stall the rest after that. Until we have cooldowns back up. I feel like it doesn't work like that. Challenge is easy. How oh, so? We're still dead there. can't just five first strike, right? I don't think it would be that easy in an amphi challenge literally ever. So that... Oh, we have selling for zero. Wait, why do we have selling for zero? Hold on. Did win. Hmm. Wait. If you double tap that, does that lair skip? Is that a thing? Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What? O23 is stronger push. It does. Okay, I'm just, I don't even know if I need... I don't think we want that. I think I... If I saw that right... Why did that work on the first and not the second? What? Is that like an off-screen jank thing that I just found by accident? Hold on. Why does that work like that? Why does that work like that?
What? Did that... I'm so confused. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Hold on, chat. I think I understand what I need to do now. I... Okay. 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 There's two things which are possible. Either A, we... Apparently, if you double tap that, it lair skips, and the second one pops into BFBs because of the splash messing us up. So either we need to use this to split them up somehow, I guess, or we just have to, like, send them all, like, four and have these stacked together. But I think this is the way to do it. Maybe. And it didn't work this time. Why didn't it work this time? What? Hello? Excuse me? Is it just faster timing on that? I don't get it. Uh, first strike, splash damage hits before the single target. Okay. Ah, that's weird. It's super weird. So if you double tap the ability, the first one lair skips. If you don't double tap it, it does not lair skip. But the second one, because of the splash damage adding more, we can never get away with that, I think. Which is super weird. Okay. I wonder if we can buy time to get... Hmm... I just want to do one more thing for, for science here, chat. Let me just buy this again, like that. What if I stack these all together, and then I just let all four of them rip at the same time? And we're still dead. Okay, okay, got it. Had to check, had to check. Why does the splash hit before single target? It seems like a really weird way to do it. But oh well. So how can we change that? I don't think separating it with Obshove actually pushes it far away. Use all four abilities in four frames. I feel like that's not actually the solution. But maybe it is? Maybe it unironically is. I don't know. Maybe like Brakel has something that affects seems unlikely, but maybe Brickell ability affects that for some reason. I don't know. Um, what else do we have with this cash? If we're shattering? No. Okay, I was going to say, if we could have a shattering for the last shot, maybe the splash would kill all those OEBs, or BFBs rather, but I don't think we have that. I don't think we have that. So the only other thing that we could do is three first strike plus a bit of damage? Maybe... The problem is we need to have something specifically targeting the last Zoo MG. And what's their health value again? Oh, it's base. Okay, but they're fortified, which means I have no idea. Back at square one. Okay. So we do that. We take a shove, and we take something to do damage. Maybe? Again, I don't know what. That's the problem. Unless I just put, like... No, I don't have advanced intel, so I couldn't even do range on those if I wanted to. Okay. Um, uh, rocket pods, I guess? Can't even afford. A 220 seems like a poor decision here. I'm slowing the wrong one again. That's the hard part. Slowing the right one, okay. And I still... Ma what? Okay, why is it so strict like that? Fortified ZMG at 134% speed and health of base. Wait, it's not its not bump speed, it's base speed, isn't it? Should be. Should be base speed. Unless I unironically actually need to do like a frame-perfect thing. Ah, which might be the case, to be honest. Just did wrong. Oh, they scale past 80. Right, okay. I always forget about that. 2% per round. Right, 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 right. 
134%. Gotcha. Wait. Did I just try and input those in the same frame? Is that why that didn't work? Weird. That first one it seems to like be inconsistent. And I don't understand that. I don't understand that at all. It's so weird. That's so, so, so weird. Why is the first one sometimes layer skip and other times not? Is it screen position based? Okay, hold on. You buy into a fifth. I don't know. See, right there, look at that. That's so weird. That's so, so, so weird. No, definitely not. Definitely can't buy into a fifth. We can't, we can get like one monkey fire it, but I don't think that's going to be it. Huh. Can't buy shattering. We could buy some dumb towers like that, but I don't think that's it. What if 240? We don't have cross pathing for advanced intel though. We don't have pirate lord either, so we can't do those. We've got bouncing bullet, which uh, probably isn't it. I'm just going to go on a, go on a limb here. Yeah, so Pirate Lord, if we could somehow afford, which we can't, you know, would give us a bunch of yoinks at the end, but that's not it. We don't have that. We don't have, we don't get cash back from Sell Rebuy, though. It's zero cash. That's the problem. Uh, you get Flagship, Alk, Overclock, and I have to Overclock, Engineer, or Alk? Bruh. Did I stutter? I don't under, I don't think you understand how this works, but okay. It's chimps with, with selling not disabled, yeah, but you still get zero cash back. And no, we cannot buy another one of these mid round. I'll I'll do it, I guess. Bottom path of buck. Yeah. I, I don't know why you'd want me to buy Trade Empire, but I guess I do have it. That's my sell. I don't think that it works even in chimps. I don't think you understand how this works. Dumber you feel? It do be like that. Flagship doesn't work like that. Great Empire, last I checked. You can't use favored trades for that, right? Like, you don't... What? Is that a is that a bug? Sorry. Uh, okay, chat. I didn't know this. W why is this a thing? I literally had no idea this is a th what? Literally since when is this a thing? That's a that's a this is a very obscure this is like a this is only like a chimps with selling enabled challenge editor thing. This isn't of course it's not base game because you can't sell in normal. Mind cool. I don't know life this game. I don't know every single bug in the game. I don't know what to tell you. Been a thing for ages. Didn't know it. I don't know if that's good enough though, because we still have to have buy time here. Why does that work in like? Uh, that's so weird. That's so weird. The problem is, even if we rapid fire these, right? Even if we sell everything, we're not going to buy another... We can't afford that still. I don't see how that helps. That's a weird bug, but I, I don't see how that magically wins the game. I'm trying to think here. Um, okay, let's say we have the down draft. Or Moshe, they're the same thing. I still don't think we really gained that much cash from having this. I'm pretty sure that's still net loss, isn't it? It's not gaining us any cash at all, because we have to buy into it. Flavor trade should have an icon that shows they sell for more. True. Wait, it stacks past the usual 3%. What? Well, that's so jank. See, I, I never know stupid bugs like these, because I never know why they're in the game. We do have a tower limit, though, but... Oh, it's so weird. I don't think that helps us, though. 
sell spam go burr. You can, well, I guess, that, okay, that, that combo does kind of make sense, but... Legend of the Night? Got it. Yeah, I, I don't know every single bug in this game. I don't know what to tell you. Like, what if you sold everything? The wrong order, but you get what I mean. It still doesn't help us. The bug... Well, I'm saying fortified. This is chimps with selling, right? Like, this is chimps. Zero cost selling, but apparently if you buy flavored trades, you get cash back now. Which I didn't know was a thing. Because why would it be a thing? If it still 350 splash, 10k single target a frame later... What do I f why do I feel like I'm mashing the button to do it in four frames or something dumb like that? You can't last target to make FS hit last. It doesn't work like that, right? Why can't I click my ability button? That's weird. Oh, it's not shift. I'm thinking of upgrade pathing. Using the same hotkey plus shift for different things. Kinda weird, kinda jank, I'm not gonna lie. What happens if we just try mashing the button? Nah, it doesn't work, doesn't work. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I, I, uh, you guys make me feel like the stupidest person on the planet. Uh, whatever. I don't care. I don't know. Don't want to know. Don't want to care. Just don't be dumb. Uh, that's the problem. Can't do it. Can't do it. Where were we on the you even. Uh, there's one that has a code and no description whatsoever, and I don't like that. It may be stupid, but it's also dumb. Um, Sakura Picnic Rush. Uh, how long is it though? Nope. 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 Don't think I will. You know, I, I'd rather I, I'd rather not do five times speed for a hundred rounds. I don't think I will. That's not worth my time. I don't even care if it's five times. I don't want to do it. This is just a stupid challenge. Literally, no one wants to do that. Choco Falls. Alright, what do we got? Etsy. We got two towers on the 78. Ah, now that's... See, that's cultured. I see. Um, <laughs> there's probably going to be a gimmick to this one. But I'm curious. Alright, why do we... Oh, we have six of these. Am I going to have to sell and rebuy that? Do I have selling allowed? I do have selling. Okay. Okay, okay, sure. Um, what if I don't sell and I just buy... How far can I buy up to at? Level 18. Okay. Cool. Uh, what are the scaling? Very low. Can I just buy at level 8 and buy attack zone? Doesn't that just work? I forgot how bad this thing's range is now. I forgot about the nerf chat. We're not going to talk about it, okay? It's fine. I can go further and I can buy UCAV and more? Buy up to 17 and also have this really poorly placed, mind you, very poorly placed tax zone. If I just like UCAV this and have tax zone at the same time, just win. Uh, do I not get UCAV back in time? Without selling it. Wait, <laughs> can't I just do that? Hold on. Let's just put tax on in a better spot and then. I don't even think we need more than 10. I mean, I could buy that for shorter cooldown. Buy at 13. Rebuy at the 13. I'll let it pay. Doesn't that just work? No, it doesn't. Interesting. What if I do it the opposite? This on cleanup and at in the front. I'm surprised that actually did not work, in fact. Old spot. Yeah, old spot was better. Definitely. 
It's gonna do itself cool. I guess we're starting a massive regrow farm with Taxone. That, that kind of makes sense, to be honest. Uh, positioning really bad on that. That you have in an awkward spot. You can't buff at 15. Maybe it does get another another buff. I don't remember. Let's use my jank position again. Is it 15? Hmm. I guess it is. Yes, it is. Taxone better under the track. It's just because Taxone's hitbox. Maybe where I placed it wasn't as dumb as it looks. It does look pretty dumb, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, I guess that buff is pretty good. And we can buy up to 15 again. Yeah. Otherwise our cooldown's not back in time. And I think that's the main gimmick here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that cooldown is totally back in time. Okay. Maybe, I don't know why I'm like, oh, 78. It's a long round, but get Mario Karted. Sometimes, you know, you just you have to coconut mold at the game a little bit. Fun round. Yep. Yep. And then we just win, right? That's GG's. Alright. Nice. I feel like you could still do that without Etienne's 15, but, like, you'd probably have to mm, space something a little better than I did. This is for 10 seconds? Alright, let me see it. Let me run it. Oh no, this does look funny immediately. It's round 21. <laughs> okay, I, I see you. I, I get you, I get you. Uh, Mine cool could do this easily, I'm sure. Oh no, indeed. Oh no, indeed. Oh, it's a pop? Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I wonder if they used an auto clicker for this. Oh, you can hit enter there. Interesting. You can hit enter there, chat. What's a good... I Enter's in an awkward spot. Can you hit spacebar? No, you have to hit enter or click. You need two bugs? Oh, I'd believe it. I can't even pause. I tried to mash the pause button. You literally can't even pause there. Okay, okay, cool. It is a good meme, though. Two bugs sounds about right. What are the bugs? Like, the fact that you can't even pause, like, you... The game starts before you can even... 263, is that you? Like, you can't even pause in this challenge before you're already dead. Which is wild. This might be one of those challenges that you also, like, menu out, go back into, and, like... You can't continue because you can't pause, which means there's a lot of stuff you can't do, right? Yeah, this is definitely like a. I don't. You said bug, but I feel like if you just had like like, I feel like this is someone making a challenge for like a bot to auto click for them, or something like that. Good meme. I see a deleted line. Maybe I deleted it before. I don't remember. Okay, let's see. What we got Sentry Expert. Oh, that's a fun note. I like seeing that. Crip Mobile players then. I mean, that one's impossible, mobile or not. Uh, I've already done this. Oh, I already... I wrote something, that's why. I did already do that. Let's see what this one is. Too much useless knowledge. It really do be like that. I see antics. Oh, that's this one. Nah. Nah. I've been close in this one, but still. Too much. Alright, let's see what this round 40 challenge is. Speed or chew. If it's a pop, nope, it's not a pop. Um, round 40. <laughs> okay. I see pirate and I think it's bait, which is cool. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. So pirate just doesn't work, because that thing just. Oh, we can't afford it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, so Druid for the Moab. Wall of Fire plus Ice combo. And Glue is there too. And Shimmer, because it's camo. Okay, okay, interesting. And Bloon Speed is very high. Okay, so we need two towers immediately. 
No, we need three. We need Shimmer, Ice, and Druid. Are they regrow as well? Yes, they are. Okay. In that case, we don't have hard thorns. That's a bit of a problem. I don't know where the ice needs to be. I just know it needs to hit literally everything. Can't afford refreeze. That's kind of bad. Huh. We didn't even we didn't even beat the first part. Also, I said wall of fire before, but that's wrong. We need shimmer to decam with the ice, which I feel like we don't have the speed for that. Did I get what? Hmm? I know it's micro challenger, right? Well aware of that part. Okay, Thorn Swarm again. We have Jungarood. Interesting. But I feel like Jungarood's actually bait here. Funny enough. No, this isn't the, this is different. This isn't the APOP one. No 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 no. I didn't do any bug. This is a totally different challenge. I just left that one. I don't wanna know I don't care about the bugs. I don't I can't be bothered to figure it out. Is it you have to do 10 inputs a second or something when in reality it's much easier? Oh, this one? I uh, see. I'm just trying to figure it out. We can have three towers, but the problem is we can't afford half of them. I'm gonna get a sniper in there for a little extra damage. It's a base sniper though. No, no, I didn't find the bug. No, I said forget that and left. So this is the main gimmick that we have to pop it, decamo, and freeze all in one go, but we can't afford all of these. See, we still die before that even happens. Okay, hold on. Let's just, I just want to see this. So that does do it. Okay. So yeah, Sniper plus Druid does have the DPS. I'm surprised the wizard doesn't add that, but oh well. 10 HP. That's why Thorn Swarm doesn't two tap. No, it doesn't get two shots. And it have two shots. Never. Okay, it always gets one shot exactly. Yeah, Druid King of DPS. So we have to do Druid Sniper into Shimmer and Ice all at the same time. I'm gonna put that there because I'm not worried about selling it. Druid is gonna sell into Ice immediately. And then Shimmer also has to be there immediately. I bet we still afford Shimmer. Yep. Okay. Can I afford 012 ice out of this? I hope so. I hope I don't have to sell more than one tower. Oh, we have to upgrade ice to 012 immediately. That's gonna suck. I sold it to her. I thought I hit play, sorry. Uh, I don't know if I wanna do this at all. I, this just does, it's interesting, but also like, I feel like this will be the most frustrating challenge ever. Straight up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that one. How have 8% of people done this? Okay, 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 chat. With 8 likes, 8% clear 8. Does that mean only one person's cleared it? Or just... Mm, I feel like it's more than that. I wonder if anyone's done this using speed axe. Because, uh... Is an easier way? Is there? Huh. The stats? You see more stats on it? Oh, you can. See. Let's see who recently cleared it. Five people have beat it. 63 people have played it. I didn't know we added these stats ever. Huh. Can't help but wonder. Can't help but wonder. Jeff third, probably. Sped. Even better. Yeah, this just doesn't seem like... I don't know. This just doesn't seem worth playing. There's too many... You guys say there's an easier way, but... I don't see it. You can't do pirates, obviously. Um... Oh, celery by the druid instead of the sniper. Oh, right, right, right. I didn't think about that. That is smarter. Right. I don't think we can afford all of this, though. Oh, we can. We just don't buy swarm. 
Yeah, which I guess cheeses this, doesn't it? Oops, what's Druid Honkey? I thought it was G. I can't afford that. Oh, um... That's a problem. Because I do need that Shimmer. And I do need the Ice. Maybe I'll just buy Refreeze after? Uh... Single target DPS, one Pierce Weakness. Yeah. It kind of sucks that Druids never really... The, the way they branch off, you kind of get like... You get Avatar of Wrath, I guess, for single target damage. But they have such like a bad... I guess Pop Lust, because I'm like, how do you get that... That jump is so jank from like very cheap to very expensive. It's because you stack them and put them under buffing towers, but... Oh well. Now I have to buy Refreeze before they... Yeah, 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 okay. I was like, we just have to buy a refreeze before that goes again. Can we afford a Junger Ruid now, or no? Yes. Uh, but if we're not fast enough, uh, these will... No, they're HP's 2,000, isn't it? Okay. I, I don't know why I didn't think that. You really can just do two Druids. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't have enough DPS if I did that. All right. I don't know if this... Okay, I don't know if these snipers bait or if they actually intend for you to do Sniper Druid and to selling both, but yeah, I guess... Yeah, it was more doable than I thought it was. I think the only jank thing was like, I'm like, oh, you can't afford... I tried at the start. I was like, Druid, Ice, and Shimmer. If you buy the refreeze, you can't afford it. Sniper Druid is intended. Right. So we cheesed it. Good. Good. Oh, you, do it again? Uh, I think I can do it again. I think I can probably do it again. I'm gonna buy 011, but not refreeze yet, because we can't afford that. Through it there. And then shimmer here. And before that attacks again, we have to buy a refreeze. That's the only, like, tight timing part of it, right there, is that you have to buy the refreeze partway in. Doable though. Definitely doable. But that's cheese, and you know what? That's that's the only way it should be done. Their original intended method, hot garbage by the way. Is buy sell druid is cheese. You betcha, absolutely. Cheese is the only way to do a challenge like that. Cheese. Uh, there's another Jethro challenge. I don't know if I want to play it. Oh, uh, we're getting to, like, the, the painful ones at the bottom. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave this one, I think. Borger. Yeah. Hmm. Borger. There's another Jethro one that has no code? Weird. Um, hypersonic storm time to 1%. Oh, hmm. I'm curious. They claimed this is a uh, 4% clear rate. Oh, it's 13. Oh, I think I looked at this and said, nah. Never mind. All right, let's go to the bottom ones, I think. What? Wait. Someone said DM me for keys. Scuff tower defense on Steam. Oh, yeah, chat. I was gifted a key from uh, some indie dev that has their own tower defense game. I played a little bit. I don't know how much content there is worth playing, but I'm like, I might do a short stream and like a bonus stream someday of that. It's an interesting concept, but uh, the game I was sent, it needs a lot of polish. It needs a lot of polish, let me tell you that. It's definitely very early access. <laughs> no, Rohan, it's not going to take over balloons, don't you worry. It's not there yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. This is what you get for sending Ravine. <laughs> What is this? How many rounds? Two rounds, sure. 130k, 9293, and balloon speed SRAM health down. Okay. Sure. But I feel like we're making a temple here real quick and then buffing with Oban. Interesting. I think it is just straight up Sun Temple. Hmm. Interesting. Do I need to buff it with anything? Maybe I just put some primary onto it? Oh, I don't have much cash for that. Oh well. Is that the first tier? I think that's over the first threshold. So many temple challenges. 
Yeah, there sure are a lot recently, aren't there? Oh, the cash... I, that was so much cheaper than I thought it would be. Okay, wow. Maybe... Uh, okay, hold on. I don't think I'm supposed to upgrade Oban at all. I think I'm supposed to let that part happen and then Alk buff this lad. I guess I'll give it 420 for the culture, and, uh... Mo glue probably more important than any other thing I could buy here. What's on you? No down... Oh, there's downdraft. Maybe I shouldn't be buying Oban levels and I should be buying downdraft instead here. Because I think that would be all we need here. Wait, what is the difficulty on this? Oh, it's easy mode! Oh, I'm not going to earn cash, so yeah, open level's definitely not worth. Definitely not worth for Brams. No, no, no. Level 4 is not going to do much for us, but maybe we get through it. Alright, take care there, Fuyuki. Thanks for popping in. Catch you around. I guess we really do just get away with that. Wow. Alright. Again, I don't know if they wanted me to do temple buffs or not. I just did, like, the bare minimum on that. Buying hero levels. It really wasn't worth it. It really was a terrible idea. Hero levels, not worth... Not worth it. Of course, we have range savvy, which is, like, not great, but uh, it's fine. It works. Um, I really thought we'd get more XP out of Oban, but apparently not. He killed DDTs. Good question. How do we kill DDTs? Apparently, I missed that part. Because, uh, we don't have anything to do that. What do we have an Oban? Let's get the super buff Oban. Oh, that'd be so cursed. We don't have... You're right, we don't have camo savvy. Oh, what? I'm so dumb. Hold on. Forget Sun Temple. That's the bait. I fell for the bait. I'm just gonna buff with Oban. And, uh... I think Oban can eat DDTs at a certain level. Sometimes your level's buying your meta? Yeah. Yeah. So Clarity beats this, but I don't think Trees beat the whole next round. Uh, Razor Roats doesn't... No. No. Oh, there's a lot of lives. Oh, those probably were important. Yeah. <laughs> I think the lives were important. You're not wrong. Alright, whatever. Well, I wonder if a Savvy does this better than a Temple. I'm pretty sure we leak all DDTs, to be honest. Just for the culture, though, I'm gonna buy... That's gonna steal Alk buff. Hold on. You know what? Let's just let's buy Razor Roats with IFR. I don't think that'll beat a single DDT, but it'll be funny looking, I guess. I wonder if this Savvy is better than a Sun Temple, though. Alk buff, Oban buff, Savvy... I could still buy trees here too. Maybe this doesn't win here. Eh, maybe it does. I lied. <laughs> I think it does beat 92. I mean, alt buff, open buff, savvy is pretty good in general. You never play full price unless going for Azili. Yeah, Azili level 20. Yeah, that's a that's a bit different than most. You know, I mean, Azili level 20 literally is just it's meant to just beat 100 instantly, which is cool. I feel like you usually just buy that, and it kind of makes up for the fact that you didn't have to buy first strike, I guess, which is, like, a fair trade-off, you know? Well, maybe we don't win in mob damage here. For ZOMGs. Not having knockback makes this feel so cursed. I mean, range gives it one pierce, but, like, I don't know if that one pierce... Oh, it, it, it wins here. It does win here. Oh, I can't afford that. I'm so close. We just eat one of the. T I think we did eat one of them with trees, didn't we? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were supposed to leak all of those. <laughs> Shows how bad base temple is. Yeah, I, I did upgrade. I put one upgrade into it, but it was a very tiny upgrade. I don't even think buffed up temples that good, all things considered. Uh, if side leveling was any lower, people would be forced to buy levels for 98. True. True. I still think Psy should be on the slightly faster XP curve. Because, like, Psy only has enough XP on expert maps, which is cool, but you definitely don't get there otherwise. Yeah, so I think we were supposed to leak all the DDTs, and I said, haha, trees are funny, by the way. Anyways, that was, that was a simple challenge, but that's okay. Thank you, Don Faze. It's the fall of their mad beast.
All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, Icicle is another challenge. Let's see what we got. Win with one life left. I already played that. And I think I said, I think I did do it the legit way. It just took me a while. We cheesed it first and then did it legit. Balloon mass. <laughs> okay. Glaive Lord hits DDTs, not leads. Oh, this this is. The this is the same thing as before, the same person where I didn't understand the challenge, and uh, it's just a different version, I think, of that. Cool. I do need to leave this in first for here, though. Someone figures out a slightly earlier side placement for Bloody, it's very close to that now. Right. Three DDTs disappeared, <laughs> it's funny. And then 501, again, same gimmick as before with DDTs. I almost leaked there. That would have been awkward. Now it's on Cubism, the bait's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that's like, here's how it actually works, right? And before it was, it was different. This is the one that's like, here's how the bug works. The other one was like, there's a bug, but you don't know about it. No, no, this is the same person. This is the same person that made the other one, but this is the one that actually, like, shows you this is the bug. The other one was like, I didn't know, right? But, like, yeah, I, I like that they had, like, the explanation challenge and the, uh, the other version, I, I guess. The next one also says it's a bug, which doesn't give me confidence. Patrick Buster. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to read that ever again in my life. <laughs> Find it to make two. Yeah, well, the other one was like, the other one, if you don't know the bug, you're never going to stumble across it. That one's like, hey, here's the bug, by the way. Which is interesting, right? Okay, so what's the gimmick here? 60 and 61. Name all our challenges that then. One's bait, one's... Yeah, no, it is kind of funny that they have one full of bait and one's a literal guide. That one might have been made after. After I was like, I don't get it. It was probably added down the line. The joke was I didn't understand it. And then I'd be like, oh, cool. Um... So, we're gonna yoink 60. And then what? Okay, do we have a tower limit? I feel like I might understand the gimmick here, to be honest. I might actually know what they want me to do. They said it's a bug, though. Pet swims on land. Mm, okay, hold on. I'm trying to... So we got Chinook and Downdraft, I guess. But, water pat, but on land, I guess. <laughs> sure. Assume they want me to buy carrier flagship. Uh, grapes do nothing. They probably want me to put pat here to get... Unless I'm missing something here. That, that seems like the gimmick. I think. I don't know, though. Hold on, let me double check the stats here. It's just mobs are weak and everything else is normal. Okay. Do we have to roar this round or next round? And then we're gonna, like, we're gonna move Pat, right? Oh, he's so slow. Oh, he's so slow. Okay. Hold on. Maybe yoink later? Someone needs to make a flagship aircraft carry overclock permaviru challenge. You have to buff the NG or the elk. I think you mentioned that before. Yeah. So how does the how does the bug work? Is it just like you put Pat in the water and then do selling? I forgot to check that. No, no selling. Okay, never mind, never mind. Is the only difference of water versus land pat the fact that Hold on.
That's weird. <laughs> is that like, hey, do you get the do you get the buff from this or something? Is that it? Maybe that's the gimmick here, and then you yoink, and then I can't see anything else being it to be honest. So maybe that's the whole gimmick. We buy pets like five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And then we just like shunuk him away. Maybe I should have put him where the Chinook is. Maybe I'm being a little dumb on that. Okay, and then Pat also d still doesn't level up, so I'm like, I'm not quite sure what we accomplished. We can't beat Moabs, can we? I don't know if Pat's got enough... I mean, yeah, we're Water Pat. Like, do we have enough Bloom Knockback for this? Do we actually go infinite here? If so, that's why... And we don't get cash because we're in gems. No, deflation. Wow. All right, Pat actually goes infinite there because of attack speed. That's a cool bug. That's actually a cool bug. <laughs> is that a map-dependent thing, or does it always work like that? Yeah, so you could carry your flagship buff on Pat as a water tower after Chinooking, even though you're a land tower. That's cool. That's actually cool. Saying best Wii game of all time. What is the best Wii game of all time? It always works like that. Huh. Interesting. That's a new one kind of cool. It's a small bump, so it has to be close. Right. Mario Kart Wii. That's fair. I think we're almost done the queue here. Minus a few I skipped, but we don't need to talk about those, alright? Not a new one. No, I, I figured it wasn't. Oh, this is this one before. Ah, uh, which I don't want to go find the pixel. It's like a pixel perfect challenge, I swear. And I could not find the pixel. I'll give it one more shot. We know it's top path glue. The problem is we just don't know where. Let's try doing it lower instead of higher, like four. Still dead. Because everywhere we tried just did not work. You found the pixel. I just hate that you have to find a pixel for that. I skipped one of yours, did I? Oh, you had two in a row. That's probably why I skipped the fast one. Do I? Sure, tell me where. Where are we looking? I don't- I just can't be bothered to- like, it's not a good challenge when you have to go look for a pixel for three years. It's top left. For a dog, so instead of pixel then. Okay. Under track, centered, off to the right. Where are we looking? And we're still dead, because we just won't die in time. Uh, under the track, not close to it. Okay. Probably like here. It's probably not one pixel, but it's a very small... Ooh, we're dead. We're dead. We're definitely dead here. It's a very small space. A bit more left. Wait, here, but further left? Or back up again? keep trying things. We got super close one time, but that here, okay. What if we done the first long straight? I tried that on last and it didn't work. I literally tried the simplest thing, which was here. Last starting just doesn't keep up because of uh, balloon speed. I tried even further back on last. Still no bueno. Range has to see the entrance? Okay. They're like there, maybe. Ah, there it is, finally. Okay. Finally, that should be it. Watch it still kill me. Now, ah, there we go. Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Oh, it still kills me! Even better! Closer to the entrance, then. And we leaked one. The fact that the game slows down means that might not even be my fault when it does that. Had that happen? It's not even consistent, though. That's the worst part. I'm like, yo, what if you give me, like, 501? That's why I was saying it's a bad showcase. The game, like, chugs and then you still die. Because the, it can't keep up with all that. 
That's cool, I guess. This is why we left this before. <laughs> That's why I said it's a bad challenge. I calls them like I sees them. This is not a good challenge. It's still bad. It's still bad. Because even if you glue everything, you still kind of die sometimes. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? If you gave me cross pathing, I don't think it was... Like, the, the gimmick was like, hey, it's cool, look at this tower. It can solo five times... It can beat 76 on max stats, basically, right? Except for it doesn't consistently... Hi, more Pierce. I wish I could. It's better first or last. 510. I know, 510 or just like 502 for more slow. I don't know, anything. Instead, you get a, like a janky tower that just does not work half the time. We might win this time, we might not, who knows. See, the game lags, and then, like, these are one tick behind for some reason. And I have no idea why it works like that. So even gluing them all, consistently, we still apparently just can't win sometimes? There we look at that, look at that! Okay, you want to tell me, like, the speed and slow down of this game doesn't break it sometimes? There's proof. I, I did some, like, fast forward slow down pausing, and it... <laughs> we actually just janked the game. We played it at its... You know what? Miss me with that garbage. I'll, I'll, I have my own. Thank you. Nope, nothing wrong. You're right, you're right. Just working as intended. Yep. You're right, it just glued them earlier. <laughs> Alrighty then. We literally had to, like, cheese on Pixel Perfect. Cool. Ah, all right. I mashed fast forward slow down and it just kind of worked that time. Oh, I'm not playing this. I know what this is. Apparently Mind Cool's the only person that's won this challenge ever and it's probably going to stay that way forever. Yeah. How did they die early? I don't have to tell you Fortified. <laughs> Rohan just said it. Yep, just works. <laughs> He said nothing was wrong. <laughs> the goo code, yeah. I think I got through one oh no 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 no. I got part way through this and then did not beat it. OP. It's just more that she's the only person that like no life's this game and challenges. I don't know. Most people are like, ah, it's ah. Most people like have the, the common sense to just kinda be like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Mine cool just doesn't. Just doesn't. Anyways, I think that's the whole challenge. Ah, oh, there's one more here, Ryan Challenge. Maybe it's because you said question mark all over. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Where do I have to go? Ah, oh, it's, uh, it's so weird. I keep forgetting. Less than 1%. 9.1? Okay, so it's literally impossible now. I see. Heck. So it's oh it's oh it's the bug challenge ten thousand and one ah, I see I see and we don't have super right wait oh wait start round it oh that doesn't add up <laughs> cool this is a very weird bug challenge I like how it ends on round one but it starts on round two thousand and one <laughs> okay okay cool. Thank you. Very bug. Very cool. Alright. You didn't make this. No, I, I see that. I see that. <laughs> 9.1. It's up there. Awesome. Funny. Looks like 9.1 was a very different time and place, eh? I wonder if there is a way to, like, cheese that. And actually get through this with gimmicks. That SRAM was 2,250 lives. Yeah. So, obviously, we don't have, like, frame-perfect micro. Clearly. But what do we have? I don't think Permaspike works unless you put it exactly where the Ceram is. Um, hmm. I know it's, I'm well aware it's a hack challenge. I'm just saying, hey, what if? Are there Moabs here or no? Hear me out here, chat.
hear me out here, chat. <laughs> I have an idea. I got a Spirit of the Force by accident. We don't need to worry about that one. Okay, that's probably not even enough, but... I'm just curious if they do any damage. Oh, that's kind of funny. There's actually an absurd amount of them. They just keep going. Oh, that's even wilder. So we just die in a bit. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. I was like, can they pop stuff that have, like, infinite move speed? And the answer is yes. They can. They actually can do that. Cool. Nickelodeon fighting game. I did hear about that. The ones that's like Smash Bros. I saw that. I saw HBox's video on that, Fuyuki. Super glue buggy. It's still super jank. Yeah, super glue is still super jank. So, yeah. Uh, I said this be uh, it was before free play buff that made those balloons even faster. Oh, I see. It has wave dashing in it? Yeah, because it's made by Ludosity, which is the same company. Chat, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about with Fuyuki here. I guess Nickelodeon's making a fighting game. Well, it's made by Ludosity, which is the company that made Slap City, which is kind of like Smash Bros. Melee, but for the PC, and full of memes and jank. And uh, the hardest difficulty level in that game <laughs> is Joel's dad, which is uh, the hardest difficulty any AI could have in any game ever. <laughs> nope, not that one. But yeah, the, the, it's going to be a very meme kind of worthy game. Maybe worth playing. Probably worth playing. This is the hardest challenge. I see. I wonder if that, that last challenge is doable if you had like a bot that could like sell spam there, but now it's impossible. Yeah, now it's impossible. True. True, true, true. You just have no way to kill those balloons. Going back to bed? Alright, see you later, Fuyuki. Alright, well that's all the challenges, I think. If I missed one, mm, sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, we got, we did, we got to 49 and accidentally threw, but we made some progress learning bloody puddles. What else do we need to do in this game? Aside from grind achievements, which I don't think is going to happen on stream ever. <laughs> I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure last I checked, like the, oh, golden balloons are back. I checked yesterday, and neither of them was active. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Half cash chimps. I'd be down for a game of half cash chimps. But where? <laughs> Resort? Logs? Where's a good half cash chimps map? I was saying the super monkey, like, sell rebuy. If you had, like, a, a macro that could do that. Maybe. Bloody? Half cash bloody. I don't want to do legitimate half cash bloody. Well, there's a code for it. Alright. It's better to be on a very free map. Or this is gonna be a nightmare for half cash chimps. What map? What map? Alright, alright. Of course it's Thuyan. Of course it's Thuyan. Alright. So we got half cash. Oh, that's not just regular. Wow. That was in the dock? I don't see it. I don't see it. But alright. Interesting how certain towers are limited. Oh, because they're money towers. Never mind. I kind of hate that some of them are limited, but whatever, whatever. I guess that's what you have to do. Half cash bloody is very doable with monkey knowledge. Lava two o farm. Uh, I see, I see. Well, let's let's give this a shot. Uh, we do get a hero, right? Oh, oh, you gave me. Oh, I see how it is. All right. No hero, 6 through 100, 125% all stats. Obviously, all incoming stuff is banned, knowledge is off, one life, no continue selling, powers, no double cash, obviously, no farms. No hero, though. <laughs> that was kind of a bit of my game plan, but we'll give it a shot. I was gonna, like, be like Rush Sada, call it a day. I don't think we have that anymore. Okay, so our general DPS, I think. I think our game plan is probably rush tack. Place this a little off center, just knowing how the map works. Two very different strands have been used to beat it that you know of. Interesting. 
I didn't place this right at all. Oh, these hug the left, not the right. Sorry, hold on. This is what I was talking about earlier, chat, how these are, like, on specifically logs. When you watch these go up the side, they hug the left side, not the right side. They're very, very off-center. So you see how this connects right here when it shouldn't, but, like, it... Anyways, anyways. I hope I kill that blue. Ah, dang. Okay. Bad start. Oh, oh, one dart it is, I guess. You know what Thuin used? Uh, support temples aren't banned, but are too expensive to buy to loophole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Obviously, like, you're not gonna get this, nor this, in Chimp, so it's irrelevant. That's why it's probably not banned, because it doesn't matter if it's banned at all. Yeah, I guess we're buying a ranged dart. Or quick shots. Eh, nah, probably just ranged dart. Strong targeting, probably what we want. The hugging balloons, yes. Leave them first for now. A little bit of micro. I don't think I. I don't know if I've played this yet or not. But chances are I'm not beating it, chat. So fair warning. We'll give it our best shot though. I don't like where I place this. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of do not like my placement here. It'll be better if I have advanced eyesight, but until then I feel like it's kind of eh, bleh. It's kind of bleh. Alright. Just one Dart Monkey, Dartus Monkus versus the world. Um, I feel like I'm going to die to round 10 if I even get there. Boomerang with the buffs, probably good for round 10. I'm whiffing Pierce here, but I do need to hit those greens pretty soon. I'm not going to reach that, I think we're going to die for that. We'd have to get a snipe there. Now, let's try one more time. Uh, let's try the corner spot there. If you don't use uh, Dark Knight or GZ, ooh, forgot to. Uh, this isn't gonna hit bottom, right? Be wild if it did, though. We rather than use that, um, there might be other spots that have more value. Like center gets more snipes, which is probably better for early game. Uh, range is basically only because cash is so little. Yeah, yeah, true. I don't know if this is better or worse than the last position, but... Triple O Dart into Triple O Dart? You can do that? Okay. Are we going to have to steal like, all the good middle positions or something like that? Yeah, let's try here. Uh, that gets the most bang for a buck on pathing, I think. I meant to do strong targeting at the start, and I did not, so... We get one more shot on that, so I guess it's fine. Because we get the bottom again. This is fine, this is fine. A little bit of micro. Are you kidding me? Alright, we have to restart for that. We're going to go a little further to the left then. Remember that it's hugging the left side, of course. I can't forget that. Uh, symmetry underwater? Wait, what? What do you mean, symmetry under the... Hmm? Oh, well. Ooh, that's close to a second dart. Uh, back to strong targeting, maybe here. We got a lot of snipes on this. I kind of like this spot. It's a green balloon in an awkward time, though. Um, we don't get the restart unless we menu out. Ah, okay. We still don't even have that dart either way. Uh, underwater spot better because tracks are closer. Uh, yeah, I thought about that. I just didn't want to use that for later. Like, it's a better spot now, but it might be worse if I use that spot now versus saving it for later. That's all I was thinking. Okay, um... Oh, we totally whip. Why did we hit the green before? Well, that's so weird. I think we just died because we can never snipe that red in time because of balloon speed. Yep, it's half cash chimps, all right. And apparently no hero. I don't know why the hero has to be banned. Why <laughs> why can't I cheese everything with Sada? I, I'll never get it. I'm just going to leave this on first and see if that's better here. Because uh, it's going to let more greens through, but we might get more snipes out of it. And we did, in fact, snipe every green balloon. Hmm. But now there's a blue down here, and I think we die for that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I can't believe we barely lived that. And you know what, we'll take it. Uh, this one's going to be strong darting. The other's going to be first now. 
Not bad. Maybe not the perfect dart placement, but we'll take it. Uh, yes, 25% all stats are buffed by 25%. It is half cash, and it is also chimps. Let's see if we can beat 40. <laughs> Forget everything else. Forget actually winning. Can we even beat 40? Maybe. I mean, it's possible. Uh, I feel like we need a third dart, and that's the sucky thing. I feel like we're just going to be spamming straight into, like, rushing three dart. And then, how do we beat 10? Maybe I have to rush Boomerang here. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't have a solid game plan, because it's half cash, and buffed everything is terrible. Dart projectile thick. True. 40 is easy. Assuming, well, okay. I guess you can do, like, Mauler, some cost-effective stuff for 40, but... Attack. Yeah, I was thinking about attack. Alright, do we beat 10? We can always menu cheese out anytime, so I I'm curious. Can we beat round 10 here? I think we do beat 10 just fine because we space everything out pretty well. Oh, yeah, we beat 10 easily, easily. I'm gonna keep holding cash for a little bit. Yellow balloons are a problem. Those at 125 are like pink balloons, and we have triple O dart monkeys, and quite frankly, I'm not shocked that they're not doing well here. to make sure we don't whiff on red if there was a blue up there or something like that um what do i do with my cash 2221 alex spam on tax zone honestly not the worst idea ever i'm gonna have to do it like a ranged tax shooter because i don't feel confident with this position here and i don't want to do range but i feel like there's no better spot than here for tax zone right whole game has to be focused on tax zone from now on i think you're honestly correct I would agree with that. Yeah. I still think I might have to do range tag zone, which is kind of cursed, but... In order to die on 81 Super Serams. Yeah, let's just buy that. Let's just rush, like, tag sprayer here. Uh, you should be in strong still. That's good, that's good. Is there a better spot for attack that I don't know of? Because, like, we're... Not... We're still getting a lot of damage whenever we're shooting, but it's when we're whiffing. Get a tacked sun. Ah, uh, yes. You attack your sun. I, I don't know. Never never played the game. <laughs> uh, yellow balloons. Once again, actually terrifying. But we got through it, so we're fine. Oh, what a good song. I forgot about the song. Absolute banger. Turn it up a little bit. Hopefully I don't die to 15 while I'm sidetracked, but... Like, hold on, a little bit of micro, just in case, just in case. Ah, yellow balloons. That's what I thought would happen. Okay. Super Sram's crazy. Oh, I believe it. Buffed Super Sram's with speed. Uh, nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to buy the absolute idiot range weird champ tapping. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Just to keep up with the speed and everything, we're buying range path. Who cares? And now we get through it just fine. Cool. Trade your half cash strat on this map is close to tank zone, but should not have bought your regular setup. I see, I see. I mean, this doesn't really let you play the game like normal, right? That's just by design. The fact that, like, yellow balloons uh, attack kind of just. Ooh, regrow balloons are bad. I don't know if I get through that. I think I have to. I think I lose to that. There's no micro that saves me here. I think we have to bunch up our tax, or not tax, sorry, we have to bunch up the darts as if they're like a trip dart. Tax shooter looks so weird. That's because I had to do the weird bad thing. I had no options here. My hands were tied. Okay, so we buy another dart. Put them both on first, I think. Buff to regrow rate 17. Actually kind of terrifying. And another dart does get it us through, it looks like. Yes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Half damage tag. Yeah, but it, it's whiffing... Uh, its range is just not where it's at. I feel like we die early game with it. That's the problem. 
Now I'm just thinking tag zone versus like, I wonder how far Odie, I guess Odie's spam falls off pretty hard, doesn't it? Are we just gonna die here? Looks like it. 100 must be rip. I don't, I don't, like I said, I think we're going for 40 at best. I don't think we're getting any further than that. I would love a boomerang, to be honest. It'll hit things by accident. That's kind of what I'm banking on, but I'm just going to have to buy one more dart, unfortunately. Spawn should get decent snipes occasionally, but these pink balloons are actually killer. Slight, even a 25% buff to speed on a pink balloon is just insane. You know, there's just not a lot you can do about that. Corner spot for tack, another cross, cross path. Uh, might be better. You're not wrong. That might be the better option here. And then early game, we rely on the splash to just get there. Because I guess if you place this further up, right, you're not going to target there. But as long as you're always shooting, you're going to hit the right side by accident. Better cross path. Yeah. Tax sprayer should get me through 22. Barely. <laughs> Four darts and tax sprayer. Barely beating this in lungs. Pink tower, easy pink balloon. Wait a minute, that's not how that works. Well, maybe it is how it works. He's a professional, after all. Uh, destroyer? Yeah. I don't have camo. Can I even afford camo? Okay. I don't know if this should be my camo dart, I'm not gonna lie, but at this point, I'm just too afraid to worry about it. I'm just gonna let it happen. You can save up nearly 5k on 40? I see. You lost your pink tower. It's all ogre now. Bruh. GG's now. Yep. Hey, we need lead, and we need it very soon. Uh, base alk for lead sounds good to me. Put it right here. Um, you, these darts are going to eat alk buff later. That's not good. Alright, well, I should be able to afford an alk. We should have no problems with 27. A pierce tack, probably... Maybe with the one round, it's better than the other tack. Maybe it's not even better. Maybe I'm lying. Hey, one of these on strong. Eh, this placement might be bad. Maybe it's better on the other side, but... The less other things steal alk buff, the better. There we go. We get through that. We get through that just fine. Just fine. Alright. Now, what was your first idea? Oh, destroyer. Let's see. Let's buy large pots. Um, probably doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. Alec actually kind of helping on regrows a little bit, just because it kind of like, since it hits them again, even if it doesn't fully kill them, it buys me more time for other things to pop, which is kind of nice. Uh, I feel like Alec's going to be all of our lead all the way through 40, for sure, so. React? Hmm, I don't know about Reactor. Am I alive here? Barely. Ooh, those regrow balloons. Oh, I'm dead to a regrow farm. Let's go. Pod and Dark Knight leaves enough for Spike Storm. Youch. Okay. Um, what can we buy here? I guess a sub probably would have been worth. Oh, twin gun sub. We should have been rushing sub earlier. I don't know if tank zone's a good idea versus a sub, maybe. High reactor. Can't buy it now. Can't buy anything now. I can buy a base sub right now. <laughs> I think that's about all we get. Also, this one strong is bad for 31. Regros on Logs Race is a nightmare? Oh, I'd believe it. I would believe it. If we skipped that fourth dart and had a sub earlier, I think we would have been better off here. Because a twin gun sub, I think, would have had us covered. Uh, we barely do squeak through 31 with that. Barely, though. Barely, though. I, I mean, a base sub is... Re it's, there's a reason darts and sub are early game towers in general. They're gonna put more work than this jank tax sprayer probably ever will. Um, eh, I don't know if I have enough camo with just... Be wild if this soloed, but I don't think it's gonna be yellows. So what do I do for this round, then? Um, can I afford to get 2-0 sub? Maybe. Let's see. Ah. 680. That's a problem. That is not gonna do it. Can't afford crossbow either? 
Oh boy. Oh hey Thuyen. Uh, I don't know why I'm playing this. I don't know what to tell ya. I don't know if this works. I don't think this beats one. If this was normal 33, I honestly think this would work. But I don't think this wins versus buffed speed. Does two? That's wild. All right, even at 125%, 2002 darts actually does beat 33 camo. This is yours, Thuyen. This is your half cash challenge. <laughs> Thought it was that? Oh, it is. Wait a minute. Hold on. I think Jeff sent me this. We're trying to beat 40 and nothing else because I can't be bothered to do the rest of it. So you target strong, maybe, instead of first. Curse tag. Shh, don't talk about the tag. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about the curse tag, alright? Just don't need to talk about it. It was a thing I had to buy because my placement made it kind of mediocre, so I kind of just did it. Alright, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the curse tag. It's fine. Alright, that's a very heavy cash round. Uh, I kind of want AMD starting. I should have bought that immediately. That's strong again. Against Intel and target first, actually, for 36. Otherwise, I'm dead. I'm dead, anyways. Hold on. I can do that better. Uh, he said, You want to do half cash chimps? And I said, Sure. Then I look at this challenge and I'm like, oh, why is everything buffed in the way that it is? And the answer is I don't I don't I don't know why it's like this. I have no idea why literally everything is like just flat out buffed. 125% was not what I was looking for, but alright, it is what it is. I was just gonna play normal half cash chimps, but no, we can never do that, can we? Yo, 36 is just impossible. You did it fifth try, had to buff it. I see, I see. I think Jeff's the asshole for sending me this instead of regular half cash chimps, to be fair. Because this isn't regular half cash chimps. At all. Like, not even close to that. I think I have to buy one more advanced eyesight dart. And I still don't know if that's going to be 36. That's basically like having a trip dart, but the problem is it's spaced because I got cam. I should have had camo on all of these. I'm still losing here, and not even to the camo part. That's wild. Okay. Yeah, it's only 25%. For regular balloons, it's surprisingly noticeable though. It's like, oh, that's actually terrifying. Like it's regal. Don't mess around, especially when you've got half cash. Yeah, only 1.25 times everything. True. It's only on everything. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Ignore the fact that I've got, like, one AMD for all of my lead, so it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna need Airbirds and Prime Bird Crew. I'm still gonna die here, aren't I? No, we're gonna live, barely. Okay. So I'm putting in work. Putting in plenty of work. Alright, I don't know why I didn't rush sub before. Uh, I'm dead to 40, right? We just don't win 40 at all. Should have gone Wall of Fire. Yeah, a Wall of Fire would have been good up until once again 40. Someone said 40 is easy, and I don't see how. Who said you could greet? F Jeff said you can save up 50k by 40. Is that in normal half cash? Because I don't think you can do that in half cash, chimps here. Literally, where do you pull 50 th or 5k from? 1.24 didn't work. What? Let's have strong target on this this time, maybe. Maybe we... Uh, ice is actually pretty good on a... Hmm... Could be okay. Even Boomer. I just don't want to buy more spam, but I feel like I have to, almost. Because I don't think I can buy Air Burst by the time I'm dead. Maybe a strong sub was what I needed. Ooh, Sarams? I might just die to that. I might just die to Sarams. Oh, no, no. Okay, that mid-round airburst keeping us alive, keeping us afloat. Just another day. Uh, if we don't have Fort Burke Brew 40, I think we're just dead there. I'm pretty sure we're dead 40. But we tried. 
be definitely tried. I mean, I'm sure there's a most, there's like one strat that's probably the most optimal uh, half cash strat that you could ever do, right? Berkbur's actually looking kind of close. I think we might die because of regrow farm, though, before that happens. So. You have 8.3 cash total for 40. I see. I see. Okay. Huh. Let's leave you on first instead of strong, because that's starting a massive regrow farm here. We don't want that. We can also be first instead of strong. Everything we can to prevent that. Saving up is hard. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Saving up is hard because I feel like you almost have to spam more towers half the time. I'm gonna leak like a red early. Okay. All right. See you, gamers. Take care. Take care. We're about at the end of stream here because uh, I don't think we're beating 40. So or 39 even. That's what we were gonna call it. So I think that's GGs. I could put like quick shots on two of these. Get a little more attack speed. Just a tiny bit. I don't think that's going to make a whole big difference here, though, to be honest. Let's hope that the first, as soon as we see regen. Uh, that should be first as well. Nah. Alright. GG's. If I'm gonna play half cash, it's gonna be normal half cash chimps, not not buffed half cash. Jeff, don't send me that ever again. Thanks. All right, chat. Uh, who's on tonight? Who should you send a raid to? Man, what am I gonna do for stream tomorrow, chat? It's my birthday. Oh, I sh I forgot to mention, stream's gonna be a little earlier tomorrow. I think we might do some Pokemon Nuzlocke. But uh, stream's going to be early, start early, end late, because it's my birthday tomorrow, which is probably why you guys were extra, extra rude today. Makes sense. How far you've come in Bloody Puddles, Jims? Being able to go further than logs, if you like that. Oh, South's online today? Alright, let's raid South then. He's been on that grind. He doesn't know what awaits him, but he's on that grind anyways. Alright. Dum -dum -dum side. Our goal. I typed it wrong. Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Unless I don't. All I know is I'll be a year older and a year stupider. I mean wiser. Yep. Peace. You know, sit and cry.